apparently Roya was data mined? Hmm. You'd be interested to see what's in there. Post the link and then it'll be good to go. Fought your brother over Uno. Who won? Okay, it's gonna be right in front of me. I'm gonna feel very stupid, but I am gonna find it. Because this is what happened to me the first time I played the game. Okay, so. I did everything over here. Do not come back here. It has to be down this big hallway. Okay? I'm talking to me. Sorry, guys. Okay, so fuck this place. Don't come back to it. You did because you threatened to break his nose again. <laughs> That's the spirit. I didn't know you guys took Uno so seriously. Okay. Oh, I think I know where it is. I'll be really mad if this is what I think it is. Alright, this is technically a room. Hey, Richard. No, oh, I don't think I've played Uno since I was a kid, so... I remember being so angry the first time I played this, and when I finally found it, I felt so stupid. Oh, I don't care that it's there. Hello, Moon. Hello, Blake. Hello. Oh, I know I'm not stupid, I just feel stupid. <laughs> it's 
I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It's, it's tricky. It's definitely something that people would lose sight of. Fuck you, dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, fuck you, monkey. Kick their ass on. <gasps> oh my god. I love her. Look at her. Love her. Wait, me hitting the dog or? Yeah, this outfit looks amazing on her. Oh, it's so good. Oh shit! No, I meant to do it on my monkey! God fucking damn it. Oh, he goes next anyway. Okay, yeah, whatever. Ana's perfect because she is a blameless holy lesbian. Oh, thank you, Richard. Yes. Fucking, fucking, fuck me hell. Come on. Oh, I. That's where the safe room is. No. If be anywhere, it would be. If it would be anywhere, it would be in that room. In fact, I actually do think it's in that room. If it is, I will put my head in my hands and sigh deeply because I have been avoiding this room for no apparent reason. No, cool, unless it's this. Did I never push that? I thought I did. Oh god, yeah. I often wish that this game in particular would allow you to put like markers or whatever. Like, either drop a little item or like just sketch something onto the wall so that you know you've been there, you know, the way thieves do in the Thieves Guild in Skyrim. And then in. Bloodborne and Dark Souls, you can drop little colored stones to let you know, like, oh, I've been down this area already, so you don't get lost. And I definitely need that, because I don't actually look at maps much. I look at where I'm going, like the location, and the settings. And if it all looks the fucking same, that doesn't help me. Yeah, okay. I don't ever use you, so whatever. Okay. Where the fuck is it? I'm on- I'm honestly gonna start, like, getting really super salty. Where the fuck is it? I have genuinely looked all over this place. Where is it? There's nothing there because where an item is. And it can't be up here. Because that's where that thing is. And I hit this already. What 
It's gonna be cl very close to where the button in the mummy is. All right. I, I can't. I can't believe it's giving me this much trouble. And I'm not mad at the game, I just want to make that clear. I'm, like, actually mad at myself that I can't fucking find it. And I don't even know where that mummy was. And that's not it, because that leads me out. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, I am, Hoji. I think I know why I stopped liking this palace eventually, where I'm like, yeah, it's great, and I like the music, and then towards the end I'm like, fuck this place, I want to get the fuck out. I mean, it becomes worth it in the end, because, you know... You get Fatapa, but... Boy, does it make me want to stab myself in the eye. Okay, that's where that one is. That's the safe room. Nah. Are you kidding me?! Aww. I didn't push this?! How could I not have pushed it? How could I not have pushed it? How? 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 How could I not have pushed it? It's open! Did I run right past it? Did I just open it and then just ran away from it? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh my god! Oh my god, why did I do that? I'm not in this room because there's nothing in this room. So maybe it opened and I just... Oh my god! How does the catchy like me? I'm stupid as sin. Whoa. But then why isn't? Ah! God damn it! Asshole. Yeah, at least I'm... Yeah, at least he's charming. She just wants you for a sexy time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He actually does compliment Akira for his mind and how they're on the same intellectual level, so... He does see Akira as just as smart as him. I'm gonna kill the fuck out of this dog. Out of rage. Fuck you, Peachy. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Sounds gonna get mad. Fuck me. Oh no. Oh no. God damn it. Alright, that's fine. Alright, as long as he's not dead. No. 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 Okay, now he's dead. Thank you, I guess. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I can bring him back to life, but that's fine. Holy shit! Now go ahead. I'm not going to stand by while my friends get hurt. Aww. God, they're so cute. Oh, 
Mari Tegoa, I did that. I said, does it? Why does everyone want to tell me that they're sweaty? One of them was talking about red and how red is bad because of blood. Which is, you know, sad. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm honest to God going to cry. Hey, you eat a bunch of fries, these guys. Like on the inside, I'm crying, not like outside. <laughs> I'll get over it eventually. Yeah. It's like, here's, here's a giant fucking meal of french fries. Enjoy. He's just like, okay. Say something at the end of his AOA, even if it's just like a simple little comment. I can't see. I sent you a text. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh no, Richard, I laughed at your thing, and now I'm gonna die. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. Okay, okay. Here's how I die. Here's how my justice ends. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die because the catch you distracted me with his dick. Oh my god, you stay. Oh my god, Yusuke and Ryuji, you're saving my life. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love the boyfriends. Oh my god, thank you, 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 thank you. Oh my god, I could cry. Again. What the fuck just happened? And it did nothing to him. It did nothing to him. Oh. Oh god, it did nothing to them, you guys. I actually may cry here. Alright, defend yourself, Mona. Because that thing isn't weak to anything. It's not weak to anything. And I think it's... Um, no, I think it's immune to curse. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> okay. Okay. I don't know what to do, honey. Oh, God. If I attack it, that it that will disappear, though. But if I attack it, it's going to disappear. 
Who goes next? Oh, Joker goes next. So I guess I could just cast it again. Oh no, that was Mona, it wasn't him. Oh! Okay, it didn't get over him, okay. Okay, and... Wait, 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 what? Really? What? 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 No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm actually gonna have like a panic attack. Oh my god. I have a fucking panic attack over this shit. I know it's a game. I'll be okay. It's just this is stressful because if I I hate having to redo progress, but if I think about it, all I'd have to do is just turn left out of the safe room. So if I die here, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I feel a lot better. Okay, I feel a lot better. Okay. You'll never see it coming. My panic attacks will kill me. Actually, no. This Avengers update. Um, yeah, and also, it's now just a matter of pr I can, but it's a matter of pride, you know? It's it's now just a matter of pride. That's true. That's very true, Jeanette. This better end it! Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I'm just gonna shoot it. Because I'm really mad now. Actually, no, just whip the shit out of it on. All I have to do is turn left, and I'll be fine. I fucking hate that thing. This difficulty reminds me of what, like, Shin Megami Tensei's games used to be. <laughs> like, this is how they used to be all the time, and it was... Oh. Well, I don't understand why this is open, but I can't do anything with it. Oh no, I do understand. I'm an idiot because the door fucking. 
fucking open and move back. Sometimes I just want to beat myself. Don't take me seriously, I don't actually mean that, you guys. Oh! Cold red, it's all over, this is the end. Wow. I didn't know they'd say that. Sorry I sound like really dramatic and <laughs> self-deprecating. For like ridiculously over the top self-loathing. It's I have problems when I make mistakes like this. Listen to this thing for a little. Hmm. <laughs> Fix your brain, stupid shadows, or I'll tell dad. And you know what did this? A catchy dick. Catchy dick got me killed by Anubis. Aw, oh, Faith. This wouldn't have happened either if it weren't for a catchy's dick. You know, they said, like, what would never have happened if it weren't for you meddling kids? But I want that chest! Um, no. No, that's not- no. That's not Gucci, Richard. Don't make it weird, you're doing just fine before. Don't fuck it all up for yourself now. Give me the item that I died for. Robe of Hatred! And it's for women only! Boy, is that how I fucking feel right now. Robe of Hatred. It prevents curse insta-kills. A robe that seems to be cursed. No oh, motherfuck me. You're late. I thought all of you had died. We almost did, thanks to you. I mean, do you really want to help us? Make up your goddamn mind. I'm not sure. There's not much left at this point, though. Oh. No, not again. This is all because you picked on her skull. Your short temper has created more work for us. This is my fault? 
Who dares intrude upon the peace of this holy ground? This is the Pharaoh's tomb. None may disturb her slumber. We can't retreat now. What is it? Let's do this. Is it a week to win? Not terribly worried. What are they weak to? Wait, they're weak to win too? Oh my god, Moon. Wait. Wait, what happened? I don't understand what anyone in chat is talking about now. Ah, okay. Oh! I didn't even notice he turned into a rat. Yeah, I was just like, what? why are you talking about rats? Did not even notice it happened to poor Yusuke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what? Oh, on, not one. Sorry, the computer's the screen where I had the chat is a little too far from me, so I can't see the text unless I lean in. Increases chance of inflicting ailments during rain or snow. Um, no, that doesn't really seem to be very useful. Damn it, the hell's up with her? She did say there's not much left, though, at the end of the... Wait, can you just try to calm down? Nothing good will come of letting your temper flare up like that. She did say there's not much left, though. The end of this palace may be drawing close. Um, I think it's more like, a. It's more like... Oh! Oh, yeah. Well, do you know about... Carmen? Um, I'm, I'm assuming obviously you do. Oh, Look, it's- they have their- oh, It's their, um, showtime look. Oh, this is so cute! Oh, you don't know about Carmen? Okay, um... The story of Carmen- let's see... Carmen...
she is um, a fiery, wily seductress. I don't want to say um, the G word because it's a slur. It's a slur for Romani people. And it's about a love triangle, so to speak. So she, but she's known as a very a woman who is very romantic. And um, let's see. How do I describe her? Because it's not a, it's, it's not as sexist as I'm making it sound. Let's see. It's like men allow their infatuation with Carmen to be their own downfall because it's not necessarily love, it's just them desperately wanting to possess her. And Carmen was a, uh, according to a scholar, a new type of operatic heroine, but she represents a new kind of love, but it's not the innocent kind associated with normal operatic heroines, but something more vital and dangerous. She is capricious, fearless, has a love of freedom. Um, she and is free from any suspicion of vulgarity because of her qualities of courage. She's a female Don Giovanni. She would rather die than be false to herself. And she's, she's basically very open about her own sexuality and desires. So, yeah. That's why Carmen is as she is. Yeah. And that's why there's two, if you look at um, Carmen, that's why she has those two men. Like, one is under her heel, and the other one she has, like, attached to the thorns. Those are the two men that were obsessively one, obsessive and possessive over her. You're welcome. Yes, yeah, so this is like the one instance where it isn't isn't as um like Atlas what the fuck as it could be. Yeah, she's um Yeah, basically that. <laughs> A manizer. And she actually her having Carmen actually is pretty cool because it shows that An is still, like, she wants to take control of her sexuality and her own desirability and, like, weaponize it in a way. Which is why I would have loved it if her Phantom Thief outfit was more like the outfit she's wearing now, or if it zipped up. Like, if she was covered from neck to toe, I, I feel, but wearing like this, like, it's, it's like a suit black and red suit. It's pretty tight, but it isn't... It doesn't like, expose her body in any way, so... I just feel like that would have been much better. Agreed. I'm gonna probably leave her in this for the rest of the game then, or for most of the game, unless I want to go back to one of the school uniforms. Because she looks cute in the school uniforms too. And she's wearing like um, black bike shorts beneath it, because the skirts are pretty short, but you can't see anything. Wait, I'm confused. They're even Carmen's colors, looking at it. Carmen is black and red. Oh, okay, I think I'm just confusing myself unnecessarily here. Well, 
Well then why did I open this? Oh, that's where I jumped up from, okay. Okay, don't mind me, I just got completely confused for a second. It's this one again. Hello, Caramel. So the knife I just bought was useless. Yeah, it was over here. That's where I have to go. Okay, okay, I know where to go. Okay, I have to go over there. Okay, 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 I can do this. 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 Can I do this? I have to look carefully. I like that they're walking slowly because it's a narrow pit path. Yeah, it's over there. I have to get up. And that leads to the outside. There's a part of it I'm not getting to, but it's below me, okay? Finally did it! Finally did it! Finally fucking did it! Oh god. for your patience with me. I know it's this, this day's been kind of weird. Day's been a little weird, so I apologize that I've been out of sorts, let's say. Stupid thieves to think you actually come here. Do not pass. Here you die. Oh, God. I wish you could actually fucking scan them.
Okay. <gasps> Thank you, Mummy. Do I have fire anywhere else? Oh, why didn't they give you fire, baby? Okay. Ah, fuck, I forgot. We're almost back to the English voices. We're almost back to being horrified by Japanese Okaba's voice because she's a. Oh, God. It's, it's okay. It's okay, Mona. Yeah, 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 fuck you, yeah, 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 I wish we would just skip it, actually. Get the Crystal of Wrath! God, we're finally fucking done. I mean, we do have to get through the... The boss area, like the area leading up to her, but <sighs> we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Yeah, I know. You know, it'd be creepier if it was pure silence. If one was pure silence, if one was just his hysterical laughter, and if the other was like his feral street cat scream. That would be really good. I would like that a lot, actually. I'm angry I didn't write that in Quaker Calder. To be fair, I started writing it before I'd played Royal. Don't do the hurdy? Craker Calder is perfect. Oh no, I wasn't making fun of Craker Calder. I'm like, oh, I didn't put it in there, but I'm like, well, I wasn't, I hadn't played, obviously I had not played, um, Royal yet, so I had no idea that that would even be a thing. Uh, 
Alright, that's gonna go somewhere different, don't worry, I, I'm aware. Okay, yeah, this has to go here. Don't mind me, I'll figure it out. How did I get that over there? Oh, cause that's her head. Dumbass. I need to stop insulting myself like that. That's not making me feel any better. God, I just noticed there's a little tiny computer for Futaba on the bottom left. I'm probably going to start crying. Because that's not... That's not fake. Like... That's not a false memory. Yeah, you should not watch this, Riza. Yeah, and it's the fact that Fatal is like I'm tired. I'm like I don't want to. I'm eating like I'm. I don't want to. I'm, I'm tired of eating alone all the time, and it's always just convenience store food. So it's like, okay, you leave your tiny child to eat alone by herself. I don't even care necessarily that she just has only, only has bento from the store. But the fact that she just... That she's alone. And then Rakawa snaps at her. It's like, that's, that's fucked up. Yes, she was. She was. So people were like, she, he, like, I can't, you, no, I can't even say his name, but blah, 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 killed Rakawa, blah, 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 blah. It's like... She wasn't mother of the year, you guys know that, right? 
Like, I'm not saying that she should have died. I'm saying that she was not a holy, blameless creature that people like to paint her out to be. なんで赤ねえの誰も立ち入らないという認知かよくここまでたどり着いたなこの先は王の間だだったらこの先にお宝あんのかそうだしかしここを開けるには私の許可が必要だ yeah, exactly. She was working with Shido. How good could she have been? It's like she may have, like, I think she genuinely did love Fataba. But she, but the way also that, um, Sojiro describes her is like she was, like, stubborn. She was strange. Like, she would get fixated on something and you couldn't shake her from it. And he thinks she was remarkable and wonderful, but all that other stuff sounds like not really a good temperament for her mother. Not that a woman or a mother can't be ambitious, but, you know, if you have a kid, and your kid wants to spend time with you, or your kid is alone all the time, that's pretty fucked up. The kids are responsibility are a responsibility. Yeah. Exactly, Mammy. That's why I think that's one of the reasons why I gave up. That's why I gave up. One of the reasons I gave up Krieger Calder. The main one was I just wanted to make it an original. But my opinions about how Futaba and Haru should eventually view their parent is I know not what fandom at large thinks. And I just didn't want to write it and set myself up for like people just dogpiling on me. So I'm just like, whatever, I'll just leave it alone. He eventually did. But how did he know to take her research in the first place? He had to know about it. Yeah, exactly, Hoji. Yeah, Shido's pawn. I never got an indication that Taba's life was being threatened. I think that's just conjecture. There was never any... Like, if that was true, Wakaba's... The boss fight would have mentioned it. Instead, of Wakaba owns up to what she's willing to give up for her sake of her research. Okay, go ahead. Like, I can't put it... I will not put it past Shido to make those threats. But it also seems... I feel like that if it was that, she would have said something like that in the boss fight. Or the game would have said something about that. どうやって言っても始まらない。やるしかないわね。それがあの子の望みなんだから。私も強引にでもやるべきだと思う。気合入ってんな。また忍び込まざるを得ないか。ジョーカー、結構日は任せる。マスターに見つかった時の言い訳考えといて。ニップとめ。頼りにしてんぜ、リーダー。ピンク。というわけでやることは分かったな。
if not if not at the boss fight at her boss fight well see actually that would make sense be that would make sense i think because wakaba's boss fight is all about how Fataba kept holding her back so wakaba could have been like even after like all the things i did for you all the things i protected you from she could have easily said that because the whole fight was about talking saying how Fataba just was a burden and she probably could have gone on a rant saying how Fataba was ungrateful so they could have put it in there There's also something said in the third semester. Something said in the third semester, which I can't say because spoilers that Mammy just mentioned too. That points to Shido and Mokabo working together. And again, I can't say it because spoilers. No, Faith, I don't think it's that at all. You could be nice to like. I even said like I I don't consider just because she wasn't blameless or perfect doesn't mean that people can't sympathize with the fact that she died. I'm just the sort of person like. I have zero tolerance, in fiction anyway, for parents who are neglectful, or abusive, or cruel to the children they decided to have, or decided to keep. So while I'm like, yeah, Wakaba well, obviously loved Futaba, look also how she treated her. My decision is to be like, fuck her then. And then that's how I feel about Okumura. I'm like, well, no, Haru shouldn't care at all that he's dead. She should be very happy considering what he was doing to her. And I understand and realize why the game doesn't do that, but I'm also like, no, fuck him. Glad he's dead. Yeah, but Cup is really cool. It's just I'm like I'm separating like, oh, this is the character, and that's that's fine. And then my feelings about the character are fuck her, basically. Wait, did I seriously miss something? Don't you tell me that. Don't you tell oh that was that was below. Calm down, Kristen. Calm down. You may need to become a little more forward at this point, like how you all were with me. But if that were to make her shield her heart even further, will only be exacerbating the problem. Yes. We're so close. I'm counting on you, Joker. Yes. Now it all depends on whether or not Fataba opens her door. Either way, we'll have to go back to reality. That's how I feel too, Jeanette. See, it's funny, Faith. I actually feel the ex I had the exact same experience as you, and I feel the exact opposite. Like, entirely the exact opposite. Like, not getting too deeply into it. Like, my mother abused me for years, and even now, can she doesn't hit me anymore, but she, every now and then she'll, she'll do something. And I know why it happened. And I know that she was taking it out on me. And while I sympathize with that, I also know that's not okay. Not only is it not okay, I'm the sort of person that I'm not going to say, oh, I love this person, 
or the daughter of my mother, therefore I love her. I'm like, no, she's a person, and she did that to me. She didn't do it to my brother, she didn't do it to my sister, she didn't do yes. it to, and she did it to me. And she had her reasons for being frustrated or feeling angry or miserable and took it out on me. And not only is that not fair, I'm under no obligation to forgive. If she was part of Shido's inner circle, she would have known exactly what he was like. Especially if it was cognitive research. いいよ。大変な役目を押し付けられたな。ま、考えても仕方がない。腹が決まったらいつも通り味とでゴレを出せばいい。なんだったね。うん。Today's <laughs> He's happy I'm making coffee. I do unfortunately need money. Oi. I'm sorry, Yuji. I need money. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hung out on your birthday and I made you dinner. I'm sorry, Yuji. Crap, I did not get I did not get the flower meaning book. Shit. I'm going to assume it's the names that have to do with like Yeah, red and pink. There's no right or wrong way to feel about a fictional character. I may express my opinions a bit forcefully, and though I do, I know, I do express them a bit forcefully, forcefully, not a bit, but I do. But please don't think that I'm... that coded in that is me saying, you can't think any other way, or you have to agree with me. It's just... the forcefulness of my expression is coming from my emotions, and aren't directed to other people, they're just specifically a way for me to, like, dig in a hook and pull out at that feeling. And it's not, it's not intended, nor do I want to then 
hurt someone with it. It's really just specifically like tearing something out of me. And I do that with great force. And then I'm also, you know, I, I hope I would be. I hope I am a patient and smart enough person to understand that obviously people won't agree and that's fine. But then that I can mention like, oh, I don't like, we have the same experience, but I don't see it that way at all, which is not me saying, uh, which is not me saying anything disparaging against an alternative view. It's just me stating my view. Anyway, Care Nation. Another rose, really. The sweetest of peas. I hope so. You know what? Don't, don't apologize, Faith. It's okay. Give him a stinking olive. Look, I love you. Here's an olive. Oh, no, 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 I fucked up. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. Thanks, Anasaki. Olive branches mean peace. <laughs> you give an olive branch to uh, Kechi, like, here you go. And he's just like, what do you want me to do with this? I'm like, I don't know. And he keeps it like a little glass vase on his desk. <laughs> I like to imagine him opening um, a flower shop, considering what Mona says. I think he definitely has the patience and the diligence and the proficiency to work with flowers very carefully. Um, I know you do. Mm. Gone, Dad, I want to be friends with you. Are they selling that book? I would love if they were selling it. Would it even be here? No. So where would it be? Let's look at all the stores then, I guess. The heart ring? Yeah. That'd be cute. That would be so cute. I kind of like that he he likes the silver bangle, along with other guys, but he likes it because I think of handcuffs. Not in like a sexual way, but just, you know, a um, symbolic way. Like, oh, you're just looking around. Yeah, I'm just looking around, kitty cat. Oh, I can hear a siren. Handcuffed by fate. What? Yeah, I would love to give the heart. I have to save up to get um, the heart ring for Yusuke because I got the the bracelet. Sounds very steak, just like Grandma made it. sure look happy. Did you savor the taste of grandma's kindness? Oh, Mona! Mm -hmm. Mona! Mm 
But yeah, I think Goro likes no matter what you give him, even if he's just like, oh, okay, you still get a little note for it, I think. I think I could be wrong. Yusuke! Okay. I kind of do want to hang out with him, honestly. Yusuke, let's chill. Let's chill and read Yusuke. So far, it's always been B. Oh. Yusuke! Oh, sure. Sure. <laughs> oh, Mona's sitting with him. Books will sufficiently educate you about art history, but it's always best to see the real thing. Photos can't convey all the real-life majesty of art. There's also scale. Art can be titanic in size. Hmm. I wish to go to Paris. Akira, will you join me? I don't have the money. Ah, I also lack the funds. But money can be earned with a bit of hard manual labor, and money can be saved by fasting. Ah, Paris. The city of art. I would like to go one day. I read with Yusuke while discussing foreign art. I feel like I was able to refine my artistic sensibilities. Yay! Thanks, Yusuke. Now oh, look at the time. Please allow me to feed you. To have come all this way only to depart fills me with profound sorrow. I don't suppose you have plans after this. I will feed you. I will feed you. I will feed you, Yusuke. Do you mean it? Thank you. I am in your debt. My stomach is nigh bottomless. Worry not. I shall help myself to seconds. <laughs> I should let Sojudo know. Can you feed my friend Sojudo, please? And send him away with seconds, please? And thirds and fourths? This aroma truly whets the appetite. Curry is a wonderful thing. He's just looking forward to this. Maybe I should be adventurous. I do kind of want to follow my heart. Just, but I feel like that's something you should do only when your confidant rank is higher. Because I would hate for him to hate it, so I'll just do as I was told. I'd like to request extra rice, please. Mm -hmm. Yay! Delicious. How did you create this? It's a common curry flavor, yet it carries such depth. Yay! I do hope it's enough for another serving. I would rather enjoy seconds. Like, you could take the whole pot, Yusuke, okay? We had a lively conversation about the complicated workings of a bowl of chili. It is about time for me to head home. I will repay you somehow for your curry kindness. Your curry kindness! <laughs> your curry kindness! I headcanon that I'm going to position this, not position, posit this headcanon to y'all. Uh, Soju, when he finds out that Yusuke doesn't really eat that much, Soju will always kind of quote unquote make too much curry and whatnot for the shop and then he will tell Akira like hey make sure your friend Yusuke comes around because you know I've got some extra leftovers and if he wants it he could take it so he ends up like like by proxy feeding and taking care of Yusuke hey good job Hoji I really should hang out with her just to get it out of the way. Nah, we'll go to the hideout. We'll get this over with so we can go back to the English voices. <laughs> oh, sorry, Yuji. Sorry, Yuji! 
クタバに予告状を見せたらそのままパレスに向かう準備してる時間なんてないからな事前に済ませておくんだぞ準備はいいんだな双葉に予告状を見せたらその足でそのままパレスに向かうぞないなお決めたんだな我が輩の鍵開けの出番か許せご主人<笑>しかし双葉をどう説得するんだマスターでさえ入れてもらえないんだぞ We'll be honest. So, ne? Ho, ho, ga, are no. Miss Ktava, that are. So, red, okay? Stava, you keep an otobi. So, that you, ne? Hanaseba, Kimotiba, Stava, her hazu. Yes, Jaf Tava, Sinjite, Yatemika. I believe in Futaba. Oh, Liuji, puppy. <gasps> so she had access to the metaverse even before she gained a persona. Okay. Yeah, that's how she got in. Okay. That's similar to what her mother looked like. Oh, she waved. そして当時のこと今ならつかめるんじゃないのかつかめるなぜ心の怪盗団に頼ろうと思ったそれはお前は引きこもっているだけで何もしないのか見てみ Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Shit. You're going to avert your eyes from the truth. That's what she said. Um, this, I think, is special because right before it happens, she gets the Metaverse app from Igor. And then I. She, before she like touches it or activates it in any way, her shadow shows up. So I think because she has the app on her phone now, now her shadow is able to contact her. Because she doesn't yet have it as a persona. So I'd say this more indicates that you can always feel your persona with you because your persona is just your shadow embraced. So it, when you get your, you get the metaverse app when you get your persona. Or like either right before or immediately after. It kind of depends. So she got it. She gets it because she already has a shadow. And it's right before she get, turns that shadow into her persona. And since her shadow has a distinct personality that's kind of like both working with and against the Phantom Thieves, I think that personality can then be assigned to the persona that's trying to reach out to Futaba. And its terms are specifically like you have to open your eyes to the truth. Which is what Persona, these ones anyway, always say to their Phantom Thieves before they wake up. You should have come. You should have told me you were going to come here. I'm not mentally prepared. Get ready right now, then. It's too sudden. Yell at me? Give me some time. That's too short. At least minutes, please. Okay. 
All right, I'll open it now. ふたば開けて。よし、入るか。Oh, cool. There's the poster of uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics on the back of her door. あなた説明したところで到底理解できるとは思えないがそうなのね私は認知が障害となっていて認知世界の過去に到達できないということかえ理解してるなぜしてお前アリババなんて名乗ってなんで悪い。聞こえなかった。恥ずかしかったから。私わかる気がする。助けてほしいって自分から伝えるの。そんなに簡単じゃないんだよ。ね。知ってたから。そういえばマスター前に認知がどうとか話してたんだよねマスターが問い詰められてた件とひょっとして関係あんのかマスター認知科学なぁ科学の科じゃないぞなんか不思議な科なそこ大事急に食いついてきたなだがどうやら当たり
She's just, she's really, really good. I haven't really heard the English one that much. She seems, she's okay. Yeah, but this one, she just captures Taba's like, anxious, anxious, but still like quick wit. She's great. あ、名前と場所と歪みの yeah, exactly, Faith. This is cute. I like this. Boop. Mm -hmm. <笑>出てくりゃいいじゃねえか。<笑> よって我々がその歪んだ欲望を根こそぎ奪い取る。ため死ぬの。よし。<笑> <laughs> yeah, and she always calls Monot Nyan. Like, Nyanko. Which is the best, I think. Nyanko. I still call him Mona or Mona Mona, but. Or like Nyanko instead of. Neko. Let's vibe to the song. Mm. Y'all ready to have your heart stomped on? Because this shit's fucking sad. Actually, don't. Don't. Please don't get sad. Yeah, she's one of the voices I wish I could just listen to on. Um, like, I wish I had the option to listen to the other English voices, but hers, I wish it was, I could keep it in Japanese, because that's how good she is. <laughs> or that's how much I like her, rather. The fact that I have to run through a whole area is bullshit. So this is the place that represents Kitabi Chan's room. Yep, this is the heart of a hacker, all right. Anyways, where's the treasure? I'm getting a strong signal from above us. The treasure has definitely manifested. There's no knowing what may lie ahead, so let's be vigilant as we push toward the treasure. Do 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 There's items and shit, but you know, I'm not gonna bother. I'm- oh, I'm really not gonna bother. I have to go up that way anyway. Fuck me. 
Hey, Phelps. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's just where it came from. No! <gasps> oh my god. Yay! Yes. Oh wow, yeah, what the fuck time? Taba! Sakura Futaba Sakura Sojiro Taku Otawa Tashka Yugami 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 Matada これ。あ、お宝。このタイミング嫌な予感しかねえ。シャドウ。あ、違う。誰？双葉じゃない。Makoto Kansani needs saving. Yeah, right, like I hope some of you are still like here. <laughs> 
悠々と飛び上がって手が届かねえ仕方ない銃とスキルで仕留めるぞ彼はもう一人の俺だ覚悟の時間だ Okay, I wasn't sure. I'm like, I see that there's 22 people, but like, I, I let my computer fall asleep. I'm like, I see that there's people, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. And then I just woke it up now, actually. Yee. Jesus, that's with the defense up. Is it? I think it's like two rounds, but I'm I'm just gonna defend to be safe. No, it's one. The way his coat gently billows as he's right as he's deciding what attack to do. Good fire emblem is a fantastic distraction. Tabba. 
私が悪い子だったからお母さんを悩ませて嫌われた全部私の覚えてる通り本当にそうかえよく思い出せ目をそらすなこれはいつの出来事だお母さんが死んじゃう私が旅行に行きたいってわめいた時ダメって怒られた他にはそれだけだったかお母さん言ってた今は忙しいからダメ認知研究を早く完成させなきゃいけないお前はどうしたただこねた私より研究が大事なんだってそしたら怒られたその後何と言われた、はあ、お母さんこう言ったもうすぐ研究が終わる終わったら双葉の好きなところに連れて行くわ双葉ずっと一人にさせてごめんねでも本当に大事な研究だから分かってあいつ、still think it's pretty fucked up you leave a young child on her own 命をかけて研究を完成させなければいけないのお前は違うな何あれあた頭が入るどれが本当お前の記憶は Yeah, bro, you, you got r i z a I'm not even, I'm not even joking. You actually should not be watching this right now. Genuinely should not be watching this right now.
このままじゃやべえぞ双葉は自分が母親を己の死を望む母親がいる双葉ちゃんしっかり見てあんな化け物がお母さんなわけないでしょあれはあんたが作り出した幻だ,だって虐待なんてしてないはずマスターが言ってたわ母親誤った記憶を誤った記憶<笑>お母さんは双葉ちゃんのせいで研究結果まで破棄したんだよ頑張って研究していたのに君のせいでおかしくなっちゃったんだあなたのせいお母さん私はシャドウかさくら双葉思い出せ自殺したのはお前のせい研究を邪魔したからなぜ自殺だと思った衣装そうだ黒い服の大人に見せられた一緒だ何が書いてあった私への恨み They worked for Shido <laughs> Like It's clear that Shido did I can't say what he did because it's third semester He had Wakaba use that research and advance it as much as she could, and then when she completed it, he's like, Alright, now she has to get out of the picture. Because she knows too much. So, okay, Wakaba's gone. It's like, oh, she's got a kid? Alright, fuck the kid up. Tell her your mother killed herself because of you. <laughs> Because, like, we can't actually kill the child. I'm actually surprised that they didn't, honestly. Um, it's like, but we can't, you know, fuck it up for life. あんなひどいこと一度でも言われたかない私がわがまま言った時は怒られたけど優しかったならばあの衣装はただ悲しいものだお前は利用されたんだ一生捏造し死をなすりつけ幼い心を傷つけ踏みにじった彼クズみたいな大人を許すななんで私あんなこと言われなきゃならなかったのあ、あ、ちゃん I like that that's the voice of her persona. It's so sweet.
I'm surprised that wasn't subtitled.
ですめまい状態だよ敵に攻撃が当たりづらくなってるからねヘルソナーポイントマンこれは OK I just gotta fight her and I'll be fine. Thanks, guys. Oh, I missed this. Thank you, Lauren.
Stream is a little doofy, I will say that. Oh. I think I couldn't record a few others or something like that, so it was a cycle. You ain't getting up, I guess? Okay. Good boy. And that one fucked me up because she basically says, I can't catch the first part, but the second part she says, it's like, I'm, I'm, just, like I'm, I'm alive. Or like, I'm so alive, I'll keep living. A great final shot of the battle. <laughs> Here's your monster mom's corpse. Isn't that great? <laughs> Yay! Yay, Mona! Uh, minuscule physical damage to one, four, three to five times. That does stack up. Not as much as I'd like it to, though. Uh, uh, okay. I'll look back at chat when this is finished. <laughs> Love her voice. Love, 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 love her voice. She has a very distinct, distinct speech style, by the way. The only other person in the game who speaks the way she does is the scientist in one of the Featherman games. Like, exactly the same. I'm 
Bye. <laughs> All right, those people. <laughs> She's like, yeah, get the fuck out of here, dude. おっと。忘れるとこだったぜ。空っぽ。シャラップ。どうなってんだ。あんじゃねえのかよ。ここのお宝は双葉自身だ。双葉が出て行ったのにあるわけない。ウォッシー。やばい。やばいって。何がどう
正体バレねえかでも黙ってたって I don't give a shit, Makoto. やっぱり話すべき Fuck off. こうなった以上分かってるだろうがおい双葉おいもう She's sleepy まいったなあのチャップどうした死にそうな顔して双葉ちゃんの容態なんですがああこれかたまにこうなるんだえ<笑>体力を使い果たしたんだろうな、えー、電池切れみたいなもんだあんまり動かないからだろうがよくないよななんだそりゃ一度こうなったら誠実はこの The earlier you do the palace the more worrying her light coma seems because it's like ah she stays like this for a few days she's gonna be like that till the 18th of August It's like, yeah, don't worry about it. I, I got this. I got this. She's in a light coma. It's fine. Shut up. Aww, Hoji. Yeah, like she gets up, I think, to. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna take a coma. I'll be back in a few days. Bye. <laughs> She's sleepy. She's sleepy. Shut up. Game, please be giving me control again. Please give me control again, game. Game, 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 game. The I can't read English is really funny to me because that's written in English in the Japanese version. But it's in all caps, like if the person just kind of translated it. Yeah, the deadline is the 21st, so I think she probably wakes up on the 21st? No, the deadline is the 18th. The 21st is... Oh god, I don't fucking know. I'll look at the calendar. So just me or have there been a ton of info leaks lately? It's not Medjid, right? Blah. You're right. They didn't make any declarations or anything. Bit. The hate we're getting online is insane, too. People are treating us like this is all our fault. They may denounce us if we don't hurry and take care of this. Me. There's no hope. It is too early to give up now. We should try to approach it from a few different angles. We have to do whatever we can. Either way, simply relying on Patabo will not do. Well, if you run out of options, that might be your only choice. The sheep is with her. I'm sure everything will be okay. Now we just gotta wait for the top of the wake up. <sighs> okay. I'm not gonna stop sermon, but... I think like a five minute break. I still have the mic on and stuff so we can chat a little bit, but... Oh, before I do that. When, when is the fuckest is the end? The 20th is the calling card deadline and plan execution. And the cleanse is the 21st. So, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna take the mic out for this. Hold on, guys.
<laughs> Bye, Nanaki. I'm just, I still have a tab open with the, um, that insult about the clown car. And I kind of want to read it again, just because it's beautiful. Yo, snooty mixed not wine. The Mona Lisa's vanished eyebrows have been the subject of debate and analysis in the art expert community for hundreds of years, long before your parents squirted water at each other for from across the clown car and then honked their bicycle horns to indicate they really wanted to make a smug, insufferable little clown baby together. This is seriously like, if that is, I swear to God, it, I could never come up with something as amazing as that. Cause that is just, it's perfect. It's pure perfection. Oh, Hoji, you never heard that one? It's, um, okay, I'll give you full context. Hold on. There was this post on Tumblr where, uh, someone says, um, there is a copy of Da Vinci's Mona Lisa and the copy of it has eyebrows. So it says, Similar, similarity in the undersketch of the painting indicates that this was very likely painted concurrently with the original Mona Lisa. And someone responded saying, the copy has eyebrows. Someone responded to that saying, your response to a beautiful piece of artwork done by Leonardo da Vinci himself is she's got eyebrows. All right. All intelligent life has been lost. And the original person, not the person who talked about eyebrows, came back and said that. Yo, Snooty McNaught wine stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll post the link of it to it in chat so you can see what I'm talking about. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I still have all the rest of my sandwich I gotta eat. Hello, Gucci. Now that I've cried, I gotta eat my sandwich. Her lips there. Time with the catchy, aw. No, she does. A scent calling card. <laughs> Brewed coffee. Cute. Finals over, slept. All I did for two days straight was brew coffee. Expensive sushi celebration, aw. Cute. Made curry. Brewed coffee. Trial by burger. <laughs> Trial by burger. I've never actually looked at these, like the descriptions for these. Oh. I 
Machu Picchu or the palace, okay. Keys. The bank. I still have you eyes bag. A bag came out with a suspicious looking model gun. I want to give Ryuji the fucking cup noodles, goddammit. And look, I still have the lotto ticket. <laughs> I never even thought to look at the calendar for that. Wow. I actually don't know what I would want him to get. Increases critical rate when surrounded. Light curse damage to one foul. Yeah, because I'm going to replace the Maragi actually with this. Sorry, Arsene. There you go. And when he can get when he can get a stronger physical attack stuff. Yeah. I'm going to make you my strongest bitch yet, Arsene. Love you. Thanks to the book on speed reading, I should be able to get through this quickly. Sweet. Ooh, Mimi. Whoa, why are you reading that? Whatever you do, just don't read that loud, okay? Aww. And he nods, like, yeah, sure, kitty, don't worry. So you finished reading Ghost Encounters? Oh, I have to change it to English. These stories are way too spooky for me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me about any of them, okay? Uh oh. What? God fucking damn it. Go sleepies. That's cool, Gucci. Alright. Next time I have control, I'm gonna save it. Back out, put on the English voices again. And then we Gucci. Not in chat Gucci, we have other Gucci. What I sketched. I wish to consult with you about what I sketched in Mementos. Do you have time today? I wish to come by LeBlanc with this painting. I'm eating now, maybe I should respond later. Nah. Hey, I'm gonna be opening up shop soon, so I need you done with I need you to do the dishes once you're done with that. Okay. Guess we can respond once the dishes are done. Make sure we thank the chief for breakfast. Aww. Mona! No! Man, this is crazy. I can't keep up with the constant- this constant influx of posts. Isn't it tough being popular, coronavirus? <laughs> anyway, here's the latest lead I have. This one seems to be about someone abusing their power, which has been the entire game so far. I wonder if it was written by a former employee of the company in question. Apparently one of the higher-ups has been claiming the achievements of his subordinates as his own. That really sucks. That's some business sense. You can't seriously just be accepting of that. That was my catchy laugh. Now, I know the name of the company, but I don't have any details on the person himself. So why are you telling me? The company's over in Shinjuku. So try asking around places where businessmen could hang out. The bar at night might be a start. It should be a good place to get more info on the situation. I hope this isn't asking too much of you. Sorry, I'll look for another one just in case. We aren't just your slaves. Okay. 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 Oh, wait, let me do this. Alrighty, friendos. English is coming back. So... Oh, no, shit! He's like, you've been keeping up with your calendar late. I mean, you've been keeping up with your diary pretty well, haven't you? You certainly got the raw, raw deal out of this. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Basically, Mona compliments you for being so diligent with your diary. And he says it's not fair that 
you're being treated the way you are. I never realized before how much Mona really does care and like Joker. Like, I, I would read these things, but, but going through this game again now, I guess it's probably because it's so quickly after I did the Japanese version. It really hits me how much he genuinely loves Joker and, like, cares about him and wants to compliment him and make him feel better. And I think it's probably because not just of Joker's situation, but Mona understands. Like, he's got no one. Hey. Yeah, I'll feed it. Nice. Yeah. Okie doke. Uh, he needs to rank up. Let's see. What are your plans for today? I'm having a hard time calming down, so I can't just shiva you. I was curious, just, was just curious what you're up to. I'll still be in the station for a bit, so let me know if anything comes up. I have to hang out with him. He's pretty low. Just having to wait doesn't jive with me. <laughs> okay. So I have chariot. I do have Chariot. Oh, okay. Yusuke will level up and so will on. Okay. Well, Ryuji... I do use Yusuke a lot, though. But Ryuji was, like, one of the first ones I got, so I'd rather... I'd rather... hurry him along. Hey, bud. What's up? <laughs> I'm really not digging all this sitting around crap. Dude, I really want to talk, or I guess more like vent. You want to grab some ramen? I'll show you my go-to place. Sure. What do you plan on doing? Want to hang out with the Yuji? Yep. It's kind of far, but it's totally worth it. Flavor's out of this world. Going? Yeah, let's go. Ogikubo. Oh, so that's why I couldn't take him to the ramen place, because he hadn't showed me it yet. Sorry, dude. A quiet... No, Ogikubo. Ogikubo. Sorry. A quiet and convenient residential district famous for its ramen. Lip smacking good ramen. <laughs> the deep flavor of old style soy broth is worth the long wait in line. Is it? All right. <laughs> I love the feeling of noodles sliding down my throat. Sweat dripping over my face. This shit's the best, man. Ramen is life, fall is life. Light soup like this really gets your body going after a good run, you know. You used to come all the way out here after practice and... I guess that's all the past. <sighs> I'm going to feed the fuck out of Yusuke, this poor skinny child. By the way, I've seen Nakaoka around a few times, but for some reason it doesn't look like he's getting along with the others. <laughs> there I was, barbecue sauce in my titties. <laughs> Are you worried about him? Yeah, kinda. Uh, I've been thinking about what he said, how the whole track team was putting up with Kamoshida's shit, and how he acted up for all of them. I think he was right. They don't even got a club room anymore, so they've been storing all their stuff behind the gym. They can't use any school gear either, so they just run laps around the block for practice. There ain't really a place for outcasts like that. I should know that better than anyone. It's good they're keeping their heads low now, though. I don't want them ending up like me. You're doing great! It's not so bad. I know how you feel. Honestly, I, yeah. I know how you feel. Oh, yeah. They're both outcasts here, huh? It's probably tough just walking around school for you with all the rumors and shit. <laughs> you really don't belong anywhere. But, you know, maybe that ain't so bad after all. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, trying to fit in is a real pain in the ass. I mean, I'd never met you guys if I wasn't an outcast, right? So, uh, it's all good. <laughs> For real, though, it's been a shit ton of fun. Hanging out with you guys is so freaking cool. Aw. Aw. Wait. Where was the victim blaming in that? It's him feeling guilty. And then he gets over his guilt because he knows he didn't do anything wrong. And it's the early stages of his character arc. Victim blaming is more like when Yusuke says, that woman, well, that woman is horrible too because of what she did. 
when Shido threatened her. Victim blaming is when Sojido says, like, oh, you shouldn't have gotten involved with what happened to that woman. Like, yeah, like, you stuck your nose in with two parent with two adults, blah, blah, blah. So we use, by, like, by, by proxy, blaming the woman and then actually blaming Akira for getting arrested. Even though, like, no, he's... He, but he doesn't know that Akira's secondly a victim here. Yeah, no, victim blaming is the text explicitly calling out someone who has suffered and been victimized by something and saying like, well, you should have known better. Oh, you're like, oh, you did something to do it. Ryuji's saying, oh, I, I messed everything up for them and is just guilt. That's not Atlas victim blaming him. That's Ryuji still struggling with guilt. And it's also not an opinion that he maintains. It's that's actually one of the core components of what changes about him is he takes more um, he takes a less critical view of himself than he realizes. Um, how do I put this? He learns to stop viewing himself as the source of people's problems because it's, he's not a problem. All right. Hmm. I just hope there's something I could do to help those track guys. See, like he wants, he knows that, he knows that his actions, like, like was, has his actions, which he stood up for them and for himself, actually ended up hurting other people. So his guilt is, while well, the whole track team lost everything and I want to do something to help them. You're welcome. So it would probably mess him up if I tried to butt in. Oh yeah, we still gotta find a new spot for our training. And also victim blaming is something like, um, how do I put it? I don't know, I think I explained it. I will just shut up right now. Sorry about, sorry about that, Alia. Mm, I'll think about it. No slacking off then, till then, okay? Okay. See ya. Bye. Hello. Hey, is Tabas still asleep? It's been a whole day already. You're way too impatient. Me. We just have to wait. Yes, let us drink some tea and calm our minds. Oh, some rice crackers with the tea would be lovely as well. What? I am most certainly in the mood. <laughs> For something salty today. And you're just like, dude, I'll be right over. I understand why you guys feel nervous, but we'll just have to wait for now. Victim blaming is a catchy aunties, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Why would I want to spend any time with you? I just want to go to like Kitchy Joji and yell and be like, hi. Or just be like, hello. <laughs> exactly like that. To um to catch you and he'd just be like, I'm busy. Thanks for coming all this way, but I'm busy. I have to get out of temperance. Persony. And I do kind of want to go through Mishima's arc and then constantly like neg him and just say all the negative shit and then just have to like, I don't know, give him gifts or some crap. Because <laughs> I want to see how long it takes to level him up if you always choose against him. Because I'm not going to encourage him with his bullshit. And I have never actually continued through the moon arc more than past like three or four. Yeah. Oh, he is on the map too. Oh, okay. Thanks, Faith. Yeah, Yusuke's like, I'm in the mood for something salty. And he's like, oh my, and then he texts him on another message. And it's like, OMW with some ramen, bro. <laughs> oh, cuties. All right, let's go to the red light district and talk to this fucking loser. Actually, let's go to Crossroads and see if I can get a job there first. Hmm? I think maybe- oh yeah, I think maybe my computer got hacked. How did that happen? Does this have to do with all that news lately? When I'm on the internet, these peculiar screens keep popping up and I get these weird bills. Whoa there, did you click some shady links on a porn site? I just need y'all to hear that. I need y'all to know that it exists. Did someone just whistle at me as I walk past? Did you hear that? Is 
someone just fucking whistled at me. Welcome. Well, you look kind of young. <laughs> I can't sell any books on mature content. Hey. Okay. Flower PD. Thank you, Faith. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Man. Some drunk probably broke this machine. Just what I'd expect in a shady area. What? What is that sound? Hold on, guys. I keep hearing this thud, like, on different parts of my ceiling, like a cat jumps down from a uh, counter or something. But both of my cats are asleep in my room, and like, no one upstairs is awake, so I don't know if it's coming from outside. Either way, it's very annoying. Wanna get me a job, Lala? Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, honey, not that. Not that outfit with those shoes. Sorry, Ichiko-chan isn't here today. Hey, hey. We have a target we haven't identified yet. Maybe you can gather some info while you're working. Um, I might. The original owner of this house was a very old woman who probably passed away here. If you keep, yeah, keep coming to a place like this, you won't turn out to be a good adult. Oh. Or could you be interested in working nights here? I want to work here part-time. Hey. You may not realize it, but you've got potential, young man. I can teach you the basics of how to run th how things are run here. Don't worry, you won't do anything illegal. Thank you, Lala. Hmm. I mean, what do you say? Did you want to work for me someday? Today? Oh, yeah, I'll work for you today. You. Fuck Mishima. All right, go on and change. Love you, Lala. Woo. Okay then. Okay, let me explain what you'll be doing here, darling. It's your first time, so things might be a little scary, but just try to relax. It's easy work. I'll need you to help with some chores around the bar. Washing dishes, clearing tables, the like. I have to entertain the customers, so I can't do those things myself. That's why you're here now. And there you have it. Explanation finito. Do you have any questions? Anything to be careful of? I mean... Let's see. It's just one of me. So customers I can't pay attention to. So sometimes, whoa, I can't pay attention to all my customers. My eye keeps slipping to the second sentence. Would you be on the lookout for those times? I'm sure they want to talk to you, too. They're all great people, so don't worry. I'm sure it'll be a good experience for you. Do you have any questions? There's alcohol here. I don't think so. You're underage, right? So please don't touch any of the alcohol. No drinking it, of course, but that also means no serving it, either. I'll do that. Don't worry. Do you have any questions? Do I need to cross-dress? I mean, I got this cop uniform at home. Oh, honey. Uh, ah, are you interested? I can be your producer, if that's the case. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't want to break any adult entertainment laws, you know? What you're wearing now is fine. It's all you. Well, I guess I'll have you start immediately then. It's almost time for the customers to arrive, so good luck. Thanks, Mama Lala. Hey, hey. Oh, what was that about, Sing? Imagine if you did have to cross-dress for this job. I would look good. <laughs> I would have loved to see you all dolled up. Oh, thanks, Mona. I would look cute as fuck. Nice work, honey. What is that? Oh, really, Jeanette? Oh. Did you call them? Oh, I called them Ma. 
Mom, I didn't know that. That's adorable. Mama Lala. Thank you for your oh, thanks for your help. A minor like you should probably be getting home run, home around now. I love that she is so like <laughs> she's very much a mother hen with you. Bye, mom. See you. Bye. All right, you should be going home. You're still underage, and Shinjuku is dangerous at night. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. We get a lot more customers coming in every Sunday. I'm guessing that they're trying to cope with the fact that they have to go back to work again. Anyways, just hinting that I'm going to need extra hands on Sundays. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Mm. I was hoping that we'd get some more information about our target here. But I guess it's not that easy. Let's stop by here a few more times. Yep. It's easier to see a customer's face since this place is so cramped. Hmm. I think you look more dependable now. I'm nice as fuck, thank you. Wanna head back? We should go home. I'm getting sleepy. Me too. So, uh, I'm gonna call you REM. Or REM? They're both shit. Did you, do you hear those cries of joy? I'm talking about the sudden burst of posts we just got on the fan site. It must be because of how popular the Phantom Thieves are. That's annoying. It's the same for me. I'm gonna have to pull another all-nighter because of this. Anyway, let me tell you about the most interesting thing I've found so far. Indiscriminate acts. This is- okay, this is driving me fucking nuts. Because it's actually moving around. It's not in the same spot every time. Alright, if there is somebody, you could fuck off, alright? I didn't ask you to be here. You can go now. It'd be good if we could find out more of those rumors, but my presence is limited to the web. Might want to try and learn more of your own if you're interested. I make him talk that way, because I don't care about him. <laughs> Who's been assaulting people? That reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. You wanna check out the TV? Oh, who wants to talk? Who wants to talk? Hello? <laughs> uh... What about On? She's seven. Oh, she's so close to being finished. Yeah, we got we gotta chill with On. We gotta chill with On. Hey On. What are you doing today? Oh yeah. Yeah, she's she's a bit stressed. Oh, his word choice? Hey, hey! Yeah, the way he um The way he talks is very weird. He just I don't know, he's just not a smart lad. Oh, I needed to get info, that's right. Shit. What do you want to do? Alright, so... <sighs> I have to get intel. Sorry, On. Came all this way and I just walked right past you. Ooh, Sing, that's creepy. <laughs> Sing, that's creepy. That apron's really starting to look good on you. Oh, yeah. Nice work today. It's almost time for your shift to end, right? Oh, and be careful on your way home. Things have been dangerous in this area lately. What do you mean? The thing is... Haven't you heard? There have been quite a few assaults. Just the day before yesterday, a man was hospitalized after getting attacked by someone. Attacked by who? <sighs> mm, it's only a rumor, but I heard it was a famous thug from around here named Taizo Naguri. But the police can't handle the situation without any proof. Honestly, I've been worried too. I only take the main roads home, even if it takes a bit longer. Maybe the Phantom Thieves could do something about him since the police had their hands tied. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your pay for today. Thank y'all. You did great. Be careful on your way home, okay? How are you feeling? I guess maybe he just the attachment faded then thing? I would I would say that. Nice job. You worked pretty hard today. Hmm. Aw, thing. Hey! What do you think? It's fan of these time. Right. Well put. His name was Taizo Naguri. Let's go to Mementos and take his distorted desires. 
want to head back? All right, we should head home. I think there should have been an instance where not everyone had a unanimous agreement on the target. Man, it's hot. That would have been pretty cool. Well then. Uh oh. Shit. Phantom seat. <gasps> ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I would actually really need the first one. Let me sell the stuff to Gun Dad. Bernie Sanders at? He's at six. Okay, I'll hang out with Bernie. Because he auto ranks. However, the government's overall approval rating is dangerously low. Yes. I'll be sure to proceed with caution. Consider that gr the grandson of my former teacher is showing me such kindness. Yes, well, I'd like to discuss a personal matter. Allow me to be frank. I thought your name was Benzo. I'll be running for my grandfather's seat in the coming election. I see. Congratulations. I had a low-level position in the party's executive office, but I'm new to candidacy. So I was hoping you could educate me on how to run an election campaign. However uh, not to alarm you, but child ghosts are usually demons because demons pretend to be harmless, innocent things like children, so that they can um, attach themselves to you. Well, I was planning on running myself, and I don't believe that I'm qualified to teach you. I've heard that you've been working harder than anyone these past 20 years. Well, I did have a lot of free time after I lost the election. Study is all an animator can do. Yeah, like, the demons will pretend to be, chil go like, ghost children, specifically little girls, to trick you and attach themselves to you. Amateur? You're a veteran, if anything. Besides, you have an experience teaching him, right? Your reputation has greatly improved around the executive office recently. And my grandfather has expressed his intent on making peace with you now. Hmm. I'd be happy to bury the hatchet with Mr. Kuramoto. Sorry, Mummy. But I'm not worthy to join this group again. I thought you would find these conditions favorable. So I ask that you keep what I'm about to tell you a secret. You. Um, not really. They usually just do attachments. Um. And they can be a drain on your emotions. So I've seen and heard cases of people feeling like significantly heavy or depressed, or like their emotions get haywire or out of control. Not necessarily in a violent way, but in just, it's it's just a like, a, a weight on them. And they can have an effect of like, making you get angrier or whatever. But the, the idea is that they're just attached to you like a tick. So I'd, I'd be, no, it's, it's okay if you doubt me, you totally can. And it's also possible that she genuinely is just a little girl ghost. So I would, I would just, I don't know what I would do actually. <laughs> Sorry, could you give us a moment, Kurusukun? You know, I'd like for your favorite people to, he people to hear this. Mm -hmm. Wait a moment. Is your plan to involve him so that I can't decline? I simply trust his discretion. 
the Kurumoto group is planning to move forward with a political realignment. Are you saying that you're going to secede from the Liberal Crow Prosperity Party? With the government in a weakened state, now's our chance. As such, I want to emphasize our unity. I see. And so you've come to me, a former member of the Kurumoto children. But my views differ from those of the, Kur of the Kurumoto group, and I don't intend on changing them. I understand. However, you won't be able to put those beliefs onto action if you don't get elected. Kurosukun, could you talk some sense into him? You'll benefit as well. I wasn't paying attention. You should decline. Mm. You think so too, hmm? You're not intimidated even by the grandson of the Big Time Diet member. I appreciate your offer, but I must respectfully decline. So you're okay with being no good Tora forever? Call him Mr. Yoshida. Kurusuku. Looks like you chose the wrong politician to follow. That's not for you to decide. I try to understand that he has his own beliefs. My apologies. I made a slip of the tongue. And in front of your secretary, no less. I don't need an answer right away. If you want to show deference to my grandfather, please let me know. I already took care of the bill, so enjoy. Now, if you'll excuse me. What's the point in getting elected if it means sacrificing your beliefs? I bet when push came to shove, Kuramoto-kun intended to lure you in. He probably didn't expect me to remain so calm after he showed his... I'm not saying that word card. I feel surprisingly at ease whenever you're with me, like that time with Matsushita. I apologize. I'm truly indebted to you for all you've done for me, but I must ask that you continue to help me. Aw, I mean, like I said, she could totally just be an actual little baby kid. So don't, don't, worry, don't worry about it so much. Don't worry about it. You know, from the way he was acting, I'd swear Kuromoto-kun was hiding something. Let's say we go home. Ah, oh, my apologies. We're done eating, so let's go home. I was able to fend, off, fend Kuromoto off using only words. I feel like my charm has increased. Shouldn't it be your guts? Charm really doesn't... Mm, maybe. Well then, I'll see good, you again. Good work today. Mm. How could that be at this hour? The fact that it's not going to be a catchy makes me sad. I will be on standby at the hideout tomorrow. Truth be told, I found something interesting. It's a DVD that talks about paintings from all around the, from around the world. Although I bought it, I don't have a device to play it on. And even if I did have one, the cicadas are noisy at my dormitory. As such, I'd like to borrow your room. Don't worry if you already have plans. I'll be stopping by either way. I'll go to your place tomorrow to hang out, if that's alright. Yeah. Yusuke's coming tomorrow, huh? Um... I guess it depends. If Ryuji wants to hang out, I do want to get his... his... confidant up. This one's a bit difficult. There have been some strange happenings in the back alley off Shibuya's Central Street. Apparently people have been finding... Did her hurt cats back there? It happens so often people are starting to think someone might be abusing them. That's unforgivable. Yeah, only the scum of the earth would take their aggression out on weak, innocent animals. There's only so much info I've been able to get from the forum. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna kill this dude! Maybe some of the employees down in Central Street would know more details about it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck this. Hey. Th fuck this, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him, kitty cat, we're getting him. Fuck that, I'm going to work today, I'm gonna find this fucker and I'm gonna kill him. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Faith. What do you want to do? Sure do. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you haven't been here in months. Welcome. You I wonder if it's gonna go blue skin to death oh. again. Hey, what's wrong? Well, the thing is, I saw a cat in the road a little while back. Don't tell me that. I just heard, overheard some college-age people in our store talking. They said there was a college student living nearby who abuses animals to relieve his stress. I hope that cat gets found and taken to a hospital. Unforfucking givable. That's what I thought. I know how you feel, but the police can't do anything without proof. Aww. 
the police can't do it, but do you think those phantom thieves could help? Do you know his name? Huh? Uh-huh, well, yeah, I think the guy's name is Kazuo Suboi. Phantom thieves will do it. Yeah! Y yeah, I guess you're right. For some reason, I feel like the phantom thieves really would. Good work today. Oh, I'm sorry. It's almost the end of your shift, right? Good work. Thanks. Hey! Meow! Good work out there. You got to learn how to be considerate of others through dealing with customers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You remember what we talked about earlier today, right? Let's do something about it. Right. Yeah. I think tomorrow I may go to Mementos to take care of some of these requests. I think I have three right now. Cause was the boy, was it? And steal his creep's desires. I wish I could find him and fucking kill him. Well, I'll change and go home. Um, I don't need to know that, I'll yell. In fact, I find that really uncomfortable to have read. Yo. Hey. Oh. You're standing in the rain to catch you? No, I know. Oh wait, I should listen to this properly. Oh, so we won't be in Kichijoji, because on TV. What's your opinion on all the excitement everyone's been feeling over the showdown? Well then. I think for both Medjet and the Phantom Thieves, this kind of attention is the whole motive behind their crimes. Hence, all the thrilling spectacles to amaze people. I advise viewers not to be so enamored if possible. What did you say? He's talking about us like we're criminals too. He doesn't have a grudge against us, does he? That's all right, Elio, don't worry. It's just, I'm a little sensitive to discussions about harm done to cats. So you didn't do anything wrong. Don't worry. Please don't worry. Explosive sound. Boom. Burning metal stick. Firework? I love that Mona, sweet, innocent Mona. So one of the, actually one of those, maybe it's Blam? Sweet, innocent Mona is like, does Akechi have a grudge against us? And it's like, yes. Yes, he does. Firework. Sparkler? Cause it's a stick! You're right! Thank you! So I was right, it was boom. Thank you! Why did I think firework? Who knows? Oh well. Thanks, Faith. A seasonal skybound event. And the. Uh, fire. This should be firework. <laughs> so then what? <laughs> you done did a good. Fireworks. I won't complete it, because I want to know what the other one has to be. So, explosive sound is... Uh, yeah, so... So it would be... Oh, it was boom. Oh, I'm silly. <laughs> I had a big day. I cried a lot. 
This outdoor spectacle has been popular for centuries. Vessels are filled with various chemical compounds to generate color, smoke, and sound upon detonation. Did you know that fireworks don't naturally whistle? That's the result of a special part built into the rocket designed for a noisy ascent. All right. I yeah. see. Nice. I do want to spend some time with Oya. Because I borked it up. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. We have a target we haven't identified. Oh yeah, I'll, I guess I should work. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, Thank I got monies. You. Oh. Well, aren't you a hard worker? Guess it's about time for me to be heading out anyway. Bye, Oya. Oh, yeah. It's all you. Whoa. The customers seem to be enjoying themselves. Make sure you learn well from Lala's hospitality. Excuse me. Good evening. Oh. oh my, you look quite exhausted. Here, have a seat. Oh, honey. <laughs> well, so your boss has been bullying you again? Beat. As soon as I talk back, he makes sure I know I'm lower than him. He insinuates he'll demote me. After that, I'll overhear him talking about me, calling me useless while I'm at work. And everything I've done, all the results I'm getting, somehow he's taking all the credit. So you're saying... That is the worst kind of workplace abuse. I cannot believe that man. <laughs> So many people have quit because of the stress, and yet the higher-ups all ignore it. Of all the terrible bosses I could get in the world, why did mine have to be Shinsuke Kishi? <sighs> hey, Lala, I wish those phantom thieves could do something and help me with this. I mean... Like how? Are you going to ask them to steal all your stress away? <sighs> <laughs> no, I guess it's impossible. But it's nice to think about. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Did you, did you hear that? Isn't that the same guy Mishima mentioned before? Let's steal his stress. Um, no, we can't steal stress, but we might be able to steal what's causing his stress. Yeah, okay. Mementos tomorrow. The fresh maker. Nice work. Thanks for your help. I might not like you should probably be getting home right now. Okay, bye mama. See you. Yep. Hmm. Wanna head back? I feel as though I could melt. Oh, Mona's sitting with crossed paws. This is just, uh, memento stuff. Well... Alright. Listen up! Okay! We know who we're going after, so it's fine. Listen up! <sighs> yep. Yes. Let us go. So hot. That reminds me. I was just hearing about this heat wave phenomenon. I, I think it'll have an effect on mementos. Hey. What type of change would that have, though? I guess something to do with heat. I don't know exactly. Come on, man. The hell's that supposed to mean? I guess we'll just have to see for ourselves. It's time to work. Let's go, Joker. Let's do it. Okay, best girl. Sixty-nine, twenty-nine. Nice. Oh my god, Faith. I must not be the worst written character in this game. Too late, I already am.
blank card. Fuck yeah. Oh, he's strong against. Whoopsie. Did he just call me a scrub? I shall. Lean on sheet. Go down. They're all knocked down. This is an incredible joker. We all did great, huh? Not <laughs> Because it does seem like it'd be too good to be true, but she just like sprays and prays, basically. That's what she does. Like it's gonna hit something, so I'm just gonna fire randomly into the air. I love her. Oopsie. I don't like that Mona's tail bursts up when you hit something. It's like he's alarmed or hurt. It makes me sad. Let's just be cool. I keep hitting triangle and I don't mean to. Yeah. I'll show you the wrath of cats. Aww. Yeah, I know. Let me hear it. Let me see your face. And I wish I could actually legitimately kill this guy. And it would be just their dirty secret. Like, hey, Joker, we just killed that dude. But yeah, oh well. And then they would discover that they can actually do um, mental shutdowns by killing a shadow. And they're like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, the irony that I should not have gotten rid of Maragi on him. Self. 
Come at me, clown shoes, he says. Thank you. And now for a show. Man, I'm starving. Allow me. Oh, Some yeah! Sauce, a touch of red. Bon appetit. Oh, man, it's just what I want. <laughs> Get out of my face! <laughs> Can't you want this? <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Adorable. Thanks, buddies. What the hell? Oh, damn it. I'm putting you in a cage. Kill yourself, really. Wow, that's actually pretty bleak. Like, what should I do? It's like you're gonna be guilty for the rest of your life. gets a weapon out of it. He gets a blood scimitar, for fuck's sake. Well, then. Here you go, Mona. Oh, I like this better, though. Oh, Mooch, not what. A sword with a malicious-looking blade. I'd rather that, honestly. God damn it. when they get up and they're okay. Oh, 
I forgot he's dizzy. Shit. Oh wait, but he has Dizzy. Where's it confused? Joker's confused? Oh, there we go. Hey, calm down. Do you really have nothing to cure that? I guess I have to hit him or something? I don't know. Hmm, we can't do that here though. There we go. Three remaining. We can do it. Cool. Looking cool, Joker. Let's go. Oh, why didn't I do that with you, Sky? No, because Joker was confused. On days marked by a heat wave, the shadows and mementos will occasionally have burn at the start of the battle. Furthermore, some special negotiation options are only available during a heat wave. Wow. Huh. Man, these persona curse a lot. Give me the goods. Every enemy status they might healed. What the fuck? I just realized it's actually worth it to keep pushing them to give you stuff. And when they fail and you just go back to battle, you can just kill them. So you get the items and the experience points. And the money. So. Whoops. <laughs> Yay! Victory! Okay. Easier than cleaning my brushes. Is that really what you think I should do, Makoto? We all did great, huh? A spectacular victory. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. The platform. We can descend from here. Joker! A treasure chest! Let's open it! Oh, 
What the hell happened? It's so dark. Mementos is an amalgamation of the people's cognition. This can affect the environment as well as the structure. It hasn't been like this in a long time. But it seems like the darkness won't be the only thing we'll have to deal with. You mean we have even more stuff to worry about? In a way, I can sense rare shadows all around us. We should explore this area for a bit, despite the darkness. I only want to stick around here, but if you say so, then I guess we can go for it. Joker, just drive extra safe or something. Aww. It's so dark, even I'm having trouble seeing. Do you see anything, Joker? Nah, yeah, not really. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry, Alan. Hey, that's a rare one. Don't let it escape. Psychokinetic moves should help here. It won't be a problem. Persona! You can hit the weakness. Do it. Again? Oh right, I'm silly. Money rocker. <laughs> you know what? That's, that's not far from the truth, really. Oh, perfect. Can't fucking tell. Be mindful of the darkness. Find the rare shadow. I thought I did find the rare shadows. Oh, no, I didn't. Take that, you 
jewel tool. Victory! Mm. Nice work, team. Okay. Huh? That was a little too easy. Or are they just coming back? I can't tell. So many places to go. Looking at these shadows, it's gonna give me nightmares. There's nothing Just here, you idiot. The crap out of them if they show up in your dreams. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good advice. That's where I started. Okay, and I went here. And it was a dead end, yes. And this is a dead end too? You guys remember to stay hydrated, okay? Ow! Every time I try to take a drink, you start bumping around! Oh, Mona! I also like that they actually bring water in with them. That's the... Where's that down? Yeah, it's down. Alright, I might as well just fuck off out here. I don't care. Drink water, you dehydrated delinquents. You're hanging out with uh, the other Lala quite a bit. Yeah, it's any time that Mona and Ryuji interact, it's honestly really adorable. Especially in like the mementos chatter and stuff. In the Japanese version, he calls you Onichan. Oh no, Onisan. So it's like Big Bro or something like that. But I guess that's. Calling him Mr. Is, is just as cute, too. I think probably the cutest, though, is watching Joker react to um, the hammer thing. This is honestly my favorite. Woo. <laughs> he just ducks so he doesn't get hit with it. So cute. Give it a try. Mm hmm And then this one, uh, when he takes out the, the drink. No palace of my own? I just finished Futaba's palace, so now we're on summer break. Yeah, when he takes out the glass, 
Woo. He just like leans away so it doesn't hit him in the head. It's so cute. Everything is adorable. It kills me. That's really pretty. Oh, he's so sweet. Hope you run into each other again soon. God, he's adorable. The platform. That takes care of this area. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get the fuck out of it. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I may be missing something. I am missing a few of Jose's stamps on this whole level, so I think I need... Three more? Oh, a treasure chest. This is what thievery is about. I'm a nerd, I love him. I have to say, playing this game again um, so quickly after Royal, now that I can pay attention not just to like the changes in Royal, but like pay attention to maybe you should buy a punching bag. To the plot again. Or maybe you shouldn't. And to the characters and then um, listening to it in English and just hearing the intonations and how they choose to play them, it it makes me really like this game even more than I already did. No, the only thing you missed, Lala, was the aquarium date, and that was in the previous stream, because I had I stopped and restarted it. So if you do want to go watch back on the other stream, it's on it's either July 28th or July 29th. Fuck me. Persona. No problem. All right. Uh oh. On. No. You give my friend back, you fucker. Is no one gonna help me? Uh oh. Is it, are we just gonna stand? Oh my god. The request failed! What? What? No! King Patty Cakes! Thank you, King Patty Cakes. Can you imagine if I somehow help people? And it's like coronavirus helped you out. Let's go. Die. Keep it going, Fox. I appreciate it. Get up on. Yeah. Get up on. Now, okay. How about we kick some butt together? There. I know you resist it, but that's that's all I got for you. Come on, Joker. No, our scene no. Here we go. Yay! Do us proud. Showtime! gift is beautiful as you. According to plan. Yeah! Victory! Okay. Shadow defeated! Let's go, Joker! Coronavirus inflicted itself on your enemies. Best part is that they will know exactly that it's a pun on Goro's name. But like, what? What? Yeah, this outfit, the Shadow Ops outfit, it's fantastic. We were talking about it a couple hours ago and we're like, we really wish that that was her, her actual clothes. 
because it suits your character so much better. Because it's still skin tight, but it's co it covers it completely from neck to toe. be the general consensus about on <laughs> and Sai and Tai. It must be the three letter name ladies thing. Are you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. On guard. I'll have the usual. Of course. What a master! My soul into this bowl. Now that's what I'm talking about! My heart, my soul into this bowl. That's a to the next That's the cutest. Victory. It's real isn't it good? It's so good. Alright. We had a hard time. We'll be fine, babe. Also, nothing happened to you. Isn't it? Yeah, theirs is really cute. Um, it reminds me a lot of Devil May Cry, just because it's like that. It's it's just that over the top, ridiculously adorable. And that Ryuji pretended to be like a cowboy when he swaggered up. To the um, to the bar. Hmm? Oh, hi, hi Blake. <laughs> That's fine. I wondered. I'm like, well, I see 17 people, so and I don't really have anything to say right now. Kind of just oh. going through the motions. He's got the crazy eyes. Okay, let's go. He looks just like the dude who hit her cats. No, oh, jeez, he's the annoying type. <laughs> uh. What? Also, there really isn't much to say during the summer, I think. Because, like, the, the Fatalba thing is so heart-wrenching that after that it's just kind of like, alright, summer. Yay. And then it's just, you just wait till the end of the month, till the game can continue. And then it's, you go back to school, and then it's a Hawaii trip. It really, it doesn't pick up, as terrible as it sounds, the game doesn't really pick up the interesting parts of the plot until September, for me. The fact that that's when Kichi gets back to your life is just inconsequential, I promise. And it's not that I'm saying I'm bored or not having a good time or not enjoying, like, the times when I can spend time with my friends. It's more just like, mm. It's kind of like you should- it's actually kind of like exactly how I feel during the month of August in real life. I'm like, alright, I'm ready for this to be over. Yeah, 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 that shit. Your opponent is strong. Don't 
Whoa! Whoa, okay. See, the beat stuff makes me really uncomfortable. Like, I don't like how Fataba's dressed. Like, she's 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 babby. She should not be dressed that way. Um, I didn't really. It, I I think I like Yusuke with the hoodie and the lobsters, and that's about it. That was the only thing about it I liked. That's all. <laughs> with beauty and grace. Time for this. No, it doesn't. It's just this one long slog, honestly. What? 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 Huh? Oh. Yeah, that, that makes me hate Makoto. Like, it's... It's just, it's, she's really uncomfortable in it, and she's just this tiny little girl in, like, a small two-piece. I'm like, mmm. If she was happy with it, I wouldn't mind. But making, like, a 15-year-old socially anxious girl put on a small two-piece is... It ain't great. Oh, fucking hell. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now for a show. I'm not empty, man. Behold, Whoa. a saucy, zesty masterpiece. Ain't nothing better than this. <laughs> Get out, dumbass! <laughs> Here you go, my tree! Oh, not bad at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> I like this. They added so much more interactions between the thieves. Like, so much tiny little moments of interaction that just bring them to life in a way that Vanilla didn't. Which I think answers people's complaints about uh, feeling like the thieves didn't really bond. I'm like, well, Royal actually has all these tiny moments in combat or just that just make them feel oh more God. connected for me. Sorry, won't cut it. You really have to ask. Charge, nice. Hi, Triss.
God, that sucked. I hope there's a um, rest area soon. I don't think I need- oh no, I do, because I need the stars. Yeah, I still need the star stamp. <laughs> Yay! Let's open it. Ooh. Cause like I do understand I get royal I'm not royal. Vanilla felt more like you know, they're secure they're whatever they're friends, but um Royal just I don't know how to describe it. I mean I guess you guys see a clear example of it. All these little tinier interactions and reactions between the thieves and each other just. It's sweet. Oh shit, oh shit. On! Fuck, 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 okay. Well, on to the next trial. Wish you could use skill cards on allies. Oh, yeah. A catchy in third okay. semester with charge would just eat Shit. everything. Now let's push forward. He would just eat everything. He would be unstoppable. He would be too OP. Too OP, please nerf. to find the stamp. I guess there isn't one here because those two were dead ends. Alright. <laughs> if anyone comes at me, I'm gonna knock him out. What a simple way of thinking. <laughs> they call people like you muscle heads. Yeah, and it fucking works. Mama said knock you out. Yeah, I agree, Triss. All right, let's take five. Emma, if it's super late there, please go to sleep. Please, 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 please. Well. What are your thoughts? Okay, let's go. I'll just add this. Can we see it, Blake? Oh, it's almost 10 in the morning, over like two hours ago. Oh, all right, well, good morning. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was actually thinking that after I said it, I'm like, wait a minute, time difference. I will see it, yay, 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 yay. I would like to see it. I am looking. Um, yes, 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 and I am, I'm not just looking, I am leaning forward with interest. I see the platform. Should we keep going? Like face pressed to the screen, heavy breathing, leaning forward with interest.
Ooh, nice. There's an enemy. Be careful. Huh? Then <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Anytime anyone can focus on the canon aggressive oh. elegant viciousness viciousness, excuse me, that is part of Joker's personality and then amplify it in the Pers a role reversal AU is really fucking good. Yes. I Let's enjoy go. I enjoy it very much. Ah. Oh, caramel, oh no. <laughs> Idiot. Now. Well, hello. No, I think they should definitely still maintain their personalities. How do you want to do this? And like, just the their difference in their roles. Oh, that's nice. That's I, that's, I dig it. I dig this very much. Take this. He's actually pretty physically weak. That's interesting. Oh. Yeah, I dressed him up as Teddy. I'm a victim too. No, you're not. How stupid. Sea 
theme park escort. Oh, we got a theme park escort book and he's like an amusement park guide. Even if you abused your subordinates, I guess your kids were real important to you. Oh. Now we can get the fuck out of here. Good for you, Triss. That's what I'm hoping to do because I can't fucking stand that palace. Do you need something? It's like the bane of my existence. I get like PTSD flashbacks just thinking about it. Pursue rehabilitation with all your body and soul. Okay. You wish to view the compendium. You wish to read. Are you certain? Alarm time, inmate. Today we will hang them more forcefully. Whoa! Jesus Christ! It seems you are making good use of the alarm. This is how execution. <laughs> this may be somewhat grisly. How can you? Whoa! What the hell is that? Yeah, bruh. Oh, it's a cut. Is it a cut? Yay, our son. There you go, babe. Behold. Ooh. Um... I'll get rid of that. Woo! Alright, he has no healing, so I don't need that. Okay, no gallows. This is its powered up form. The great thief stick! This weapon is more powerful than normal. Wow! Random ailment medium. Cain wants carried by the- oh, okay, tempting, tempting, very tempting. Moonlight robe! Gotta get a, top -tier protector. a royal robe that emits a regal soft glow, but that's so weak, shit. My will. Prepare for the unexpected. Okay. Begin searching. I do need Mitra. You okay with this? As then I need, um... Kinky, I need a temperance. It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable. Yeah, I did. Choose which skills to inherit. Oh. That that one. Two, three. This should confer some small. <laughs> some small. <laughs> Whatever, Igor. Oh. I was wondering why you were talking about him so much. I'm like, I, I guess he's probably pretty good. I don't even know who Tower is in this game. Is that that shit kid, Shinya? Where's the red hat? Here's a Chihaya. Ah, oh, shit, kid. I never finished this. I was just like, I deal with enough children. I don't want to deal with them. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Wow, two things I didn't fucking want. I hate Mahama. I hate- I hate any Hama spell. It's worthless to me. Because it never works. Done already, Justine? This one's all you. This is the path you have walked. Uh, I got rid of... Leon Shi, but I don't- I only have to take her out when I do the lovers thing. And I need the chariot. 
This is the one? You wish to summon this for this is how rude. How <laughs> rude. Because I'm just mashing through her dialogue. Oh, 73? Uh, whatever. I don't care. Oh? Did you change your mind? Taba's going to take a while. She was like that last summer, too. Oh. Finally, I can relax after being hounded by deadlines. To be such a popular critic is a blessing and a curse. Oh, you're still in high school, right? Are you enjoying your vacation? I can have fun later. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Live out and enjoy your youth as much as you can before it's gone. And now, sadly, I must end this momentary respite. If I stay too long, I may get scolded for it. Bye, loser. A little over two weeks have passed since Medjet announced their attack. The police are gathering intel about Medjet and promoting better awareness of security. However, expectations for police are low as people focus on the Phantom Thieves showdown against Medjet. It's impossible for the police to do anything in the situation. We have to handle this on our own. Persuading the guards and making small gadgets? How do they think of all that? <laughs> oh. Cute. Hmm. Kindness and kindness and guts. Okay. That's what we need to work us on. Focus on, not work us on. Kindness and guts. Kindness and guts. What side is the Ketchikun on? found a place. So you know how I was looking for somewhere good to train? Well, I found a great place. I can practice as much as I want now. This is kind of sudden, but want to go check it out today? Jeez. Stop checking your phone while you're eating. Just concentrate on your food. Okay, Mom, sorry. I don't think he liked that. Shit, it's her though. I have to, I have to do hers. She's only at she's only at two, and she goes up to five. I do want to at least get to five with her, and then like after that, I don't I don't know. I didn't have time to focus on her in the third semester, so I just didn't. She lives in Kitchy Joji then. Hey, inmate. Do you have business with me? Justine, these are the paths you have. <laughs> Next time, I'll just go right to the if bottom of the list. This person, then accept such, rude done already. such rudeness. What? I do like they get no mad and you, you mash out, but whatever. I don't want to hear you guys talk. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm not. Oh, God damn it. Okay. All right. May what as well. Do you
I think he looks like um, the Punisher, which to me is really fucking rad. Oh, I don't want to take a little. Oh, you have to train there. I never really used him. I honestly wish we could have kept. Um, I honestly wish we could have kept um, Robin Hood and Loki because I really like Loki, and I didn't want to lose Loki for this guy. Is she wearing like big fluffy shorts? Because if she is, then I think that's. Uh, if it was like a skirt, I think it'd be cute. But the shorts, uh, I don't know. It's a nice view. It just it made me sad because like I, I almost don't want to get Harrowbard, but I have to. But I'm like Loki though, Loki. Well, like, we, because you have Loki for such a short length of time. Hmm. Well, let's go. Yeah, bye. But then, like, I can't really be too mad in game or too disappointed because, like, you know, Ke Keji's real happy to, to get Harrowbard. He's just like, yeah, nothing to hold me back now. I'm like, okay, okay, baby. I'm just a. Rain, huh? I'm just, um. I have a bias for the Norse mythology ones. Like, friggin'. <clears throat> Kasumi's second tier one is great, and she keeps it for all of two fucking seconds. We're not gonna make it if we can't come up with a solution. Speaking of that medjed shit, people are talking about those leaks everywhere I go. We still have time. Yes, this is not an occasion for panic. Let us try to remain calm. Our only saving grace is that Medjed seems quite intent on sticking to their planned date. We just gotta keep trying till that day comes, yeah? Oh yeah, I should hang out with her. Sometimes I just wanna go and check to see if he's there and he's like, I can't hang out. No. I gotta spend time with him. Okay. I used to do that throughout like the month of September, I guess, or I don't know, I would go there and he'd be like, oh, I'm too busy, sorry. <laughs> October, I think it was actually. All right, what did that say? Corporations have been scrambling for countermeasures in response to Medjed's statement. An estimate of the possible damage from a cyber terrorism attack has, has been announced. According to experts, such damage could reach trillions of yen. <sighs> trillions? These guys are too dangerous. Yeah. I have a message from Futaba for you. Just don't worry about it, leave it all to me. So what's that all about? Oh, Futaba! Futaba chan Yeah, I agree. I'm Becky, gorilla maid of the maid world. The type of work we do depends on how- Oh, it's you. As long as you request me, I'll do your housework for just 5,000 yen. Hey. Yeah, come over. Then I'll head over. Okay, I'll get dropped off from the store then. Please come up your room and wait for me. Because she gets Vanadis, which is um, another name for Freya, the goddess Freya. Like, I don't want the third one. Oh, <laughs> Considering Kawakami, I feel like she'd be happy to receive something that would improve her life. Uh... A vitamin? What the fuck would she like? Um... I think the vitamin, because she's tired and shit. Uh, there you go. Hmm. Is this for me? I wish I could have gotten something more expensive. Just kidding. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wow, this is cool. Oh, yay! Feels like I didn't really impress Kawakami much with my gift for her. Whatever. She got some fucking vitamins. She could Thank deal with it. Thank you for using our service. Well, you can... You can buy them again. And I haven't had to give him any gifts because I always rank up with him. I wish you could just hang out with them randomly and just give them a gift whenever you wanted. But you can't do that, so. Um.
Okay. Hmm. I'll see what I have to do tomorrow. It would probably be best to hang out with him. Goro likes anything you give him. Like, even if he's like, okay, thanks, he will always get at least one point. Hey. Yeah, it's, it said she'd like something to improve her life. But I don't really know what that means. Yeah, I have to go to her, too. It's such heavy rain. Please head to the exam room. Takemi is pleased. Yay. Bye. How the fuck did my guts not go up? God damn it. Sorry, Yusuke. Ah, you're back. All oh, right. People have begun flooding back to their hometowns in pre preparation for Obon. Trains and planes are packed and traffic continues to be jammed on the highways. Hey. Visiting home, huh? Must be nice to have a place to go home to. That's really sad, because Akira can't go home. I don't know how that works, Triss. We finally get days off for Obon, and then we have to endure the scorching heat. That's true, Lala. Remember high school? The kids on the baseball team would train in heat like this and love it. I used to be like that, all excited about taking on the world. Now I'm just a company slave. Thank you. Curry was delicious. Yeah, I shouldn't turn down uh, Yoshida. He's so close to being done, so... Thank you. The truth is, Diet... Uh, Dietman? Dietman Matsushita has been asking for me. Remember when he asked me to be his right-hand man last time? He's likely waiting on my response. Well then, please join me up at the speech. Sure. What's wrong? What did you ask me here to discuss? What? I heard you met with Kuromoto's grandson. You have your ears to the ground, huh? And to think that he's the candidate the party's backing to ruin my chances of winning. I'll be completely straight with you, since I already asked you to be my right-hand man. We're currently fighting the Kuromoto group. What? You're fighting with Mr. Kuromoto? I have ambitions of my own, you know. I owe him for all he did for me, but I don't want him to have influence over me forever. All the more, now that he's secretly working with Diet members from other parties. I know he asked you to join his group, but I think you should decline his offer. Mm. They want to keep you on a leash so you won't reveal any damaging information. The real culprit of the expense misappropriation case you were blamed for is old man Kuromoto. What in the world? What did you say? I searched through the parties off the record account some 20 years ago. There's no doubt. Can you still forgive him? He led you into the political world and kicked you out in the worst way. But why? Seems he brought his popularity, and as a result, he was having some serious financial trouble. I see. Sounds as if you're saying that this is my opportunity to clear my name. And so you need my answer from me on whether or not I'll be your right-hand man, yes? His own grandson has already tried to persuade you, therefore I can't wait any longer. If you join me, you can accuse Kuromoto of his crime. You can clear your name and put no good Torah behind you. This is your best and last chance. Join with Matsushita and take my revenge against Mr. Kuromoto, but drop out of the election. Don't do it. Mm. I see. So that's how you truly feel about this. Matsushita, I appreciate the offer, but I must refuse. You have no conceivable reason to refuse. My goal is to become a member of the Diet, not a right-hand man. I will not cast aside my beliefs. On that, I stand firm. This information would be the deciding factor in taking down Kuromoto. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I was simply offering you a deal. I assumed you might decline it. Decline it, excuse me. Very well. Please forget it. I apologize for bringing it up so suddenly. I'll talk to the party and provide support for your next speech about the Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Why are you doing this? I don't want to debate about the Phantom Thieves. I simply want to draw attention to them. 
and you can assert your innocence there on a grand stage. To be frank, I'll be happy as long as the Kuramoto group's influence diminishes. Kurusukun. Don't speak a word of this to anyone, for both our sakes. Very well, then. <sighs> Feels like I'm caught in the crossfire of a political conspiracy. Yeah, that sucks, Bernie. My friend is trying to take advantage of me while my former mentor is trying to win me over. To achieve my dream, I have to set aside my beliefs. What should I do? Get elected. Mm. Indeed, this would all be futile if I don't become a Diet member. I must focus on getting elected. However, betraying oneself to reach a goal would be a hollow victory indeed. For some reason, just talking with you always helps me make up my mind. It's as if my heart is being manipulated. <laughs> mm. Perhaps. If the Phantom Thieves truly do exist, then I'm sure they're very much like you. <laughs> oh. For some reason, you stood by me. No good Torah, who didn't have any supporters. Actually. I've been thinking about this for a while, actually. You must have experienced cruelty and injustice in this life. I can tell by the look in your eyes. That's why I sense your desire to help the weak. Oh, he's like, uh oh. And the strength to stand up to the hecklers, to Matsushita, and to Kuramoto's grandson. You're no ordinary high school student. Even I know that much. Hey. Would you care to talk about it? What good would that do? <laughs> so what if you're right? Hmm. No. Oh! <laughs> Just a joke. Sorry, I crossed the line there. I've always lacked restraint in these situations. See what I did there? I relieved the tension by making fun of myself. Think of it as an advanced technique for winning people over. Oh, I do that all the time. <laughs> I do that all the time. Mind control occasionally lets you skip negotiation attempts when to ad obtain a persona. Wow! When attempting to equip a plane. I can't talk. When attempting to obtain. There we go. Holy shit! All right. Akira gets so defensive when asked to talk about his own power. I know. I know. It's so sad. Baby. You're right. Hey, baby. And yet he t opens up immediately to Akechi. Ha 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 ha. I shall ask you again another time. Like just immediately. As soon as the catch is like, well where's your where's your favorite spot to be? And then you tell him. And well, then, then he explains and fades out and he's like, Whoa, you came here at Team Tokyo by yourself? And it's like you moved to Tokyo by yourself. I know I miss him too. Part of me wants to keep check checking Kichi Joji at night to see if he's just hanging out. Because I think you can do that sometimes and he'll be like, I'm I'm a bit busy. Sorry. I haven't given her the money yet, Emma. I'm going to do that as soon as I can. Thank you for tagging along today. Goodness, I've gotten you wrapped up in my whole messy past now. Because I've never had the m enough money for it. Soulmate privilege only. Oh. I don't think it's that he doesn't trust them, Caramel. I think it's more that, like, he doesn't want to burden them, considering how much he knows they are going through. So he's seen as a support network for them, and the only person he, so far anyway, that he seems to want to freely share what's happened to him with is Akechi. He does tell his other friends what's going on in his life, but they, they have to really like push it out of him first. But then he continues to like listen to them, support them, to stand by them, and with Akechi it's more like he doesn't have to vent, like give this information to him, he just, he does. And it's also actually kind of risky for Araki to tell him that, like, hey, I was accused of a crime. <laughs> and I'm on, you know, I'm on probation, that's why I'm here. Because Ketchy's a fucking detective, he could just look right into that. I mean, I don't think he has to, because... I've always wondered if he does know that it's... If he does know about Akira and what really happened. Because Shido said he doesn't want his name on the report, he wants it stricken from the record. So, who knows. I told you before, becoming a Diet member shouldn't be your only goal in life. That's just my opinion, though. I still stand by these, those words, of course, but what are your thoughts on what happened today? Say you were in my shoes. Could you say with all confidence that you wouldn't be swayed by such a lucrative deal? Humans are easily swayed. One glimpse of a temptation could be all it takes to make us forget our principles. That is why you must never forget what's truly important to you. You understand. I'll never forget that. He will always remember the promise to Akechi. Good. 
Life is full of tough decisions. I can only hope today's lesson will nourish your growth. Oh, you can still feel sad, Caramel. That's totally fine. I wasn't saying you shouldn't feel sad. Well, the real battle begins now. I need to devote myself to this fully. After all, I can hardly afford to disappoint you. All right, see you next time. Bernie out. Yeah, like he has a trauma block on the whole thing, which is heartbreaking. And I think that may explain his hesitation because he has to basically dig, he has to pick off the scab of that memory and the trauma of it and talk about it. Hello, Saskino. I'm once again asking you to stick to your principles. <laughs> And Anon just wrote shit plus shit equals shit sandwich. Wow. Thanks, Anon. That was very prolific of you. How eloquent. Way too hot. It's hot. I'm sorry, kitty. Nice. You sky okay, yeah, I have no excuse. I gotta go hang out with you sky. Loki's sword. Oh. Hey, Dee. Hmm. By the way, I came to see you. Hear me out. Akita, this is the completed form of my draft earlier. I think this is beautiful, and the fact that that dude who shows up and saying this is amateurish is bullshit, because this is wonderful. I would like your honest opinion, if you would. It's enigmatic. Yes. Hmm, as it should be. I do not paint for the sake of others' comprehension. Regardless, this is how I choose to interpret the idea of desire. Indeed. Like, I immediately understand that this is about desire. It is the foul charm held deep within the abyss of the heart. To be honest, I believe my ability to capture desire so elegantly is all due to our mementos foray. I have grown to understand the intricacies of the heart in a way I had once thought impossible. To tell the truth. Akira, I intend on submitting this piece to an upcoming public art exhibition. <laughs> Nobody has seen the abyss of the heart in such a wrong manner before. The discourse will be fascinating. No, discourse is never fascinating. More importantly, it shall be the spark that revitalizes my slumbering art career. I can't wait. Indeed, I expect you to accompany me for the moment it is finally revealed to the general public. Hmm, I'm sure this will be a most sensational experience for those who opt to undergo it. A raw, unbridled look into the depths of the human psyche. And I was the one who was able to bring it to life, all thanks to your assistance. Thank you. You have my sincerest gratitude. You're welcome, bro. All right. Hmm. I deeply anticipate the public reaction of the ex exhibition. But for now, I should be going. My apologies for disturbing you. So Yusuke just, like, slumps home with this beautiful fucking painting. Can you, I imagine him just, like, holding up in front of his face. When he's, like, just on his way back home. I want to thank you again for earlier. Getting a raw, unfiltered opinion was invaluable. I was even able to come up with a new interpretation thanks to your help. I'm on a roll right now. I shall keep up this momentum and apply it to the Phantom Thieves as well. You're already doing enough. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, leave it to me. Your presence stimulates my senses. I look forward to seeing what other inspirations can come. Okay, bye. Oh, whoops. I could hardly wait to hear back about the public exhibition so I can share the joy with you. I will contact you again later. Expect good news. Bye! Man, it's hot. Nice! Yeah, I have to go see her. Whoa! Ew! Ew. Not when you say that, bitch. No. No. No, 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 no. We're gonna go see the the psychic who's gonna scan me. It's way 
I know you like Akechi, but what do you think about the Phantom Thieves? Those Phantom Thieves can never steal my heart. It's already been snatched, Akechi-kun. Whoa, don't shout and spook me like that, you dummy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I... Okay. Gay dudes oh. like a catchy. You're Kudusa san from the other day, right? I remember you. You had a very abnormal destiny, as I recall. Please take a seat. <laughs> you want to purchase a holy stone, huh? For just one hundred thousand yen, you can change your fate. Mm. For that much, not it's better not only ch it better not only change your fate, but also give you incredible luck. I like that this is the cult nine sign right next to where Chihaya is. If you do end up buying one, we should go home and test it out. Oh, what do you want to do? I'll buy one. Thank you very much. Here you go. Get. Thank God I'll still have money. Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's the smart thing to do, considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune. It's already charged with a happiness aura, so you'll feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it with moonlight every three days. Please stop by again and let me know how your fate changed. Oh. Goodbye. Ah, you're, you're back. Home. You're home. I was just about to close up shop, but I forgot to turn the stove off. I guess you start forgetting things more the older you get. Hey, hey! Last time we went to that fortune teller, the chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck we'll have this time around. It should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid a hundred thousand yen for this whole- Ow! What the heck? <sighs> hey, can't you keep this thing a little cleaner? I can't be comfortable with all this gravel at the bottom of the- Wait, Akira. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey! Hey, do you mind looking over the shop while I... For real? The stone shattered! What's gone into you? Whoa! This tastes salty! Huh? The holy stone is just salt! Mm -hmm. I imagine his face is just like, going through a, a, like a ripple of emotions. <laughs> and the cat's yelling and he's just like, Akito, what the fuck? Akito, what's going on? I'm just a bit salty. You're salty? That reminds me, I was just about to head out and grab some salt for the shop. I'll be back in a bit. Hmm. I got scammed by Miss Cleo, sir. I think this is technically rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding some up before. Wait, in that case, maybe the holy stone is supposed to help you get better at cooking. I don't think that's right. But if it, that's not it, then what's it for? Hold on a second. The Holy Stone was supposed to change your future, not improve your cooking skills. No way! So that Holy Stone was really just a phony stone in the end? That fortune teller's name was Shihaya, right? She clearly has some kind of mystical power, but this is just unacceptable. Hey. We need to go complain to her. <sighs> he was trying to be positive. Why can't it be a catchy? I'm thinking of heading over to their hideout tomorrow. I'm really in the mood to blow off some steam. Play some games! Oh, don't worry about me. If you got stuff to do, I can keep myself busy. I don't have a console. For real? Well, I guess it ain't surprising to know where you live. Later. Hey. Oh, I have to buy it! People tend to gather up at your place. You might want to at least invest in a game console. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I wanted to buy it. Sorry, Yuji. Come on, Mona, but Mona chan, let's go. Baseball? Things look bleak after ending the fifth game of the second round with a 23 point difference, but they haven't given up. They're heading back into the minor league playoffs to give it their all. Yeah, he's very he's very positive and he tries to lift Akuta's spirits as much as he can, which is very sweet. Welcome. What would you like? Yes, I must say. Thank you. Really, no one wants to. Ha no one wants to hang out. Really, no one. Mm. 
I did not mean to come to the arcade. Son of a bitch. I meant to go to the airsoft shop, but for some reason I just saw the letter A and I'm like, well, time to go there. <laughs> Don't get mad at me, gun dad. Hmm. All right. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Do 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 do. Uh, come again. Hi, gun dad. Uh, are you all right? Hi, Blake. Hope you're okay. Uh, that doesn't make me feel any better, but I hope you're hope you're okay. I don't think you're done. Where's Yukari Shan? Huh? Oh, she's in our IT department. Because of what's happening with Medjed, we wanted to beef up our cybersecurity, so hmm. Is that why you call her so often? I mean the only name in your call history is Yukari Chan. Who cares? Can we go see the cat bus now? Oh. Oh, it's a sense of humor. Oh, okay. Go sleepies. Go sleepies. Sleepies. Love you. You are smart and valid and a good. And I can't wait to see the Akadon drawing. Or did you post it already? If you did, um, if you did, I'd like to see it. If you didn't, I will wait patiently for it. a while dude it's fine don't worry love you too good night yeah he cheating he cheating with yukari chan i saw them earlier like a couple months ago when they were arguing about something else and i'm like wow these people are gonna get a fucking divorce and i was just joking but apparently that's that seems like it's legit they say japan's economy is in trouble thanks to medjet i wonder if it's going to be like this in the bubble burst the company i was working at survived but it was a slaughterhouse el slaughterhouse elsewhere bubble huh Brings back memories. That's about the time I left home. If it weren't for the former owner, it might have been a monk right about now. Well, first time I'm hearing that one. Were you trained to become a monk? My home was a Buddhist temple, and my older brothers had no intention of taking over the business. Turns out, neither did I. I wanted to be free, and this is where I ended up. Still doing whatever I want. Wow, that's really cool! Uh, I don't think I can go here yet, it's not open. But wow, that's really, really, really cool. The more you know, Rainbow. I don't think that guy is gonna be here, but oh, I finally have a fucking item, dude. Oh, I know you, dude. What do I get? Yeah, I I have the fucking item you want, dude. I mean, yeah, I thought I accepted it. Yeah, I thought I had this. That's nice straight. Yeah, take it, dude. Please take this model gun. What the fuck? Okay, weirdo. Oh, my ankles are cracking. Gross. Let's go to the temple. Hello. What brings you here, young man? Oh my. I see intense emotions roiling in your eyes. Passion is not always dangerous, only if one knows how to calm one's heart. Whoa. So that just... Akira has intense eyes. Intense looking eyes. Whoa. 
whoa, 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 I like that. Why don't you spend some time in solitude here? Maybe you will attain enlightenment and peace in, pe in the place, right? Calm mm. one's heart. Does he mean you can meditate here? If you meditate at the temple, you'll be able to increase your maximum SP, however time will pass. The more you meditate, the greater the effect will be. Check your schedule and use the temple diligently. What do you want to do? you want to meditate at the temple? Fuck yeah, yeah, let's calm the heart. Okay. Okay, let's talk to the monk. Very well then, take your time and relax. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine the monk being like, okay, is it just you? And then he's like, can I bring my cat? Like, your cat wants to meditate too? It's like, yes, sir. Oh, cute. I know. Like, there's the, the big, um, the shrine you can go to. I know that. But him coming to a temple specifically, I think, is, is very sweet. It's so unbelievably quiet here, considering it's only one wall away from the shopping district. Ah. These dark spots on the wood floor, they look kind of like shadows. Maybe I'll just drag my claws over them. Nah, <laughs> you're getting off lucky today. Oh, I, then Mona, you know how cats have like a need to like scratch things to sharpen their claws? You see Mona like, to go back to what I was saying hours ago, but Mona trying to resist like cat impulses. Like he slowly stretches his claws out on the couch and like needs it. And so he sees wood and he's just like trying really badly not to scratch it. <laughs> Mona. Hey, stop ignoring me. No, I'm meditating, bitch. Hey. hey, are you listening? No, bitch, I've ascended. Morgana's voice is slowly getting further away. Say, did I close the window in my room? <sighs> what are you freaking out for? Are you actually concentrating? I'm still getting distracted by idle thoughts. A serene <laughs> experience. Oh. The expression on your face changed a bit, though. Is your mind a bit more composed now? Yay! He meditated! All right. Aww. Yay, baby! Wanna head back? Oh, I think it's about time we call it a day. Let's head back. Okay, Kitty, let's go. <laughs> like, did I close my window? Did I leave the gas on? Ah, you're back. I know he's not gonna be there, but I still wanna go. I still wanna go. I know- Ah! Wait. Hello. I apologize. Oh, I wanted to talk to you, but sadly I need to get to work. We should talk when I've got more time. See you later. Uh, did you say I've wanted to talk to you? I apologize. Oh, I wanted to talk to you. Oh, it's like... Baby! I'm gonna look sadly at him. Love you. <laughs> Aww. I know, it's like, buddy, buddy, I miss you. Buddy, come on, come on. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> it's like, we can talk right now. You're just standing around, dude. Please. I wonder if I can, no, I don't think I can invite him to the jazz club. I'll see, though. Hmm. It's the jazz club that Akechi introduced you to. Places like this will help you relax and talk about things that you usually find difficult to. Hmm, as the leader of the Fenton Thieves, maybe you can invite one of the members here. Huh! Okay, that explains it. The atmosphere here allows you to open up more than usual. Not a bad idea. Well, it looks like for miners, they will serve non-alcoholic cocktails. I see. Hmm, looks like tonight's cocktail is Power Fizz. The taste of the drink will give you power and luck. You'll be able to defend yourself against anything. Sounds pretty good. Huh, looks like there are days a singer comes in. The singer's coming in on August 17th. Drinking cocktails while listening to some live music. It sounds pretty adult, huh? Team members you invite to the jazz club will have their personas strengthened as well as receiving other helpful effects. These effects differ depending on what day of the week you visit. If you visit the jazz club on a day when a live singer performs, a special cocktail will be served. Also, the effects of the cocktail will be doubled if it's a weekday. You want to go listen in? Looks like it's going to cost you 3,000 yen. Let's see who I can invite. Hey. Who are you going to invite? Well, none of these bitches. What do you want to do? No, never mind. I just, I just want to go, I, I just, I just... All right, just one more time because I'm very disappointed. Hi! Oh, and I know it's like normal that their head turns to you, to look at you, but like... 
And he's just like, what are you doing? This is my sadness dance, sir. Hello. I apologize. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you, but sadly, I need to get to work. And I will stand here on the street pretending that that's work. Oh, I don't know, Emma. He's just staring. The, the cat's staring at him, too. It's like, this is not fair. Like, you have two, two sets of eyes winning a staring contest with me. We should talk when I've got more time. See you later. Bye. Bye. All right, guess I'm going to go work for the fucking crossdresser. Bye, babe. Bye. Oh, no, I have to go to... I have to go find Jihaya. <laughs> what are you doing running around in circles like that? What do you aim to accomplish? You truly are interesting. Like, you'd say that no matter what I did. You'd be like, yes. The dude just whistled at me again! Stop it! Hey. Let's ask Chihaya about the Holy Stone. Hm. Which is with the client. Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. Do you want to eavesdrop? Eavesdrop. Um. How are you healing? I I'm fine. It's... My fault anyway, Yuya said so. He says he doesn't want to hit me, but I just make him so mad. I suggest you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. But I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Please, is there any other way? Now. Let us ask the Taro. Oh, divine power shed light upon her fate. Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm. I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. This demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it will bring with it great misery. What kind of misery? You will be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and he will be arrested. What? Hospitalized? Arrested? I knew I shouldn't let, have let Yuya throw away my holy stone. Pretend I said it in the right order. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock. That I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please let me buy another one from you. What? What? You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I can pay in up to 36 installments, right? Um, truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon Yuya. For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has a holy stone? There's no way that could be true, right? That thing was a fake, remember? Mm. All right, it would make our jobs way easier if you could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. It's clear that Chihaya has some fortune-telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, Akita, why don't we change that Yuya guy's heart ourselves? I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? This is the perfect chance for the Phantom Thieves to save her. Mm. Hmm? Meowing? What? Hey! Were you eavesdropping on us? That's invasion of privacy, you know. There's another solution. There is not! There you is. see, some fates in this world are simply inescapable. That demon within your boyfriend's heart can not be exercised by normal human methodologies. The fate is absolute. Although I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you bought another holy stone. <sighs> I'm, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach this problem? What's your boyfriend's name? No, uh, this is how you say it. Full name, please. Mine? Oh, you're talking about Yuya, aren't you? His full name is Yuya Uchimura. Um, why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? Yes, what do you expect to change with that meager information? I'm going to change fate. What, do you honestly believe you can do something? Hmm. I... I trust you. G goodness gracious! Oh, excuse me? It feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's going to pay me back someday. But for now, I'd rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for a holy stone. What? You, what do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. Huh? You look so pleased with yourself. 
Hmm. I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the ground. Whoa! Whoa, 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 what? Whoa. 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 Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change your destiny, go ahead and try. But once you realize the error in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her with the Holy Stone. Mm. Well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. I love her little shoes. She has little black buckle shoes on. Cute. I think she means what the opening scene where you get arrested. That's what I think. I think it means the. Um, oh God damn it, Kasumi! I think it means the um, when he's arrested. You have any free time today? Managed to get permission to write the I don't care about you. <laughs> I'm extra proud of today's curry. You'd better savor it. Hey, hey! Honestly, I wanted to deal with the mementos thing as soon as possible, but I have to do this. Yeah, see? And then she fucking texted me. But I at least want to get her to rank 5. Whatever, fine. Sorry, my phone has been acting up. It ra just randomly shut off. It looks like it's okay now. See you. Oh, but do you want to get some food in the cafeteria first? Or go ahead and grab us some seats first. You ready for the cafeteria, senpai? Hmm. I'm very much not interested in this. I'm sorry I called you here so suddenly. Since our talk, I've been trying to think of things besides gymnastics that I'm really invested in. And I figured something out. It's this. This being... You know. It's right in front of you. Oh, it's what's in front of you. Cooking. You really need to regulate your diet and gymnastics, so I've been making my own food a lot. And so, since I always wanted to thank you, I made you bento. So anyway. This is actually my first time cooking for someone else besides my family. But I figured this would definitely help me get my confidence back. I made this specifically with your body type in mind and knowing how much you exercise. Do you want it? Let's see if it's good. Let's um, see if it's good. Well... Ugh. Oh, well, I mean, I know it's not gourmet cuisine. I'm getting a little nervous. The chicken and eggs are to help you with fatigue. There are some beans in there too, and it's on brown rice. Weight control is important for gymnasts, but we also need to make sure we've got energy and stamina too. So high protein, low fat is usually what we go for. You also need iron to maintain stamina and vitamin B for energy. Well, wait, I'm getting all focused on the gymnastics part again. Bye, Caramel. Well, anyway. No, the bento is the what he has. Oh yeah, and she made her bento. Sorry, I take it back, I take it back. Let's dig in. Itadakimasu. What is that? Huh? It's my lunch. Why do you look so skeptical, Kudusu-senpai? I guess it might look like a lot, but this is actually a little less than my usual. Don't worry, I've done the math on the calories. A Bernal de Sophic practice. So, Come on, senpai, you'll be done before you know it. Hmm? This is... It's a familiar flavor, but it doesn't match the food. I keep trying different parts, but it all tastes like the same thing. Something very familiar. Um... Kudusu senpai, you okay? Your eyes are glazing over. It's great. I actually really like these choices. It's very, very much how I see Akira. It's great. Why do you sound like a robot? Maybe there's not enough flavor? I thought using too much would be bad for you. Hmm? Was it too light? Excuse me. Mm, yeah, that's the flavor I was going for. I was trying to decide how to season these, and I figured everyone likes curry, right? So I decided to go for maximum curry flavoring. Um, sorry, were you not a fan of that flavor? Or wait, maybe prefer the super spicy ones? Is there a third option? I'm so sorry. Oh, it's fine, dude. I'm so sorry. It's all wrong. I'll go get some kind of condiment to change the flavor. Once I fix it, I'm sure you enjoy it more. 
Should I get mayonnaise? Soy sauce? Maybe miso? Do you think Dr. Marduki will have some salt? You are going to get it now? Oh, you're right. I should just buy something new so you can eat right now. Whoa, calm down, dude. Oh my god. Let's just eat. Um, but... Oh yeah, she has that constant need to please everybody and live up to their expectations. Well, thank you. Now we should really eat. Thank you for the meal. Oh, that was delicious. Koji Sosama, thank you for completely finishing your meal, Kudusa Senpai. I'm sorry it didn't turn out perfectly. Nothing can be perfect, honey bunny. I came up with the idea of making bento, but I couldn't decide on the flavor. Either way, I'm really sorry. It's fine. I'm so embarrassed. I thought it was so great when I presented it to you, and now I feel terrible for her. It happens. Yeah. It happens. Thank you very much. Oh, she likes that one. Good, thank God. I suppose so. Thank you. Next time I'll ask you what you like before I try anything too crazy. I'll go buy that super spicy Megiddo sauce for next time. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it seems like you're always helping me find my way forward, senpai. If I didn't have you, I'd let my failures get to me and end up in some big pessimistic spiral again. Maybe this kind of confidence can help me figure out who I really am. Oh, jeez. That sounds right. Either way, I suppose all I can do is keep moving forward. Kudusa senpai, I hope we can keep helping each other improve. Yeah, dude. No, the trope they gave her is like senpai. They gave her that one, which I always find really uncomfortable. All right. I, I didn't mind it with Rise because she was like so over the top, and it was just like it just didn't come off as like since it was so over the top, I couldn't take it seriously, and it seemed like she just wanted to live out a nice little um, indulge in that kind of behavior since she was forced to be like an idol and basically forego a lot of teenage experiences. But with this, it's too much like it's too much sincere in that presentation of the trope, so I don't... I kind of always shy away from it. Okay, now that we've gotten all our nutrients, it's time for the next phase. I don't mean to be too demanding, but I'm going to train you even harder than before. Make sure you keep up. <laughs> He's like, oh. All right. Nice. Well, I guess we're out of time. Maybe some other time. Bye. Oh yeah, what level is he at? Bernie Sanders, where you at? Ooh, very close. Very, very, very close. Yeah, Bernie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling the burn. Let's go. Today's the day. I'm sure I don't have to explain the significance, but I have a request for you, since you're stuck by my side. How's your schedule today? Thank you. I'm in your debt. I'd like you to hear my speech about the Phantom Thieves. See you at the Station Square. stage is set. Thank you. I appreciate it, but I know you're not going to be my right-hand man, right? Don't worry. I won't pull any tricks. Feel free to talk about being falsely accused. I'll handle whatever comes from it. I saw Kuromoto's grandson around here somewhere, and but he's curious about today's speech. I see. I haven't spoken to him since we last met. This speech should serve, should serve as your response to him. I didn't think of any of the parties that back no good Tora. He's going to talk about the Phantom Thieves, right? I couldn't care less about him. I'm just interested in hearing about the Phantom Thieves. Very well. Okay, I'm going to get started. Break a leg. Yes. Will do. Everyone. The reason they're causing such a stir is because they are addressing the world's problems. He's not wrong. What are you doing, Todonosuke? Setting aside whether their actions are right or wrong, there is one one thing I can safely say about the Phantom Thieves. A belief with conviction has the ability to move a person's heart. I... I'm sure you are all aware that I am no good Torah, the one accused of embezzlement. I was a fool 20 years ago. It's no wonder that I was considered a failure as a politician. However, because I was accused like that, I was able to understand the suffering of the weak. The most important thing is... Why am I in politics? In the past, it was merely for personal gain. But why do the Phantom Thieves continue to change hearts? I believe they do it for the world and its people. And in choosing to do justice for others, they have no choice but to disguise themselves. No matter what the world says, I fully support them. I... 
I'm just an average citizen. However, I will continue to voice my beliefs. I may not be able to become a Diet member this election, and I may not be able to affect change during my lifetime. However, But I've made my peace with that. I will be happy as long as I can be a meaningful step forward for the future of our youth. Oh, the only boomer who counts. Thank you for listening. Oh, he did that for us. I set the stage for nothing. So you have no intention of accusing old man Kuromoto? Yes. That's right. Sheesh. Such a heartfelt speech for someone your age. People are probably laughing at you as we speak. I doubt any of them were moved by your words. I might be the only one in the entire city who was. Matsushita. Proceed as you wish with your candidacy. I'll take measures to ensure the party backs you. Within the limits of my abilities, of course. Goodbye. Mm. My candidacy, huh? Put an unexpected turn of events. The Phantom Thieves. Perhaps it's the effect of you moving my heart. You had a change of heart. That must be it. Still, I have you to thank for all this. The Phantom Thieves. The power to change a person's heart. I don't possess a special power like they do, but I won't lose to them when it comes to conviction. Hi, kitty cat! Speech is my only weapon. Just my voice and my words. That's how I win people thank over. You. Thank you for sticking by my side, Kurusukun. Sure thing, Bernie. No, oh, we're so close, you guys. All right. So close to our first ten. Woo! Him and Ana are the closest. Contrary to what I thought, getting your heart stolen isn't such a bad thing. If he's a member of the Phantom Thieves, then uh, I'm talking to myself again. Another bad habit of mine. Time to finish up for today. Well then, I'll see you again. Bye, Bernie. Good job. Oh. Really? Nobody? I'll just add this. Oh, we can go to Mementos. Okay. Hmm. Ow! Ow, cat! Jeez. Yeah, I love that basically every single confidant you have just figures it out <laughs> towards the end. Listen up. This intel is on a man who's been abusing his girlfriend. This man named Uchimura has assaulted her countless times. That fortune teller even predicted she'd be badly hurt if left alone. Those fortunes often come true. What a jerk. Fortunes aside, we can't let this guy use violence against her. I don't want her getting hurt. We should change his heart. Count me in. Oh, shut up. Looks like we're all ready to do this. Yep. All right, I, like the, I already left the calling guard at his house. Like Mona just going around leaving threats for people. Love him. Love you, Mona. Come on, let's go. Mementos, the fresh maker. Kitty, just lay down. Hello, kitty cat. Just lay down and be comfy, kitty cat. Joker. Hell yeah, bitch. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm sensing the target in a preceding area. All right, let's head back. I'm not going to see Jose, so I'm just not going to get the stars. I mean, the, the flowers. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Kitty, just slide down. Kitty. Hmm? 
Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Really glad I gave him all those stamps. Lie down. She's just like not like affectionately headbutting my side, but she's not actually lying down. Go ahead, get comfy. Okay. There it is. That should be the shadow of the man named Uchimura. He's abusing his girlfriend, right? I just realized in order to have the shadow manifest, because like people shadows don't just walk around in here, right? You have to send them a calling card to send them this on their guard. Horrible. So like does that mean Goro has to do something similar? Damn it, I gambled away all my money again. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Where is she? Oh, get over here so I can beat you. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I'm not gonna read any of this anymore. What the fuck? Because, like, how else would he find their shadows, you know? Not everyone, they don't all have palaces, and people's shadows only seem to be like. They seem to be taking the train, so he, I think he would have to do something, unless he rides the fucking Mementos train, which is, you know, also possible. But then he'd have to find those people, so like. You know? He does seem surprised when he finds out what, how to do the calling card thing, though. She's like, oh, those methods are so simple. To text, yeah. I actually, yeah, I... That's just one of the many things I wish I understood about his his arc. Which, that seems like something they should have mentioned, and I think that's why he should have had... Honestly, I wish he had his own fucking game, or like, they do some weird... like, metaverse fuckery so we could understand his side of shit. Because so far, it's like, well, how does he do that? How does he do that? And it's not really fully explained. What the fuck? <laughs> Ryuji got a sleep stick to beat people with. Yeah, I know, Sing, I know. I think what ends up happening is he does go to the police, or hey. like he gets out of, obviously, he gets out of this woman's life. Yeah, but this one's really fucked up. A blunt weapon able to put foes to sleep. Jesus Christ. Huh? Did you change your mind? Do you want to pull out of here? That's what she said. That is exactly what she said. She just said it right now. Miss yeah. Strong must protect the sweet. Aww. That's on with Shiho. She's like the strong must protect the sweet. Only one more week until the deadline. Hey, you see the form? Yeah, people have been telling us to hurry up and protect the civilians. God, I seriously can't believe they're going on about all that. By the way, how's Fataba? At this point, we are desperate for her assistance. Even Makoto's gone over to the wait and see dark side. Have much time left. I know it's I frustrating, but there's not much we can do. I just want to keep going to- oh, I can't go to Mementos. I'm like, I just want to keep going to Kichi Joji and see him. Ah! We have- <laughs> Dude! We have Goro Akechi here as our guest on the show today. What the fuck? How does that happen? Just when I pine for the dude. That's what I think too, Emma. 
Yeah, go or catch here's our guest. Or at least a, a, a manga. I think a manga is actually really, really, really possible, if not more likely. So that's what, like, considering how popular Memento's mission is, I can see them doing one for him. Because then that, that fixes the problem of, um... Because I really do think you can only do a Goro-focused story with just Joker. Like, I, I really don't think a, a game would work because I don't see him, like, joining up with all the Phantom Thieves. Like, he's... I know people don't like that, but he doesn't have an interest in them. Like, he doesn't... He doesn't care about them. He doesn't dislike them by the third semester, but he's not interested in working with them. He's not interested in being a part of them, even though Ryuji's like, yeah, dude, you're one of us, like an honorary member. It's not what he wants. He doesn't care about it. He cares about Joker. So I just can't see them making a game because then you'd have to include everyone, you know? I can see them doing a manga, though. I could really see them doing that. And then maybe, like, it gets adapted into an OVA or something. And then they'll, like, they can have, then, like, guest appearances of the other Phantom Thieves in some episodes. But I just, I really can't see it as a game. I would like to be wrong. Yeah, if Saito-san would do it, oh my god, it'd be perfect. We have, yeah, we have Koro Kechi here as our guest on the show today. People on the internet have high hopes in these Phantom Thieves. What are your thoughts on this? I don't appreciate that. <laughs> that was... Oof. I can't really condone it, though I may be somewhat responsible for that myself. Perhaps my remarks about the Phantom Thieves may have magnified their notoriety. Now then. <laughs> Look at him trying to act cool. Just you watch. Love you, but love you, babe. Oh, I'm gonna play the game. That's right. Yeah, I don't appreciate that. But the way he like said the that with like a little clip, I'm like, oh, that's kind of hot. Uh oh. We can play games! Yeah, 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 yeah. Playing video games costs time to pass. You wanna oh. play a game with me, Kitty? Ooh. Okay. That's what I was thinking, Emma. It would have to be a visual novel. Either like, um, like Professor Layton or Ace Attorney. Like, it could not be a standard Persona game. And, but then I see, like, that would be such a huge departure. I can't see Atlas wanting to do that. Especially if they didn't... I mean, they could include the other Phantom Thieves, but I don't think that would be, like... I just don't... That wouldn't be a game I'd be interested in. Because I'm like, I think that would detract from the fact that it's his story, you know? And his story starts before he even really meets any of them. Because his backstory is what we need. Let's start up Star Fornius. I mean, that could be totally proven wrong. Who the fuck knows? This game is about space battles, huh? So I guess this little thing here is your spaceship? <laughs> Whoa, you're blasting away the enemy ships from after another. Not bad for a beginner. Oh, there are no more enemies on, sc on screen. Did you win? Hey, wait! What the heck? The thing is huge. It must be the boss. Hey, I think you're supposed to aim for the core in the middle. Try focusing your fire there. Press X enough times before the timer runs out. Yeah. Nice. Amazing, it's blowing up. Thanks, Mona. Hey. Wow, you actually managed to beat the level. I'm impressed. I bet jumping into the enemy mirage increased your guts. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, that's what I think too. But it would, I think that would just be perfect, Lala. That's the problem. Like, that style of a game is really the only thing I think would work for that specific story. But I think they'd also want to include, you know, actual combat again, which I understand that too. So that's why I think a manga would be the best, because it's just the story. What you up to? Anyone else? I will hang out with him, but anyone else? Oh, Yusuke, though. Alright, what level I'm at with you? See, I don't even... I'm not even interested in that, Tris. Like... 
Because I'm just of the opinion like he just doesn't want anything to do with any of them. He's just not interested. I also don't think like... I also don't think they'd be interested in making like amends with him. That actually is really the, the major point there. It's like they don't want... They, no, like they're they're moving, not moving on, but they're dealing with it as good as they can be, or as good as they can, considering. And I don't think him trying to make amends with them is going to help them do that. I also honestly don't think he needs to. Sorry. I'm not saying that idea is bad and wrong. I just, it's fine that you think that way. I'm sorry. I feel like I can. I hope when I voice a, an opinion that is not the same as someone else's or if I specifically say, oh, I don't know if that would work. Please don't interpret that. Please don't think I'm saying, no, that's wrong. It's more just me making a comment, I suppose. Because I don't really have a chance to um, talk like this. I could do it on the blog, but then I'd probably get Anon saying how wrong I am. And I really don't feel like dealing, dealing with anonymous messages, anonymous messages of people saying, I don't like that. <laughs> Although I guess that's kind of what's happening here. But not really, because I'm actually just having a discussion with people. Anyway, and since my thoughts aren't really, like, what the fandom overall thinks, I don't really have anywhere to put it, or anyone to talk to about it, because even my other Persony friends don't really agree, so I'm just like, okay, I guess I'll just sit here then. What the fuck am I doing? Yuji's at four. Right, now let's get him to five. Hey, buddy. What's up? Wanna get going? Protein lovers. The rain stopped. This has gotta be it. Here we are, protein lovers gym. This sounds very gay. It's pay per visit, so you don't gotta worry about any bullshit contracts or nothing. The equipment's kind of crappy, but they got tons of variety. Plus, it's really damn cheap. Totally worth it, even without a pool or a hot tub. By the way. Oh yeah, you bring your stuff. A towel. Nah, I'll lend you one of them. I'm talking about spare undies. <laughs> Getting back into your sweaty clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Oh, but don't go ahead and your hopes up. No way I'm gonna let you use mine. Wasn't gonna ask. Let's head in. I'm like, wasn't, wasn't gonna ask, honey. Don't worry about that. You okay? Yo, phew. My form's coming back, but I don't got any stamina. No. No! You okay? Sakamoto. Morning! Mm, Ikeda senpai. What's what's bonkin? What? A bonkin? <laughs> okay, there we go. You say the strangest things. No muscle, no life. Is that how you greet a friend? <laughs> I've been trying to come up with some cool new slang. Maybe it'll catch on. You can't just do that. Oh, and you don't need to call me senpai anymore. I've already graduated, remember? Hmm. I haven't seen you before. Were you on the track team? And him? He's, uh, a friend. By the time he showed up, the track team was already, well... You know. Speaking of which, how's your leg? Uh, I'm managing. How about you, senpai? You still running? I actually joined my university's track team. You'd think I would have quit entirely after what happened. About that, I'm real sorry. No, I should be the one apologizing. I was supposed to be the leader of our team, yet I just resigned myself to Kamashita's will. <clears throat> That's because you needed him to write you a letter of rec, right? You were just looking out for your future. And I still managed to F it up anyways. Kamashita clearly never intended on writing my letter of recommendation. You were just his excuse not to. And honestly, I enjoy where I am now, and the track team isn't anything special, but it's perfect for me. So in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, Sakamoto. Senpai, I've always regretted not doing more to protect you guys. But I heard some good news recently. The Shudrin track team's being reinstated. For real? <laughs> Cute. And me and Kamoshida confessed all the horrible stuff he did, right? I guess the school got the old team together and told them they want to try starting it up again. Nobody told me about that. Hmm, odd. The rumors got as far as me. I'm not even a student anymore. Anyway, I heard they're going to get Mr. Yamauchi as their new advisor. Huh? Yamauchi? Hold up, that Yamauchi? Yep, the one who was basically Kamashita's lapdog. 
Apparently he volunteered. He's really enthusiastic about pulling the track team up from the ashes. He is? You know, now that the team is being reinstated, there's no need for any bad blood, right? Why don't you go talk to them? I'm sure they could use someone with your passion. Yeah. Hmm. So the track team's coming back. Good for them. You seem conflicted. Nah, not really. For real though, I'm glad the team's coming back. It's sweet that Nakaoka and them can start training again. But I'm still worried about their advisor, Yamauchi. He's basically like a mini Kamoshida. So he's an asshole? Uh... Basically. He'd always yell at us at practice, but then be a huge kiss-ass when her parents were around. I can't believe a moron like that's going to be advising the track team. He doesn't even teach PE. He's got to be up to something. I'll do some research. Mm. It's a chance I'm going to need your help soon, okay? You'd be free to lend me a hand if I need it, right? Oh, yeah, I'll be counting on you. Yeah, sure, dude. All right. All right, if you don't got time to be messing around here anymore, let's head home. Wait, I gotta shower first. See ya. Bye. Yo, what's bonkin'? About that stuff today. I can't really let myself be happy about the track team starting up again. Like I said earlier, there's just something fishy about Yamauchi being the advisor. But I mean, if anything happens, I know you got my back, so I ain't too worried. Don't worry, I gotcha. Thanks, man, I knew I could count on you. I mean, we don't know for sure if anything sketchy's going on. But when I get these gut feelings, they're usually right. Well, if I hear anything, I'll hit you up. Okay, later. Bye! I love that. What's well, bunk and really try stop trying to make fetch happen. Stop trying to get Man, bonker hard. bunk and happen. Excuse me. Can we get you a break? No. People. Oh. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, we gotta go to. I still can't believe these gay guys have a crush on Akechi. Well, did her fate change? Tell they were the result. Fine. Yeah, fine. Let's hear it. Please sit down. Goodness gracious! Cute! Her boyfriend stopped abusing her? I don't believe it. But even if he did stop, her fate should still be heading down the path to misery without changing. I mean, look! I feel bad that what? her arc is like she has to believe that fate can't be changed because of her view of herself. Otherwise, she'd be terrified of like terrified of making an attempt at change and failing. So she has to think that, oh, there's some things in this world that are absolute, that are fixed, that you may as well just endure. And I understand that. And it's sad. I don't say I agree with it, but I understand that as a defense mechanism and as a coping mechanism. And that's why I really like Jihaya. What? The sequence of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. Fate is not absolute. No, no, no. This must be some sort of trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? I didn't make de I didn't make any deals. Then what? you do? Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay huh. or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? No, you but I would have liked to. Some sort of extreme measures. That's a good idea, actually. I'm not capable of that stuff. Well, you certainly do seem like just an ordinary high school kid. It's like you've thought about this, haven't you, Chihaya? But there's no way that could have happened. Without you breaking the law, I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Some awesome. Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. Hmm? This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. 
I love her. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. Oh. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. I get nothing out of this. Well, that may be true. Oh, I know. I'll read your fortune. Great. Please? I'll even prioritize oh. your readings over my regular customers. Oh, okay. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? Of course. Mm. Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. Oh. Please, I beg you. Oh. I need to know if fate truly can be changed. Of course, honey. This is so mean. All right, I guess. You will? Really? Sweetheart. Okay, then. I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? Oh. We made a deal after all. Oh. Of course. I will come to you every fucking night I can, Chihaya. I promise you this. So it's like, you couldn't have known all this stuff in advance. You must know a witch! <laughs> Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. No, I had, I had magic on my side. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. With the birth of the fortune persona, I have obtained the winds of... I'm just gonna come right and say it. I do not like Shu Akesumi. I really, 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 really don't. <laughs> really don't like it. Is fate really something that can be changed? Good night, Namaki. If it's really possible, then. Hmm. I was reading oh, something on Twitter, so I just had to mumble about it. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. Aw, thanks, Mom. She, he has so many moms now. One, two, Mom. three. Uh, he has Lala. He has uh, Kawakami. He has Chihaya. There's someone else that I'm forgetting. Kurusu-san, I forgot to get your contact info. Whew, there we go. I'll be contacting you soon, so please come for the verification test, okay? I suggest you don't try to get out of it, or else who knows what kind of black magic I'll have to resort to. I'll be there. Yay. Great! Now our deal is- Oh, her yay! Now our deal is official! Sorry for taking up so much of your time. Please be careful on your Until way home. Time. I'll see you soon. Yeah, he's got like, three dads. He's three dads and three moms. I can't remember who the other one is, though. Oh no, I just said who it was. Whoopsie. This is about my new piece, Desire. It was selected for the public exhibition. Well, I'm wondering, did he have to be sent away for probation or did his parents choose to send him away? I can't, I can't remember what it is because if it was part of the terms of his probation, then his parents had no choice in it. So they didn't ditch him. If they did have a choice and they chose to do it, as in like, that was their decision to send him away for probation, which I don't know if that's a thing, then yeah, it's their fault. I always assumed it was your son's on probation and obviously can't live here in this town or with you. So he has to go to live with a probation officer. And so they were looking for one and an acquaintance is like, oh, I know a probation officer. So he has to go live with him. 
That's what I always assumed it was. Like, his parents are not trained probation officers, and there doesn't seem to have been one in the town he lived in. So it's like, we have to find one. Oh, an acquaintance of ours knows one. Okay, he'll go live with them. And just the fact that his parents never contact him, that's always happens with, um, recent Persona protagonists. It's either, like, the parents are overseas, or the parents are dead, so that counts. But the parents being overseas, like, yeah, it's the reason why they don't contact him isn't because an indication, a canon indication that they don't care. It's just since the protag is meant to be an insert for the male player character, it's just sort of something you don't think about. However, comma, because Joker has such a distinct personality and is much, much, much more fleshed out and defined than any other Persona protagonist since 2, that's not an excuse anymore. And his life is... His past is such so a, such a, a significant thing, I can't talk. And his thing about being an outlier is so significant that it would make sense to define his relationship with his parents. So, I agree that his parents suck. I agree with you, Singh. This is about my new piece, Desire. It was selected for the public exhibition. It's already on display there now. If it is alright with you, could we go see it together? I'm eating an option. Maybe we should respond later. Yo. Oh, you're done eating. Here, I'll make you a nice cup of coffee to wash it down. Make sure you wash your plate. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Let's clean up first. We can respond to that message later. I've changed my hours. We can start during the day since you're a student. We can't do it when the ra rains, though, since we'll be outside. Come during the day for your fortune, and at night for a test. Oh, I actually do want to know my fortune. And then I'll go to Yusuke. I call him Mom because he tends to worry, like, over-worry about you. Whoa, that glow. I've scouted talent for a long time, but I've never seen anyone shine like you. Oh, that's so nice. Actually, I've always wanted to be an actress. Yeah, I can tell acting's in your soul. I know you become famous if you take our acting courses. It seems a little expensive. I don't have much money, it's not to ask my parents. No problem at all, I can get you a job where you can make lots of money in just a little time. Can I help her? He's- ma'am, he's gonna- he's gonna- he's gonna sell you into sex slavery. Can I kill him? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? If you think burglars only operate online nowadays, you'd be wrong. Have you reevaluated your home security lately? If not, now is the perfect time! We're having a special promo sale of our total security systems. Join now for bonus benefits. Don't let the opportunity pass you by when danger strikes. Will you have the protection you need? What the fuck? This thing is the cutest- Oh my god! It's security day or night! That's what it represents! Security day or night! Oh my god! Guys, that's so cute! Oh my god! Oh! Look how cute- Oh my god, I can't get over how cute this is. I want to fucking die. That's adorable. Hello. I'm going to shrivel up. It's so hot today. I place my shop on the street so I can see people walking by, but I'm about to melt. Well then, shall I read your fortune in detail? Sure. Okay, please take a seat. What shall we do? Which fortune would you like to have read? Luck reading. Reading your luck improvement fortune will cost you 5,000 yen. Here you go. All right, please think of some area in which you'd like to increase your luck. Guts, please. Hmm. 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 The Fool card. It seems you will greatly benefit from taking actions that will increase your guts. Ooh. That's all for today's improvement reading. I hope you're happy with your fortune. I look forward to your next visit. Thank you. Thanks, Jihaya. Uh, shit. Shit, everybody's going up. Fuck. All right, who's the clo Who's the highest? He's two. He's five. Tai is... She's five. Uh, I'm gonna go to her, see her, actually, because then the guts will increase there. Sorry, everyone else. I think everybody wants to know, babe. Don't 
Don't pass out, okay? In order to prevent heat stroke, you have to stay hydrated, but you don't seem too concerned about it. So what are you here for today? Clinical trial. I've really, I've been really busy lately with all my new patients, but what the heck? Oh, everything's set up already. Oh, that old lady from earlier forgot something. Mm. I wonder if she's still outside. Huh? Thank you, dear. That is my favorite. Thank you, dear. Uh-huh. It was right in front of me, so... Oh my, you're a shy one, aren't you? Ugh. I'm not shy. My neighbor speaks highly of you. I can't do that voice forever. She says your medicines are better than those of the big hospitals. It's very reassuring to have such a distinguished doctor right here in town. I'll see you again soon. <sighs> uh, what the heck? Well, someone's popular. Thanks to you. Hmm? <sighs> There's a lot of talk going around town about me, started by that girl and her dad. I couldn't do that voice forever, I'm sorry. Apparently they've been calling, they've been telling everyone that I can make all these amazing medicines and remedies. So now the pa number of patients I'm seeing has dramatically increased. Pretend I read that in the right order. I don't know what some of these people are thinking, though. I've had a lot of crazy requests. Like yesterday, a patient requested a sweet-smelling compress. And the other day, I had a request for a cold buster. <laughs> a drug like that deserves a Nobel Prize. Other requests have included hair and skin tonics. I even had to do a consultation about a cat. <laughs> it's not like I'm some kind of genius doctor. You are a genius. Stop that. No. This is all interfering with my development. I'm only interested in completing my new drug. That's my role as the plague. I'm not suited for all this other stuff. You're a masochist. What? It suits you. It suits you. What? What? Really? I'm not gonna get- Oh, okay, I got points finally. Well, you're entitled to your opinion. A town doctor, huh? That sort of lifestyle profession might have been possible for me at one time, but now... Hmm. Oh yeah, about those clinical trials. With so many new patients, it's taking longer to analyze the data, so I'll need to catch up. This is a bit on the stronger side, but I'm sure you'll be okay. Thanks, Takemi. Woo! All right. Oh. It looks like that girl is going to make a full recovery. The treatment seems to be a good match for her, so at least I can breathe a little easier for now, and apparently so can she. Hopefully she'll be able to attend school soon. What? What are you so happy about? What are you so happy about? Are you excited for your next clinical trial? I like the- he, he's probably smiling at her, which is sweet. Well then, let's have some fun. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna smile anymore. So my cat. Mew! <gasps> yes! Yes! Thank you, Chihaya! Thank you, Chihaya! Kitty cat, come here! Kitty, I hear you crying. What's wrong? Shush. No scrim. How's my little guinea pig doing after the ketchup drug? You did it. Yeah, gun dead time. I know it was probably a lot to handle, considering I doubled the dosage and halved the activation time. But we're so close. We're right at the end of all this. I can feel it. I'll need you to stick around just a little bit longer. I hope you can handle it. You can count on me. Oh, well, aren't you a little go-getter? If you're that excited about it, maybe I'll just give you a dose of everything and see how you hold up. Sure. Well, I've got some catching up to do. I have to process today's data as quickly as possible. Make sure to call if you ever feel sick, okay? Take care. Aw, thanks again. Torrential rain. Okay, yeah, I can't see Chihaya tonight. Hey, inmate! Oh. Hey, inmate, you haven't forgotten about your special assignment, have you? Better not keep us waiting anymore. We're waiting in front of the door. <gasps> oh my god, I get to hang out with the twins tonight! Dude, we're really running out of time here. People are getting even more restless online, too. Are we done for if we lose here? Shut up. Indeed, those who once revered us as heroes now seem to revile us. We've done all we can. Oh, Akita's right. Sorry for messing you all about such weird stuff. It's okay, we all feel the same way. I'll try and make sure I don't blow my cover. It sounds like everyone's starting to get anxious. But considering how fast the days are closing in, the best thing we can do for now is stay calm. Hold on, hold on. Next up, the latest on the declaration of attack issued by hacktivist group MedJed. 
It's only days until August 21st. It's, yeah, the day Medjug will attack, and corporations are scrambling. With no sign of response from the Phantom Thieves, some suspect they've surrendered or ran away. Huh? He did not run away. He will never surrender. Just watch and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to play Crossword, and then I'm going to go hang out with Gundad. No, the twins. I want to see what they want. Psychics sensations. Sense? Sense, maybe? Hawaiian garland. Lay. It can't be sense, because I need... I need that E. Palm fruit. Co coconut? I don't know why I do all of them. Like, it, you don't get extra points at all. A stationary hotspot. Heat. Stationary hotspot. A heat something. Heat. Psychics sensations. Mm -hmm. Maybe that isn't even us, actually. Vibes? Is it seriously vibes? Oh my god. Oh my god. Vibe. Vibin. Vibin is on the crosser puzzle, you guys. Heat. Heat. Um. Is it vibes? Because a stationary hot spot. Island? Heat island? Thank you, wow. Heat islands, I didn't know that was a term, are any areas that are much hotter than their surroundings. They are the result of low water retention and high heat absorption of certain surfaces. All right, go to sleep, Namaki. When the high is over 25 degrees Celsius, it's Natsubi, summer. When over 30, Manatsubi, midsummer. And when over 35, Moshobi, extremely hot. All right. I see. Nice. Oh, I, have, I did not know that existed at all. All right, time to go see what the kitties want. I actually like spending time with them. They're really funny. Hello. What are you gonna do today? All right, time to name the location. Justine, you do the honors. Now. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate for rehabilitation is where one hones both the body and spirit. Trainees gather there to test and push their limits using various pieces of equipment. The gym. I had not expected a rehabilitation facility on this side. As wardens, we must see such training for ourselves. Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. Mm. It could be the gym in Shibuya. What'll you do? So what'll it be? You mean the gym? Let's go, inmate. So you do have an idea of where it is. Then today, you're getting a special training regimen. Guide me, inmate. If you don't keep up the pace, you will die. I'll take us there at once. <laughs> okay. Oh my. So this is a training area. This is what you used to train? It's rather different from how I imagined it. Indeed, I imagine the equipment here has having more spikes and chains. Hey, inmate, what's that? A venture regimen? It's for upper body workouts. I wanted funny answers. Is that so? Then let us see it in action. More Akira. Haha. <laughs> 
by lifting the weight, you strengthen your arm and chest muscles. He's getting swole for a catchy. But that isn't nearly enough for a real workout. You should increase the weight. We will assist you with that. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Now you can train to your heart's content. Don't play with the equipment. We're deadly serious right now. I'm insulted you would think otherwise. Well, it appears we found the limit to your pathetic arms. Or for your pathetic arms. Oh, Akita. Now what's that over there? Another body training device? Baby. That is really cute. Demonstrate its use for us. Uh-oh. Oh, I see. You run on it to improve your stamina and strengthen your legs. Marvelous. What a fascinating contraption. Perhaps we should bring one to our room. We could force the imprisoned personas. <gasps> could force the imprisoned personas to run on it. Oh my god. Wait, so the personas there are imprisoned? Oh my god, they're seriously imprisoned? Not a bad idea. That's actually really sad. If he makes all these persona and then like has them killed. And then the ones that are in the quote-unquote compendium are just, like, locked up in different cell blocks. By the way, what does this button do? Boop! Uh. He runs like such a nerd. Out of breath already? You still have quite a ways to go. Okay. Alright, on to the next one! Oh, Akita. What is this bizarre object? Is this yet another tool for training? Can you imagine if a catchy saw and be like, are these your sisters? What, it's like, what is this? And you could just be like, I'm a volunteer, I'm a volunteer babysitter. And the catch you basically just means velvet room attendance and doesn't fucking know it. And he's just like, what the hell are these shit kids? Like, he's not a angry at them. He's just like, who are they? Is that get another tool for training? Hey, you interested in the wooden dummy? Hmm, normally I'd say it's not for beginners, but I did just see you really sweating it out. So here, I'll show you how to use it. Oh, look at him! Your foot looks sloppy, inmate. Inmate. Focus more clearly. Concentrate the power in your strikes. He's like, help, God. Oh, baby. Um. He's kind of got a butt too. Anyway, we're gone. Was that really all? You couldn't even defeat a stationary wooden post. Well, were we to try, it would be obliterated almost immediately. I was holding back. So you were holding back so as not to destroy it. I see. If the purpose is to simply polish your technique, then there's no reason to destroy it. Hmm. As far as physical training goes, this place leaves much to be desired. But it is admittedly sufficient for your rehabilitation. Here is your reward. Apt pupil. That was a scary fucking movie. Well, the counters that. That's scary. It's been said that a sound mind requires a healthy body. Don't complain. This has been yet another step towards your rehabilitation. Keep training yourself just as diligently, inmate. Bye, kitties. Bye, kitties. I mean, I guess I could ask... I could ask Gundad? I could work. <laughs> you again? So what are you here for? I want to talk about the bag. Is that right? Then you know we can't talk about it here. Stop by again after the shop's closed. So then, customer, you got some shopping to do, right? All right. I guess that's fine. I know. I call them shit kids, but like I'm okay. genuinely charmed by them. And I know I have to make that Floros thing. I have to look up how to do it. Because Floros that has... I can't remember what he, they want him to have, but... I'm... Um, I want to advance their confidant as much as I can because I normally don't do those because I find them very annoying. It's probably easier to do in New Game Plus, honestly, when I have all of them. And I could just, like, take them out and slap a fucking skill card on them. Oh, I can make one. Agathion and, M and Mikami. Yeah, okay, I can do that. 
Bye, Gundad. Okay, see you tonight. Hey, inmate. Flora Sotaru Wow, how did you remember that? Thank you. I definitely don't have that card, though. And I forget. Oh, Yusuke has to make them, right? How goes the. Justine, you read here. What did I say? It was Agathion and. Oh, you Googled it? Thank, thank you, Jackie. Agathion and Mikami. At ABC. That's actually a lot easier, Jesus Christ. And if this fee is required, then accept this persona. Makami. You can hold no more persona. Oh, fuck me. Time for some rehabilitation. Power requires sacrifice. Alright, Arsa, eat somebody. Um Eat the devil. That enough. This is the power. Let these powers unite. Feed our son. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Life drain. Um, I don't think that's especially useful though. Life drain. Yeah, I would never use that. Okay. Finished for now. Oh, wait, maybe I can itemize one. Some modification, huh? Insta heals. How do I make Tarukaja? Soldier would be better, yeah. Tarukaja card Persona Five. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Like to read the compendium, these are the paths you have walked. This for a fee is required. This is your power. I don't know. The inmate, let's execute them now. Choose now. Choose okay. That's not it. That's definitely not what I want. Don't make me feed you our send again, motherfuckers. Okay, that was a lie. Oh, wait, I read it wrong. Whoopsie. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Do I have Orlas? Yeah, basically paying bail. Yeah, and then you get to kill them. So that's not really, really very nice, yeah? I mean, I don't have Shisa, so I guess I can get it. Do you really need this? No, I don't. Thank you for telling me that. All right, time to kill one of them. What path do you want? 35. Mothman, can't breathe. Oh, no. Michiran Kaguya, Orpheus. I'm not giving up fucking Orpheus, man. No. I do want Satanta. And I'll just get Principality back. Who's the Hermit? I'm actually really, really, really annoyed. Gather them. 
Oh, why was it? Mm, Elagor and Oribas. Okay. I'm so stupid. No, I'm not. I'm not stupid. Power requires sacrifice. It sure does. Yeah, eat Makami. That will do. This is the power. <laughs> this may be a bit gruesome. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Sing. I've never done this before, and I was looking at the wrong information, so. Energy drop. Ooh. Oh, it's Umbrita Shower. Isn't Umbrita Shower the same thing as Energy Drop? Yeah, I have Umbrita Shower. I don't need that. Principality, I want you to eat Chariot. Not expect much power from this. Chariot? No, I don't care. This is the power. <laughs> this may be a bit gruesome. That's cool, Emma. Hey, it's Statue of Liberty persona. Ice Sudi. That's actually not bad. Yeah, get life drain out of here. Fuck that. And then I need. I guess Messiah Picaro can eat Aramitama. Do not expect much power from this. Okay. This is what the persona <laughs> This may be a bit gruesome. There you go. There you go. Nice. Okay. I don't think I have Ouroboros. Finished for now. Justine, you handle this. Read here. Um, I need Barris. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I have Ouroboros. No, I don't. Oh, where do I get him? I need Barris. And Elagor, which I don't think I have him either. Damn it. Yeah, I don't. Fuck. Where do I get either of them? You know what? Whatever. You want you'd like to register this? Are you finished? What? The inmate me they will be reborn anew. Our sends came? Looks like it'll become a weapon. Oh. Insta heal. It's not bad. I guess it'll give you some protection. Nah. I like to learn the passive skill insta heal. But I don't want to get rid of him. I don't want to get rid of him either. I don't want to get rid of Warpheus. I don't want to get rid of that. Mm. Power requires sacrifice. Do not expect much power from this. It's fine. I just want them out of my fucking. I just want them out of my slot. I'm pretty sure the easier way would be to go to Mementos. Angel and Jack-o'-lantern. I could try that. Okay, I just cleared out a bunch. I just don't know what level of, or like what layer of Mementos they'd be on. Regenerate one, ooh. Fuck you, Revolution. Get the hell out of here. So it was Angel and... 
what was it? Angel and Jack of Lantern? Angel and Jack Frost. I, okay, I think I could do that. Angel and Jack Frost. Finished for now. Yeah, he was. So I guess it would be like the first level. But I also don't feel like doing that on stream. <laughs> I really don't feel like wasting a day in mementos trying to find it, you know? And then probably not even finding it. Or killing it before I can actually get it. Yeah, this is why I, you should always try to get as many personies. Oh my god, this is why I try to get as many personies as possible when you're in a palace. So you don't have to do this bullshit. It will receive a frack. <laughs> I see. Okay, Incubus and Angel for Ouroboros, apparently. Finished. You'd like to read the companion. Th and this is always here. just such a money sink. Which is, I guess, is not really that bad. Like if a fee is required, then accept this for some later in game or new game plus, but whatever, whatever. If you withdraw this for so this is your pop such rudeness. Yeah, fuck off. You're going too slow. Time for some. You wish to perfusion. No, you that's not. No. Okay, so you lied. I was looking for a robot, and you're showing me something else. All right, fine. You're going to be eaten then. Sacrifice. Um, let's see. Elagor is gonna eat Angel. What are you waiting for? This is what it shall be. Let these powers unite. Jacker Lantern and Hanged Man. No, Jack, not Hanged Man. I'm sorry. Hyro Jack, I guess, and Inugami. Yeah, it's annoying. Like, it tells me, oh, you fuse this, and I'm like, okay, and then it's not what I get. So then they have to be eaten. Oh, okay. Alright, and Orpheus is gonna eat Incubus. Do not expect much power from this. You know, maybe let's turn it into an item. You change your mind? The inmate needs our some modification, huh? Dream needle. A skill this All right, yeah, fuck it. Now. Kill you. Be reborn. It definitely said Incubus and Angel. Um, Agathion and Kushi Matama. Oh, sorry, that was the... A Baryon and Mikami. Do I not have a Baryon? McCoy and Ipandatara. Oh! Oh wait, no. I don't have Huapo. Or Suzaku. Wait, I have Mandrake. So I, I didn't think I had that one. Mandrake and... Ifandata, yeah. yeah. No, nope, that's Matador, Kristen. This thing is hideous, Jesus Christ. This thing better fucking work, I swear to god. If it doesn't, I'm running out of people to feed them to. A fee is required. This is your power. I'm trying to fuse Orobus. For the uh Floros fusion. Time for some rehabilitation. You wish to perform it. Can you gather them up? I need Orobus. Fusion. No. What the fuck?
Yeah, I need Floros. You know what I can do? But look, like, I'm, I get Ouroboros from fusing Epon to Eldegore. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Fine, whatever. I'll just buy him back. You'd like to inherit. It's fucking stupid. Oh, <laughs> he gets Tanu Kanja. Oh. Got him on the three-way guillotine? No, because I don't have Ouroboros yet. See? Gather them. Like, I need Ouroboros. But what doesn't make any sense is that I have to... This is so stupid. Whatever, fine, fuck you. you select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive some... Oh, this is bring Eligor out. <laughs> I see. It's okay, you don't have to be. You don't have to apologize. This kind of shit's dumb and annoying, truth be told. Yeah, but then I could just turn Eligor into a Tadukaja card. Oh, yeah, it's Kristen, it's fine. Shh. Because now you just need to get Ferris, and now you just need to get Eligor, and then you can make the fucking Floros, the thing you're never gonna use because it's fucking stupid. I do have Huapo, god fucking damn it. Whenever I think of um, Floros, I think of Silent Hill 1, because Floros was the name of a magic device used there. So the fact that it's like an actual thing, like, this looks so doofy. It looks like it's not done yet. Select like God didn't like finish it. making it. It will receive a frack. Girls, let us begin. Three-way murder! <laughs> That's actually really funny. Behold! Yay. Efficient executioner. Finished. Thanks. Are you finished? What? Do you need something? Sure do. Now. Oh. Indeed. No, that he sits on the floor, so he's the same height as him. You you're better. Oh, you're better than I thought, inmate. I was thinking you'd just given up straight away. Yes. It is to be expected of the human our master saw potential in. You're dedicated. I'll give you that. Just keep it up, all right? I understand. That's a fine attitude to have. Talk's cheap, though. You're gonna have to put your money where your mouth is. No, I'm giving you money. Apparently, what the fuck are you doing with all my money? <laughs> I'm glad to say, Justine, it's an accomplishment that he hasn't thrown in the tally yet. Really, what the fuck are they doing with all my money? How so? That task list you wrote, it's not only keeping him on his toes, but helping him improve, too. Um. Hmm? I am not the one who wrote it. I have always assumed it was you. Excuse me? What? I don't know anything about that thing. I suppose now that I consider it, that list is far too precise for you to have written it. Hmm. Hello, Ramon. Quite. You don't need to say that. But wait, who wrote it then? It wasn't our master, was it? No, I have not heard him mention anything of the sort. How long have we had this list? Is there something wrong? Shut up! Don't read too much into this. Just keep quiet and focus on finishing your tasks, inmate. <sighs> Caroline, should we consult with our master about this? He's just, he's right there, he could probably hear you. All our master told us to do is oversee the rehabilitation and it's our duty to follow orders. We shouldn't waste his time on something this pointless. I love Justine so much. Indeed, it does not matter who conceived the list. 
I think she's my favorite of the pairing. Like, Carlene, just fuck her, but Justine is, is, she just roasts you quietly. Now quit prying, inmate. Got that? Yes. Of course, you will continue to offer benefits to you if you can further fulfill our tasks. Okay, bye, Emma. All that we ask is that you work hard in the duty you are assigned. We shall do the same. Okay, bye. Allows you to leave a persona to learn an attribute resistance. Oh! Oh, that's cool! All right. Wow. As promised, I have granted you an ability that will prove greatly beneficial. You may now place a persona into lockdown and train it to learn new skills. While you're lazily wasting away, your persona is going to grow all on its own. Talk about hospitality. Any time, any, anyway, time for your next task. According to the list, it's, uh, what is it, Justine? No. The next, next task is... Farewell. Bring us a phoenix with counter. Speak to us again once you have obtained it. One more thing. The next privilege we provide for you will unlock a great power. Therefore, we would need you to fulfill two more tasks before we can hand it over to you. <laughs> oh, it's not so easy, is it? First, bring us a phoenix that has counter. No. Oh, as, as always, speak to us once you have obtained it. We will know if the deed is done. Am I clear? Do I have a counter? I feel like I have that as a... Yes, I do! And I have a phoenix! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I killed it. Did I kill it? Yeah, okay, but I can get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do it right now! Guys, I can do it right now! Yay! 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 Yay, 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 yay! No. I'll take care of them. Oh. You can toss one of your persona your personies in a cell, and we'll give it some special attention to help it grow. You can only lock up one persona at a time, though. And while it's locked up, you won't be able to use it in battle or fusions. If you forget that, it's all on you. As the days pass, your persona will grow stronger and learn a new resistance. I'm putting Arsene in lockdown. That's not all. If you make sure to burn some incense, the persona will grow even more. If you want more detail than that, you'll have to ask later. And now get a persona into lockdown. Oh, I don't know where you got that incense, but you should use it with this persona. All right, pick a persona, lock up, and then burn the incense. Arsene, Arsene. Send, 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 go, 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 baby, go, yeah, yes, burn one, yeah, go, go, whoa, what the fuck, you token up, thank you, there you go, intensive training, all right, with that done, all you gotta do is, now is wait, don't leave it alone for too long, the persona is a part of your heart. If it stays away from you for too long, it could disappear. Arsene, no! We'll give you a single warning before it happens, but after that, it's entirely on you. Okay. This is fucking weird. This is Bloodborne as shit. Alright. Bye, honey. I'll come back for you later. Justine, you these are the paths you have walked. If a fee is required, then accept that you lack patience. Shut up. Done already? What? Yeah, 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 Hey. Oh. Hmm? This presence. Seem... You have brought a phoenix with counter, just as we asked. <laughs> Very well, your assignment's done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. <sighs> The inmate has grown considerably since we first met him. True, I guess we've got to at least admit that much. Their personies are starting to get pretty damn strong, too. Uh, is fostering personas... Is fostering personies truly rehabilitation? What are you saying that for? It is merely a thought I had. Will the inmate truly be rehabilitated if we help cultivate power within him? Keep it together, Justine. This is the job our master ordered us to do. Or are you going to try and disobey your orders? That is not what I meant. Huh. Don't worry yourself too much over one measly prisoner. All we got to do is get the most out of his wild card thing and make him work hard at his tasks. The wild card? What is it now? What is the meaning of this? The more I consider this list, the stranger it seems. Its author must have known that the one carrying out these tasks would possess the power of the wild card. Excuse me? You've got to be kidding me. How would somebody predict that? Hmm. I mean, even our master didn't know the inmate had that wild card thing before we met him. Are you confused? Shut up! No one asked you. Hmm. 
Either way, this will all get resolved if you just hurry up and finish your rehabilitation already. Justine, give him the next task, so quit talking back. Very well. It seems that it's time for- It is time for us to be serious. You haven't been before? <laughs> Me, you can't tell no. I'm still playing the game. You don't have to scrim. Yes, I know, I know. Now, as previously mentioned, here is the second task you must complete before receiving your reward. Hello, kitty. Farewell. Try to harbor Satanta with Rakukaja within you. You only need to speak with us once you obtain it. We will be able to tell. We will be able to tell. Huh. Go work up a sweat, inmate. I think I can make Satanta. If you wish to perform an execution, let us begin the search. Yeah, I there was something that I could use to make a Satanta, and I can't remember what it was now. Shit. Alright, well, I'm not gonna do this forever. Let's just get out of here. Sorry, this is not interesting. I'll probably do this in one what? shot towards the end of the game. Because it's just... It it'll be much, much easier then. Oh, no, no, she could stand out in the rain and do nothing. Fuck her. This rate, the whole city will flood. Hmm. Who cares about the fantasy? Hmm. What can I get you? Did I finish the thing I was watching? The movie? I thought I did. What would you like? D Housewives. Women's stories of love and passion. Learn about leading a charmed life. Mouse MD, a Maverick Rodents Medical Heroics. Learn about true kindness. 31, a writer and editor battle looming deadlines, praised for its gusty gutsy tension. T a teacher in a near-defunct high school golf team. Be proficient in persuasion. Running dead. Um, I need kindness to go up. So let's watch Mouse MD. That's my level. Thirty-five. I mean, I guess I could go home and watch the DVD with my cat. No, I, I want to. I want to work. I'm angry at all the money I spent right now. What do you want to do? <laughs> Thank you, kitty. So your shift is coming to a close, yes? Nice job. Oh, by the way, did you know they caught the culprit behind those assaults? First I've heard of it. Well, apparently it really was Navrudi. Just like I thought. He actually turned himself in. He was such a delinquent. What do you think made him surrender? Divine intervention? Mm. Maybe, but I think it might have been the Phantom Thieves at it again. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, I got a little sidetracked for a second there. Here's your paper today. Thank. Bye. You did great. Well, nice work. Be careful out- Oh, I guess there's not actually a need to be vigilant anymore. Your way home should be a little safer now. See you next time. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Hmm. <gasps> Did it go up? God damn it, no. It tricks me all the fucking time. Yes! That's us, fixing the world one step at a time. Aww. But men Mementos is- Never mind, not now. Wanna head back? Come on, we should head home. Why, what was different? Ah, you're back. Let's go make ourselves sit. Oh, they want to hang out again! Shit. I do kind of want to hang out with the kids, but I made a promise to Chihaya.
I want to see, also want to check in on those families getting a divorce, but they're not here. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm playing on hard mode, so I had to do it in three. Excuse me. She's fortune, which makes total sense. Someone just whistles at every time. Every time I walk by this dude, he fucking whistles at me. A sense that you have trouble with women. Maybe it's because you're gay. There was a woman last time, too. Wait, is that... Oh. Oh. I know what she's talking about. Anyway, please be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? Verification test. Oh, okay, Ramon. I've been waiting for you. Let's do the ver verification test already. I will surely figure out your trick. Thank you, Ramon. Well done to you, too. Good evening. Hello. Hello there, Mifuni-sensei. I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect, like Mary Poppins. By the way, um, who is this boy? Oh, you needn't mind him. That's just my apprentice. If anything, you could think of him as a human-sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. Wait, so he's okay with working for a woman, even though he's a guy? Uh, something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Um, I take that to mean something else has happened with your job? Yes, a male co-worker of mine was given all the credit for a successful project I poured my soul into. And do you know what my boss told me? He said it was just the natural order of things because I'm a woman. How terrible! That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting up my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find a foothold in the market, though. Here we go. In that case, let's ask the tarot. Show us the truth, O oh divine power. Oop. Yes, I've seen everything. Mm, the cards have appeared in reverse. In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. No, what should I do? I'm like, oh, that's, oh, sexism. I'm sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Inescapable? What are your thoughts? Were you even listening? What shall we do? What can we do to help this woman who is so oppressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? Change your boss's heart. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I understand what you mean by that. As such, I would suggest you think of something else. I have the power to curse you permanently, you know. Encourager. What? what? It's a little idealistic to expect that will actually work. Incidentally, what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Hurrah! Fight the power! Um... You know we're talking about her business success, right? That has nothing to do with the power. But you consider your answer. I just wanted to say it. We'll return your fate. Mm. Don't be so irresponsible. That's simply not an option. How can you expect her to overturn that which is inescapable? Overturning fate? That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressive society. I can do it. I'll reshape every aspect of my antiquated industry. Fuck yeah, kick all these men in the dick. That's it. My mind is made up. I'm going to quit my job and set off on my own private business venture. And even if I fail, at least I won't be wait wasting away doing busy work for that sexist bastard anymore. Thank you, young man. If you excuse me, Fufune Sensei. Uh-huh. You're far too irresponsible, Kurusu-san. Her misfortune has already been made clear. The cards will surely back me up on that. Hey, Riza. Yeah, I wanted to get the the arc that I had started today out of the way because it's it's really emotionally heavy. And the summer section of this game is my least favorite because it's a bit of a slog. So I wanted to just hurry through it so I could get to the part of the game I'm really interested in faster. Yeah, she's like, what the fuck? 
It seems the sequence of cards has changed. Her financial failure is now appearing as extremely successful. What did you do? Are you... Are you psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. Oh, thank you. Yes, that has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That is how it must be. Open your mind to change. That may not be such a bad idea. But if that possibility were the truth, how would I keep my Holy Stone business intact? Oh, I just saw what you said. Thank you, Ramon. Good night, Rita. Anyway, you've changed the flow of destiny twice now, both times coming before my very eyes. That'd be helpful. What? It seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. All right. You'll come back again soon, right? Promise me. Goodbye. Bye. Bitch, I'll go back tomorrow if you want me to. Oh, I have to meet Hifumi. Right. Hi, is this Kurusu-san? I'm just not convinced about what happened today. So I'm going to get right to my question. You're currently standing right in front of your house, correct? Of course I am. See, that's exactly what my reading told me. Fate is absolute after all. If everyone could reverse their fate as easily as flipping a table, life would be easy. This, this is why I believe I need to conduct these verifications with you. Yeah, I can, um... I can start the gun dead confidant so i'll probably go tomorrow for him so please promise me you'll oh i can't probably it's gonna be the fatabo thing so please promise me you'll stop by my booth again okay i'll talk to you later bye Miss cleo oh he asked me to come back to a shop at night and i fucking didn't sorry dude sorry dad oh god damn it what level is she at four because if she's at four, then I don't have to hang out with her ever again after that. Three. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah. Hello. Oh, I won't go for fuck's sake. No, I'm not taking her to the aquarium, no. That's that's mine and Akechi's date place. We should get going. I don't think she'd like this. Whatever, I'm going to her anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I'm um, wait, but I got two. Whatever, I don't give a shit. She's got something. Let's head home. I I'm gonna throw this out. Just so you know. Like I gave you food, you jerk. Rain, huh? No, Becky. This is a good look at Ketchy's on TV. My face is right next to his. The day of Medjid's attack is approaching. Any thoughts you'd like to share with our audience? Well then. Ah, uh, hi. Medjid is extremely dangerous. Judging from their past actions, they'll make good on their threat. Of course, Medjid has only resurfaced because the Phantom Thieves recklessly provoked them. If the Phantom Thieves have any shred of decency, they should step forward and take responsibility. <sighs> he says it's our fault? Can you believe how we got dragged into this? Mwah! Love you. Okay, time to go see Gundead. Knowing that he basically has to go and badmouth them on TV because, like, Shido's people are behind the whole, um, medjed shit for him is, is, you know, he's just like, alright, I have to do fucking PR for them. Is that right? 
That was a custom gun that I modified to make it look as real as possible. I had a customer who was interested in it. He helped me out by smuggling it out of here so I didn't get caught by those detectives. You're an accomplice now, so don't go snitching. I got everything on my security camera. I want to see more. <laughs> hey. Want to talk in the back? Who the hell are you? Gun enthusiast. At your age. Yeah. Whoa, Faith. That's a good one. That's a good one. Whoa. Well, I guess you got the heart of an enthusiast. Oh, look at the lollipops he has on the shelf. That's adorable. <laughs> You're a strange one, kid. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, this could work. Hey, I can grant that wish of yours, but you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. Yeah, good luck getting Sometimes that out of me. They even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. No. Oh, I hope you're feeling generous then, you dick. Hold on, I gotta blow out these candles before they burn everything down. Just let, you know, just let me buy them already. You're not bluffing, are you, kid? <laughs> May actually make you more useful if you are. <laughs> Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. Mm -hmm. For example, you help me out with my business, smuggling goods, destroying evidence, and as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu with good prices for a punk like you. What Hell do you yeah. Say? Not bad, huh? What's your goal here? That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Oh, that line. Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Don't talk to no one about this. Got it? Just follow my orders. We won't be able to get much stronger if I don't accept his offer. Now what's it gonna be? You gonna take my deal or not? I'll do what I can. That's fine. Okay. I'll work on that special menu for you. Ta you thanks, Gun Dead. Okay, you say that every time I buy things for me. Yay. <laughs> oh my god, Faith. It seems you had model guns in your possession as well. Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. What would you know about hobbies? I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Spill it. I forgot what she says about the twins. Like, it shall what could she possibly know? Of, like, what, what the twins persona? did for us? I have obtained the Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Okay. Clean, run errands. There's plenty for you to do around here. Must be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? Yeah, you gonna pay me, bitch? Hey. Thanks, Gun Dead. When I text you from that idea, it'll be because I need help around the shop. Just so you know, if you ever get caught or anything, I never met you. Nothing to do with me. Be clear? If you want something, you're gonna have to work for it. So what's my first job? <laughs> Yeesh, take it easy there, cowboy. You're that eager to get into it, huh? I'll send a message when everything's ready. Hope I can count on you, kid. Later. Okay, that's it for today. Head on home, part-timer. Bye, gun dad. You should have made a gunplay joke. Ooh. You can, you can, you have time for another, don't worry. Rainbow! Jeez. 
Oh, I should probably save. I'm actually getting I'll nervous. Wait, does my plant need food? But I still have Mandrake. I gotta feed that to someone. I suppose. All right, that's it for today. Oh, are you going home already? If you have some time, why don't you stay and enjoy an apple? It's a gift from one of my elderly patients. She gave me a lot. Hello, Dr. Takemi. Chief Oyamata. There was a medical conference nearby, so I thought I'd check up on you. Who's this? He doesn't look like a patient. Oh. He's a part-time staffer. I'm having him handle some miscellaneous tasks for me. So, do you have some business with me? I hear you stole one of my patients, a girl with bronchitis. She came here with her father. <sighs> bronchitis, you say? Well, I had no intention of taking her from you. I certainly didn't encourage her to visit my clinic. Now there's talk that the care of a u at a university hospital is inferior to that of a general practitioner. Original medicine. <laughs> what you're doing here is simply absurd. You're right. I would have turned a blind eye if you had just rotted away out here in this little town. But this is your final warning. Shut this place down and resign your medical license. This is harassment. What did you say? You fucking heard me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hmm, you seem to be quite fond of her. Perhaps I should reveal this woman's true identity. I know who she is, bitch. She's a monster who tortured a patient to her with her unregulated medicine. Terrible, isn't it? She was such a brave girl, always smiling. What does this mean? Was? She passed away. What? What? Perhaps you'll suffer the same fate, and she is the plague, after all. <sighs> Don't lie to me. She should, she should still have time left. She was slowly recovering. Her condition couldn't have deteriorated that quickly. But it did. You must have misjudged. Now, back to the reason why I'm here. Don't ever take another patient away from me again. You don't want to make me angry. What are you, the fucking Hulk? Oh, Mila Chen's dead? No. Oh, no, no. But she's all I've been working toward all this time. Oh, carrying her was my only. There's no way. Let's ask for details. Yeah. What have I been doing all this time? What was even the point? I can't... Let's retaliate. Hmm? Retaliate? <laughs> Sorry. I feel better now. Thanks for your help, my little guinea pig. You're welcome. I feel like you should take us to a death metal show or something. <gasps> Discount! All right. Yay! To say. I wish I hadn't shown you that side of me. We all do sometimes. <laughs> You're right. I guess it's fine once in a while. Go home for today. We'll continue this another time. Yay. Take oh, care. I should have gone to Chihaya to increase a stat thing. Oh well. I haven't heard anything. Dude, this ain't some, just some normal oversleeping stuff. Our deadline's tomorrow. If the top is not up by then, can she really do anything even if she does wake up? That's right. Yeah. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? Hmm, dreams are said to be the sorting of memories, after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Yeah, it's been like a fucking month she's in a coma. Her past. You think she's really facing all that shit right now? Me, me, me. I believe in Futaba. Me. Indeed. We'll just have- we'll just give us a ring if anything changes. We're counting on you. I have to agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out? Don't- don't encourage her. Oh. I think Bernie Sanders is almost done, right? <gasps> yeah, we're gonna max out Bernie Sanders! Hold on.
And now our coverage of Medjed continues. August 21st, the day Medjed says it will attack is hours away, and Medjed has been unnervingly quiet. If an attack does occur, we cannot rule out the possibility of it triggering a global recession, like what's happening right now. Cool. Deadline's tomorrow, huh? It's a surprise that everyone's panicking. Bernie Sanders! Bernie Sanders! How are you? How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The key to success is a healthy heart and body. Come to think of it, I haven't told you what it is that I aspire to do. And aside from that, there have been some incidents. I'm thinking of telling you everything. Would you be willing to listen? Yes! Yeah. Thank you. Let's talk before my speech, then. I'll be waiting at the station square. Yay! Now I have Sunday's free. A weekly magazine reported that Kuramoto was the real culprit in the <laughs> I was again asking for you to become my son! <laughs> Old man Kuramoto will likely be forced to retire from the political world. The police can't do anything because it was 20 years ago. But he has a moral obligation. I hear his grandson, Benzo, resigned from the party as well. It could be due to Matsushita's influence, or perhaps it's just the party's way of atoning. Now it's all up to me and my abilities. When's your speech gonna start, Toranosuke? We can't wait! Toranosuke? Toranosuke. Ugh. To think that people would be excited to hear me speak. No. The article mentioned I didn't want the real culprit to be named, even though I knew who it was. Apparently, people admire me for having quietly accepted a false charge for 20 years. I didn't intend for any of this to happen, though. Your true self was revealed. I appreciate that someone like you, who's been watching me so closely, would say such a thing. I've struggled for the past 20 years, Aww. but I can put that all behind me after the election. Yay! Oh, look at the time. I should get started. I feel like maxing his and Oya's confident, and his Oya's and UI's are probably the most sensible, because Yoshida can work his connections to help you. Oya is a journalist, so she can get her, your a good like put the word out there that you actually got a good name, and then UI has people on the inside to be like, you look out for this fucking kid. So I think those three make the most sense to me. Today will be the last day I'll request help from a phantom thief. Dun dun dun! I don't intend to meddle. Everything I've told you has been based on assumptions. So his name if is Yoshi Dad. If you willing to listen, then I think you should focus on your work. Because the time is now. I okay, can't Yoshi Dad. anything else to teach you. Aww. You are now an expert on giving speeches. How do you know? Okay. I taught you all I know about the art Aww. of public speaking in return for you supporting a guy like me. Aww. And over time, you became someone who shared my beliefs. Thanks to you, I was able to overcome my crisis these last few months. Aww, you're welcome. I will strive for the royal road of politics, <gasps> thinking of you as you walk down your own path. Oh, this is so sweet. But if you ever find yourself in harm's way on your journey, I will be there to help you. Thanks, Dad. We'll be comrades who reform the world together. A comrade? All right, comrade Yoshida. I feel a strong bond with Yoshida. Thanks, Dad. I am thou. Thy bond shall be a blood oath, Jesus. And break the I didn't mean to skip heart. that. Thou hast awakened to the I am once again crying for this man. Granting thee infinite power. Charismatic speech allows you to form contracts with higher level sh level shadows. But All right. yeah. All right. Yeah. Azura! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure you will accomplish everything you set out to do. Thank you. I got the trophy, true confidence. Thank you for everything. You're welcome, Dad. Alright. It's time to begin. Yay! Yoshida's speech is about to start. Yoshida? Christ. I cut my date short so I could watch this, you know? I love it. Does anyone out there have something they aspire to do? Oh, he has a microphone now. I met a certain young man through a method that differs from mine. He was trying to reform the world. I like that. It's. I doubt it was a deliberate thing, but instead of him having to shout and, please, here, listen to what I have to say, now he has a microphone so his voice is amplified. It's a nice touch. As you know, 
That is a very large mountain to cross. Unfortunately, I am unable to travel the same path as him. However, I will not say goodbye, because we will surely meet at the peak. Oh. He is desperately doing what he aspires to do. How is Akino not crying right now? So I encourage you all, please find what it is that you aspire to do, and I will support you. Because that is what I aspire to do. Oh, I, feel, I just picture Akira like getting all misty eyed behind the sign and then like a train ride home, he's like trying not to cry. Way to go, Toronosuke! I believe in you! Hey <gasps> <gasps> guys! I'm a max charm! Yay! Yay, 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 yay! Yay! I'm debonair. Ooh. I listened to Yoshida's speech a little longer than head home. Oh, he didn't want to leave behind Yoshida. Oh, that made me feel so happy. That's cool. Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Mejed? Utaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. What's up? There's something I came to do. Today is the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Aww. Taba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Mm. That reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. I mean, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. Yeah. It's so like, is your cat not happy with it? About. Just know there was some trouble around. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Hmm. Now, they ruled her death a suicide. But I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Hmm, okay. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. Alright, I feel comfortable saying this now because I'm pretty sure everyone in chat knows Persona 5 Royal spoilers. If you don't know about the third semester, please say so in chat and I will be as delicate in my phrasing as possible. I guess, you know, I can do that anyway. I wouldn't want to do that with someone who's just watching the stream and I just blurted out a huge spoiler. Okay, so a character in the third semester says something very interesting about who is who Wakaba is wor working with on her research. And it is someone who would know very clearly the tie between them, their history together, and who was in this character's inner circle. And he specifically says that woman was a pawn of, uh, well, I can say Shido. We know from the vanilla what, what's about, what he's about. Specifically says that woman was a pawn of Shido's. So. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It 
was right before Wakaba died. Okay. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off, thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... Hmm. <sighs> That's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. Yeah, I... I... Though I'd said earlier, like, I think she was working with Shido, it's pretty clear that she was like... Like, she wanted, she was doing this research and she saw how bad it was getting with what Shido and shit wanted to, wanted to do. And she's just like, I'm probably, like, what they're willing to do and capable of doing and will do to get what they want. She's like, oh, I think I'm probably going to die. She went through such horrible things. Those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? You go to therapy. I don't know. Of course, uh, sorry. Futaba. Oh, and then he starts crying happily. She put on pants, yay. It's cold. Uh, uh huh? You can't sell this. Ooh. No, no, never mind that. What, how did you get here? Uh, I walked? Yeah, she is. You're okay? Was that bad? Th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see Look how thin house. she is. Oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> oh! Coffee, Dad! It's alright. By the way, what's the date today? It's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. You know, the cleanse. Oh, I remember now. Kitty, Project. stop yelling! She's screaming again. Let's take care of it now. Come. Hello. Stop it, Mew. Stop. Stop crying. Stop it, Mew Catch. It's my turn to help out. Thanks, Baba. <laughs> Medjed. Yeah. How do we cook them? Like, she's severely underweight for her age. Like, her muscles are very developed because of her. or underdeveloped to her age. Eliminate them. Violent much? That's how I like it. Hey, Futaba, we don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? <laughs> is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream. Get up. Say something. Don't worry. R right. Now hurry it up. Meow. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's get cracking. She's like, all right, whatever. It's fine, I guess. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba. <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Futaba. You should really clean your room a bit. No. Huh. She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. Oh, Mona. Okay. I love that he's watching. Oh, oh, he's like overseeing. Oh my god, this is adorable. Oh, it looks a little better now, don't you think? Oh. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna overthink. Because what this reminds me of is, you know, when you clean your room, it feels like you're cleaning out the clutter and the space around you and your things are getting organized and everything's neat and tidy and it just, it feels like a refresh, like you like refresh the page almost, but you refresh your room. So Mona's saying, oh, we should at least clean the place up for her. So you do that and it's like, oh, it's a fresh start. How sweet, Mona. Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? Cute. 
<laughs> and she would apparently did not notice them reaching on top of the desk to take away those garbage bags. She can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. They tidied up her heart. Oh! I'm done! No, oh, Mona was sleeping too. What's up? Something happened? It's finished. Finished? What is? It's so clean. Why? We cleaned it. <laughs> anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. <laughs> I don't understand, but this is good. I love her. Good night. Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? <laughs> love her. She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep, too. Okay. Ugh, again. Quit. Chaos Phantom Thief. <laughs> I said that wrong and I'm sorry. So, Fatava's awake? Awesome. And has Medjid been taken care of? Uh, more importantly, how's Fatava doing? She's back asleep. Seriously? She must have been quite exhausted. I can't say I blame her at all. Me. Me. And why don't we all watch the news together? Yes, we should meet up at LeBlanc, as usual. See you tomorrow, guys. We should be in the clear now, right? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe it'd be better if we just stayed in today. Nice. Oh. Uh, let's watch a DVD. The Maverick Rodent's Medical Heroics Learn About True Kindness. I wonder what Mona says about the mice. What do you mean by surgical consent form? I can't believe you operated without a signature. It's over. The patient was cured. What exactly is the problem? Yeah, it's not going to be plot stuff. And then I'm going to stop before... I'm going to stop when the f next semester of school starts, if I even get that far tonight. And then I'm going to pick up tomorrow with the actual plot again. So you're not going to miss anything, Faith. You can go sleep, bees. It's a story about a renegade mouse doctor saving the lives of his fellow mice. Wow. The doctor's got quite an attitude, but I guess he has the skill to back it up. I see. He may not be the friendliest doctor, but deep down the only thing he cares about is treating his patients. Mm -hmm. Well then. Criminal cat fight. Good night, Faith. You're very welcome. Thanks for hanging out again. It was fun times. You need your rest if you're gonna wear out your knees for gun dead. Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. What's up? Hey. Oh, you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Oh, God, Faith. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pyramid Pyramid of Wrath. What are you all smirking about? Why is she listed as Wrath?
Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. Why did I think she was sloth? After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? <laughs> my customers are on summer vacation too. <laughs> oh crap, I just realized our break's almost over. Thank God. I'm there just are a catchy. Still ten days left. Yeah, it's a pyramid of wrath. Here. Oh, you won't be able to see it, but I, I'll be able to read the trophies. Yeah, there's Castle of Lust, Bank of Gluttony. Oh, mu wait. Castle of Lust, Museum of Vanity, Bank of Gluttony, Pyramid of Wrath. Yeah, in, in the trophy, she's Wrath. I wanna go somewhere. And the will seeds that we've sent. The will seeds we found for her were all about wrath. Some things still concern me too. Shut up. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. Shut up. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, if any cut. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there yeah. were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. God, you have to warn me when this dickhead shows up. The issue up. I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? He seriously looks like a penis, like it's bothering me. Like a literal dickhead. Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Also, the fact that he, like, willingly shaves his head to look like a skinhead makes me hate him even more. Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. Uh -oh. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. Law and order. This is, he's basically Trump. This politician seems quite promising. He's just Trump. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. No, well, you're gonna die in a few years anyway. Shut up. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. I was ashing in the plant here. Don't care. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Hmm. Does this other metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. Lose consciousness? So some of them don't go berserk, they just kind of black out? I mean, that makes sense, because Akechi can't control how they respond to the berserk state. Like that guy who took nude selfies of himself at a wild duck burger. Akechi can't influence them to, to do things. He just, like, releases whatever is, like, pent up inside of them and just lets it run free. So that guy always wanted to, I guess, stick his dick in a hot dog bun or some shit. And I guess the person who worked on the train for the, like, the train accident in the bidding, beginning, sometimes, like, sometimes I just want to... I guess maybe go as fast as Sonic, or like sometimes I just want to crash this fucking train because he's probably tired and you know overworked and shit. Okay, so their darkest pent up desire gets released. So for some people to just fall unconscious, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. 
then that makes his him casting berserk on himself when he fights you guys in the boiler room really really interesting considering how he acts and how he talks to joker doesn't he say something like um hold on i have the translation thing do i i don't think i do actually i'll have to pay attention to it when i get there i'm almost there anyway so whatever I suspect that these cases are all connected to a He basically sounds like ecstatically thought. vicious. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other metaverse user? I loved him. Not so different from us. Not so different from us. So you were aware that what you were doing wasn't the pure justice you envisioned. Oh, Is that new? That can't be new. Well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Is that- that's not new. But I also feel like each of the options in Vanilla were, um, not that good. You know, like, the true criminal, not part of us, or- no, because when you were doing the interrogation room bit, you could say it was- he, they weren't a part of us. Or they weren't on the team. But like not so different from us is mm. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the Aww. bottom of this. All right. Oh, yay, Emma, that's wonderful. Now, let's move on to your next crime. You dirty crime boy. Kunikazu Okumura. This capitalist pig who deserved death. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? Buried him in the fucking dirt where he belonged. Think the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. Now her daughter's sitting that right means there. Our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims, like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even in shut up! Shut up! Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah. I think she doesn't know. Like, she probably just assumes that was a suicide, considering how he walked into traffic. Like, there's no evidence of that behavior being out of line. Because I guess it's like, she found out what, like, the scandal that was going on in the school, like, it, and how much pressure they were under. It probably doesn't re register as suspicious, because it's like, well, it would make sense that he would kill himself. Which is pretty fucking dark, really. <laughs> if we put together abusive shut up, shut up, shut up. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. Um... You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake... Oh, I can't remember! If you're... if... that might be true, actually. Huh. That's a good point. If that is the case... Go yes, unforgivable. You do Senai. Blah, blah, blah. No, she's just doing what we all want to do and ignoring you. That smell. Come on, no fair. Hey, can I snag a bite? This is going on auto. That's weird. Meanie. <laughs> shut up. I've been even Shut up, shut up. The one who taunted the phantom thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. Oh, that's weird. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um, Shut up. Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the hacker of justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. You could just say crimes. expose all of them, so I just left them be. Oh, uh, 
So, Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? Yep. You should have told us from the start, Futaba. I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba shut up, shut up. Okay. Just like that? This... Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Safe how did you... secret where did you... private when I refuse to answer I plead the fifth Tell cop Sean sure is unique still it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more at the very least we need to be able to communicate normally with her Oops. she's fine as she is dude yeah she's okay as is uh that ain't gonna fly fuck y'all I can understand her first if Shut up. Just... Shut up. I see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can be... Shut up. Let's go to the beach. There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea. I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Yeah, I think she's the... I can understand uh, her. Excuse me. I... Shut up. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. Shut up. Okay. Can I really do this? Good luck. Why me? Because you're cute. <gasps> Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. I should know. I have been having to buffer my face every day. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. <laughs> Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. Sick, like, I know I'm having a nervous breakdown right now, Sai so And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, causing the psychotic breakdowns. Oh. So he's talking about his situation, but talking about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, honey bunny. If only I had realized sooner. Wait a minute. If only I had realized sooner. What, didn't someone have a theory as to why he reacts this way and it's not necessarily just for show? It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. I don't know. For the sake of my justice, <laughs> I won't forgive them. Oh, this is so Japanese anime! Just stop being anime and speak like normal people. Yeah, he's talking about Shido. So when he's saying what he considers justice, he's not going to forgive who's responsible. Shido's the one responsible. And once again, Shido's name uses the same kanji for the word justice. It's just read different. So, yeah. Things will be 
They're not yours, you fucker. You sure? Why is he that? Why is he talking about us as if he's not actually addressing one of me them? Why is he of all people yeah. really excited about this? I like the game. All the PT are like, "What the fuck is this problem? He's weird." Really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. I, I kind of want to go and see if he's there. <laughs> I just want to go, you guys. He's not, and I knew he wouldn't be, but I just had to check. I just had to check. And the couple that's getting a divorce aren't here either, that's sad. And yes, I just spent 200 yen to go to nowhere in particular. Oh, they're both outside. Hmm. Are they or just the one? Uh oh. Uh, it's so, it's so hot today. I placed my shop. Oh, there we go. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh. Okay, do my fortune then. Um, okay, please take a seat. What shall we do? Oh. Um, kindness, what up? I need proficiency. No, proficiency is at four. No, it's kindness. I'm working on kindness. I know, it's annoying. What increases my kindness at night? Oh, working with Lala. No, good for you. Oh, honey. No, working with Lala, I thought. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. You're yeah, see? Thank you. Oh? Yeah, but I get money from this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you're it's right. You. I should have gone to Soju. Whoa. Evening. Good evening. I'm here. Oh. You're in a good mood today. Well, have a seat. Oh, so Shinsuke Kishi is the boss you've been having problems with, right? Actually, not anymore. I don't know what happened, but it's like he's a changed man. He suddenly said, I'm sorry for everything, and then apologized in tears to each one of us. He went from being the man his subordinates hate most to becoming the perfect, ideal boss. Let me ask. Hey, Lala, you don't suppose... You think the Phantom Thieves did something to help I me? Mean... Who knows? If they did help you, though, you have a lot to be grateful to them about. Hey, hey. D <laughs> yes? Did you hear? He's grateful to us. Please, you're starting to make me feel bashful. Aww. We're gonna drink today. I'll order a bunch of food too. You silly man. Huge order coming through. Oh my god! Lala! Nice work. Thanks for your help. A minor like you should probably be getting home around now. Oh, I love that she calls me honey. See you. Bye, Mama. Hmm. Yeah, that needs to be up. Wanna head back? I'm getting sleepy. Alright, so I got 72 bucks and two points towards kindness, but I probably should have spent it with Sojudo. Since he is a confidant and all. Would like a word with you. 
Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. No. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. Shut up. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. <laughs> Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. The size, like, I guess the drugs are kicking in again. You stole the research. <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down. Otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. All right. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. Bye. Modern day Robin Hoods. Oh, yeah, this is when everyone turns on a catchy. Okay. Makoto and Yusuke are scheduled for today, huh? I haven't seen them. What happened to them? I might just fast forward through this because it's not really anything interesting. What is that supposed to? Don't worry about it. No, this is funny, but whatever. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. Oh. <laughs> what do you plan on? Oh shit. Will that be enough? And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You... well, the organic ones. Um... Uh... I heard... Dunno, I haven't been out. Oh. Shut up. Koto's getting overwhelmed. By the way... It's almost like you can't relate to human beings, Makoto. Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. My children! What have you done to my children? Oh! They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Feather Man! No! Yellow and pink's heads, and red's been hacked to bits! This is all Inari's fault! Inari? You know, Inari Sushi? The tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? I love her. Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Oh, her little the crack in her voice. Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Uh, how dare you say that to me, of all people? You're wearing a maternity shirt. Fuck off. Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. Yeah. Shut up. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It, I Shut suppose, up. 
So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! Aww. In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? Yes. Shut up. Don't set the bar so high. Well, I'll be there too. Well, I guess in that case. Yes. Yeah, I'd love to. Shut up. Can I wear my mask? Uh, no. No. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. Not bad for her first time. She's still got a long way to go, though. I wonder how long before she's ready for the beach. I'm determined to get to the beach scene, which I will skip. And then after that, I'm probably going to call it. If it's like 4.35 in the morning for me, it's like 3.45 now. And I'm not at the beach scene, then I'm just going to call it and we'll just rush through it tomorrow. Dude, people are so pumped. Talking all about the, how the, talking all about how the Phantom Thieves took down Medjet. Mishima's website has a shit ton of comments flooding in too. The news coverage has been pretty insane as well. I just had another thought. Um, uh, Akechi's, f not freak out, Akechi's dramatic thing of, oh, I should have, if only I'd realized sooner. I think that relates to him realizing that, um, the fantasy is getting wide popularity. And he has spent the past, like, three or four months the three, two months really, just constantly shit talking them on TV. And I think, I wonder if he was thinking he, like, oh, that was Shido setting me up because, of course, people are going to turn against me. But it's like because they made me the public face for, you know, talking against them, talking against the Phantom Thieves, when the Phantom Thieves inevitably do something else again, and if they succeed, then I'm going to look like a fucking idiot and it's going to be on me. So it's like the scapegoating slowly begins. Does that make sense? But like I said, I could have sworn I read a post where someone explained what they thought the intensity of his reaction meant. And I can't think what it is now. Yes, they've only spoken of the Phantom Thieves for the entirety of today. Me. So how's the one, so how's the one who helped us take Med, take Medjid down doing? Sabachan. My Phoenix Rangers almost met their demise. Huh? It was Yusuke's fault. Me. Me. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in someone else's room. Pataba is a difficult personality to handle. Good luck, you two. Shut it, Inari. Alright, it's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Pataba. We have so much to talk about. Ooh, I can't wait. Lady On and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But I guess we'll see what they can do. I feel like I should go to. I should go to Gundad. Is she gonna level up? She is. Oh, but Gundad. But I really like Chihaya. Like, really, really, really like her confidant. Well, let me look at the TV first. Let me see if Akechi's on it. He's not. Activist group Medjet claimed they're going to attack, but as of now, the kind of damage they threatened has yet to be seen. Meanwhile, people on the internet are celebrating, calling it a victory for the Phantom Thieves. Oh. This is huge. We won. Hmm? Yeah, I'm going to Chihaya. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe Coronavirus actually defeated Medjed. Now everyone's describing them as saviors. They don't watch, don't you think? No way. They really are. I can't wait to see what they do next. Well, thanks for the coffee. Oh, you're right. Faith would totally want to would totally want to see that. I agree. We'll keep it for Faith. Please let me verify your skills. I have the perfect client for your test. Come on, don't you want to know? Just give me a bit of your time. Sure. Okay, great. I'll be waiting at my table. I was actually going to go to Kichi Joji to see if Akechi's just hanging out on the street, but whatever. This is your first time coming to my stand, yes? Yeah, um, a colleague of mine recommended you. He said you can help fix my problems. Is that right? Yes. Of course. Fate is absolute. So, um, the thing is, I'm engaged to be married. Next spring, I'll be tying the knot with a friend I've had since all the way back in preschool. <laughs> That's wonderful! Congratulations! Yeah, the thing is, I'm gay. <laughs> so what's worrying you? Is it the date of the ceremony, or perhaps the location of your honeymoon? 
Oh, um, no, it's not like that. Problem is, I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to get married. The truth is, the president of one of our major business partners has offered me her daughter's hand. What? Ah, so this is what it means to be weighed down by societal obligations. Do, um, do you think it would be bad if I declined that president's offer? <laughs> hmm. Please relax, the divine power will bring us your answer. Yes, I've seen everything. My, it seems you will face financial ruin if you decline. No, does this mean that breaking off my engagement is the only option? Um, um Kudusu-san, this may be a good time to demonstrate your powers. This man is bound by the fetters of societal obligation. How should he move forward? Follow his heart. Oh, that's a wonderful suggestion, though I guess anyone could have come up with that answer. Incidentally, what would you say to make him choose his childhood friend? She'll be sad if you break it off. I expect he already knows that. Please reconsider your answer, unless you want to be cursed by the divine power. Marriage kills individuality. Wouldn't saying that only make him want to end things sooner? Oh, god damn it. Fine, thieves may steal her away. Thieves? She's not a child. Wait, you really think someone else would try to go after her? Huh. I guess guys would line up to date such an amazing girl. Well, I'm not going to let that happen. The only one who can make her happy is me. I was a fool for hesitating, even for a moment. I I'm going to marry her. Thank you so much. It's happened again. So you have altered fate once more. His fortune now states he'll be quite successful. I had questioned your powers, but this is the third time. I have no choice. I must accept that fate can, in fact, be changed. You've proven that to me. <laughs> and as a sign of thanks for showing me the truth, I'll provide a special fortune service for you from now on. Yay! I love her. Money reading. Temporarily increases money earned from battle. Whoa! All right. Cool, thanks. I have to go meet Hufumi too. You know, I never thought it was possible to change destiny. Are you perhaps a psychic? Who knows? Actually, no, such powerful people do not exist in this world. You may oversee changes in fate, but purposely altering one's destiny is impossible. Hey, I apparently need to, need to employ some uses of capitalism in this fucking game. This is why I'll forever be a monster. Um, it's gotten so late. I should start backing up for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Is her voice actress the same as I from Persona 4? Hmm. You seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Aw. Yo! We're here! We were late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. Oh, on. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Eating them? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it. Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. I love her. <laughs> Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you, Futaba? Yep, welcome. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? Have it. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Yeah, I like that they're like, okay, yeah, fine. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. Like, they don't mind. Like, okay, we'll talk to her with that fucking thing on. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. I feel like the head should be on the table or something. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Nope. Uh, it's you we're talking about here. <laughs> She's just mu like just munching on it slowly. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? You heard. Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. <laughs> Plus. Popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. Ooh, he's got a point. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But 
The dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. I do. We can't get married in yep. Japan. I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, you just have to talk to her. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. Aww, Tava. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. Eep! Nope, nope, nope! Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode! Be like playing Dark Souls on Soul Level 1. You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. Don't push yourself. I... I... I can do it. I'll show you. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. What they're doing is actually really smart. It's called exposure therapy. And it's usually done with... Social anxiety is a major one of it. Um, if you have PTSD, within reason to be safely exposed to the cause of trauma or to the cause of your anxiety. So what they're doing with her is actually a really good, safe way to handle what she's going through. And the fact that they're basically doing a, a, um, a therapeutic technique to help her and they don't even know it is pretty cool. Oh, he's gonna come over soon, really? Our popularity's through the roof. You guys gotta hear this. This cute chick said she wants to go out with a phantom thief, but not you specifically, huh? Not surprised. Wait, she just said that again. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm for you, Yuji. You don't gotta say it over text, too. Girl talk at the blong, or, or like chatting and snacking, really. So she's completed her objective for the day. Um, no, it isn't. He still shows up to talk to Fataba and you. Next up is practice going out in front of people. Wait, what? Me, me. Only I could be with you tomorrow. Good luck. We got it. Thanks for the help. Hey. You better make an effort tomorrow, Akita. Okay. She seems to be up a little. Maybe we'll finally entering away to the beach. Hmm. And I'm going to go see if he's there, just because I'm curious. I should go to be darts and billiards. <gasps> oh no! Come to LeBlanc with me, you fucker. You know where it is. No, all right, I got this too. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Hello. I apologize. <laughs> it's the same thing. I wanted to talk to you, but sadly, I need to get to work. We should talk when I've got more time. See you later. Bye. I know. I feel bad. He's just like, I, I want to talk to you, but I can't. I guess I could... Let's see. Well, Kawakami's gonna go... Oh, fine, Kawakami. Yeah, I think it's cute. He always turns his head to look at you when you run around him. Or whatever side you're standing on. Um, I'm pretty sure all your confidants do that, though. And this is Becky, even on a hot night, I'll help cool down your str- Oh, it's associate. Yeah, I catch you rubber decks whenever he sees Akira. Wait, doesn't he have like head turning charm? Yeah. It's so hot, your house doesn't have air conditioning, does it? Oh, well, I'll endure it if you're going to request me. I'll provide my services for 5,000 yen, request fee included. So request me today, right? Right? Yay! I love you, master. Okay, I'll come over there right away. I'm going to read those creepy lines like, 
deadpan because they're gross. So, master, I want to provide more services for you. Why do you what are you scheming? Definitely not. I'm definitely not scheming anything. Meow. I just want to get requested more. See, I feel bad that she thinks she has to do this to get requested, but it's like you could just tell her you don't have to do any of this shit. Like I'll just you could I'll pay you to come over and then you could just fucking take a nap if you want. Jesus Christ. I'm really that face. Ew, I'm really good at giving massages. Meow. I'll massage you anywhere you like. Well, how was that? Ugh. The thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts, but he said that he prioritizes younger women. How old are you? No surprise there. That's pretty rude. How rude. Seriously, he didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. And I look damn good for my age, if I do say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails now. See? I'm damn good for- Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master! Uh, would you please give me your honest opinion? Yeah, I think that'd be great. It's like... She paid- you paid her to come over and she's like, Alright, well, what do you want me to do? Like, well, you can take a nap. And, like... Yeah, like I'll, t like, I'll take a nap. And you get your kindness raised because you do something nice for her. I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? She's trying to look moe and it's creepy as fuck. You need to love yourself. Whoa! Huh? I don't really feel like I'm worth being loved. Oh, wow, that's me! Wow. Wow. Wow, that? That right there? That's me. You see that, guys? I'm gonna take another a screenshot of that and tweet it, because that's me. Okay? You're right. You go out of your way to request me and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I let my guard down because you know both sides of me. You know, I just noticed since she has her nails painted, she has to paint her nails every day for the job and then remove it for work. And she has to do that every single night. And how exhausting it must be because you have to get it so precise. And then you have to use the nail polish remover. Maybe I'll let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. Sorry, I'm such a terrible maid. Bitch, I don't care. All right. And it can't be good to be constantly exposed to nail polish remover. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say, Emma. So I have to confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie, too. I already knew that. I can't get requested unless I make up those types of, types of stories. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. Let's just put an end to this. <sighs> Thank you for using our service. Who the hell is admin? Well then. Today is the day we're having Fatala try and help out at the cafe, right? This will be a stressful turn of events. Yeah, she could have cute little lacy gloves. Do you want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? Experience is important. Still, putting her out in front of customers is a little much. Don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. 
Hmm. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Wait a minute. Lockaba died two years ago, and she's been on a slow downward spiral for the past two years, but she still managed to graduate middle school? Well, in that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? <coughs> hey, are you all right? The usual boss, extra strong. Sure thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. Get a grip. Oh, I would never, ever, ever say that, but I'm really curious to see what she says. Cause that's how she talks. Yeah, get a grip. Yes, her. Oh, I'm sorry, Futaba. She a new part timer. Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, box? She's like 14. It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. She's 14. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. It's or a 15, whatever the fuck. She's tiny. Of fresh air. Yeah, right? Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Why? So, Joe, like, get the fuck out of my store. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. Huh. Yo, here's your coffee. I, I like to believe she heard him saying this shit about her, so she put the head on and went out to scare him. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? She did this on purpose. And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. She did this on purpose. Uh, here is your coffee, sir. Oh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right. You did. You did great. Huh. Turns out this is pretty easy. <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. Sojira, want me to bring coffee to more customers? No. Uh, mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it. You did it. And I like to imagine that when uh, Akira and Mona are just sitting in the bed looking at each other, I imagine they're just having this like long ass conversation. Just this long conversation about nothing at all. Did anyone here share information about our real identities? Like hell, we do that. I overheard someone in the city saying they're our acquaintance. Let's talk about false rumors. But they at least were famous enough to have rumors about us. She should have put like salt in the coffee, just like opened it and just dumped it in. And like, there you go. You might even break it to the news online or maybe TV or a piece of glass. Yeah, if we get caught. Hell yeah. Me. I serve coffee to customers. She did good. That's great, Futaba chan. Anyways, you better get used to it fast. You can't be fat to be if you're scared of people. I'll try my best. We're on a roll! Futaba's been working really hard. Whether or not Yam is a cat toy. Aww. And then there's Ryuji. It's like he doesn't have a care in the world. He's gonna get in trouble somewhere down the line if he keeps this up. Morgana's right. Mask aside, I really think she's built up some confidence. Hey, hey! Nice. I think they mean like they're gonna have to go out in public to look for palaces and stuff. I should hang out with her. Is this weather a result of climate change? Whoa! That's cool, Richard. They mentioned climate change. It's another hot summer this year. Bet we're gonna break some re break some record temperatures. 
Oh, they'll be pretty happy to let those records stay unbroken. Still, this time of year is the best for a nice, refreshing cold one. Do you have a lot of info on the Phantom Thieves? Yeah. Then take a seat. I'm not gonna rank up, but at least I'm hanging out with her. Oh yeah, seems happy. Yay! Well then. I brought in a demon and she's friends with me now. No. I wanted to at least push Oya a little closer to being ranked up. That Akechi is all talk, isn't he? Why is he so hostile toward the Phantom Thieves? Right? Some people just can't read the mood. That also sounds amazing, Richard. Well then. Let's see, our plans for today are... Huh? Do we not have anything planned? I'm out shopping up Makoto. We'll head over when we're done. Oh, it's this. Hmm. Just what are they hmm. scheming? No, I hate this. I'm just gonna fast forward through this because I don't like it. the fourth day already. Getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. No. Can't really tell. Nothing new yet, Richard. He, um, cannot change their deep you get, um, so both of you get pretty busy throughout the, through July and August, so you don't really see each other until the end of it, and then September is where you pick off meeting him again. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. Aw. Oh. Off. She's grinning, aw. And those girls are late. What do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. Shut up. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course. For Futaba-chan. A swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay. You can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but, um, uh, hey, we're not gonna fucking look, you bitch. This, like, the whole summer segment, I'm like, I... As someone who fucking hates summer, I don't care about going to the beach. I understand, I understand it's a thing, but... No. Yeah, a single piece would have been better. It would be really cute too, they could have put bows on the straps. I should hang out with her. Just to get get it going. Hey there, our show is longer than usual today for a very special feature on the Phantom Thieves. After the commercial break, let's see if we can reveal some of the mysteries surrounding them. Phant oh, th that T needed to be capitalized. Phantom Thieves are extremely popular among young people. I hear some even think of them like gods. What the fuck? Mm, Richard is not funny, knock it off. 
Oh. <sighs> He's like, Fataba's been through a lot. Be kind to her. Or, yeah, be kind to her. It's like, no, just be normal. What? I won 2,000 yen. Oh, I didn't know I could turn it in, like, months later. Wow. What did I come here for? I came here for something specific. Here, to see if the kids are at. Hey, kids! What are you gonna do today? No. Oh my god, we're going to church. Then... Yeah, it's torrential rain. Me in, I miss rain like this. I don't hear it much anymore from where I live, but I miss rain. Oh. So this is where one prays to the gods in your world? The peaceful atmosphere here is the antithesis of a prince of hell. Hmm? Is that man standing there one of the gods? Sure is. No, that's definitely a human. I don't sense any exceptional abilities from him. Any more thoughtless answers like that, it will execute you here and now. Now yeah, just try it, bitch. What is that over there? A smaller room? I know, it's an iron maiden for reforming criminals, right? Whoever gets in whoever goes inside and fails rehabilitation gets skewered. Yep, skewered alive. I thought so. I felt a sense of foreboding from it. No, Caroline, that's the place where you speak with a human to divulge your past misdeeds. I believe it is called a confession booth. Hey, inmate! Hey, one more smart remark like that and you're getting baton jabbed, inmate. Is something the matter? Hey, you! You're here for the confession booth deal you have going here. Oh, you seek to confess at such a young age? Alright, which would you which of you would like to go first? What are you saying? Which of us? Do you intend to split us up and pick us off one by one? Hm, no such luck. We're both going in. I see. You're free to do so, but there really isn't much room inside. Are you attempting some sort of deceptive practice by calling yourself a servant of the gods? You what? Listen to people's concerns. This isn't a form of rehabilitation? Regardless, such talk is cheap, but pays quite well. We shall undertake this confession and ascertain the truth for ourselves. Then, as for your confession... Hmm, what to confess? It's... Probably unkind to kick the inmate, but it's part of my duties as warden, so that can't be held against me. Inmate? Warden? This is none of your business. We're speaking to the gods right now. Recently, I've been shifting my more mundane bookke bookkeeping responsibilities onto Caroline. What? Yeah, <laughs> you what? I knew my workload was feeling larger for some reason. But she made so many mistakes in her work that I regret not doing it myself. Excuse me? Of course I'd make mistakes when I have nearly twice the work. How about yourself, Caroline? Don't you have anything you'd like to confess while we're here? Huh? Uh, like what? I know you went out and ate menchikatsu all by yourself. Did you really think you could escape my notice? It, I was curious about the line. Like, what could humans want so badly that they would stand in place for so long? <sighs> Maggie, <laughs> Maggie Dolal. <Dulau. sighs> fine, 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 fine. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Confession time is over. We're done here. Odd as it may be, I actually feel quite refreshed. Were it not for this opportunity, we would have likely kept those matters locked away deep in our hearts. What kind of sins? What kinds of sin are you guilty? What kinds of sins? Shut what? up! Are you guilty of? Shut up, inmate. Perhaps your rehabilitation would be better attained with a torture chamber rather than a confession booth. I like fucking with these kids. By the way, why do humans pray to gods? Shouldn't they be spending that time trying to solve their problems themselves? Sometimes it's all you can do. Well, isn't that all too convenient for the humans? I'll bet the gods don't appreciate that answer any more than we do. Well, it's a good line. No matter. We've come to learn how these places of worship work firsthand. We'll consider the assignment complete. Here's your reward. Wow, bitch, that's great! Oh my god, did they give it back? Is it because I'm a church, so they gave it back to me because of Jesus? 
You know, confessions seem like they'd be rather useful to your rehabilitation. You ought to confess to us every day. Put that out of mind, Caroline. Once you return, you're going to tell me all about your experience eating you-know-what. What? Uh, but I've already confessed. Not enough, you haven't. Let us return. She's praying. Take us back now, inmate. I escorted the twins back to the bell room. They gave it to me because of Jesus. So what should we do today? Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had hot pot that one time. That may be a good idea. I'm honestly not interested in this. Do you guys mind if I skip it? I just really don't care. I can do that. Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelet with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. Tomorrow is Goro Day. I'd like the same. Do you have money? No, but this is for Futaba's sake. Okay, fuck this. It's not a failure. Uh, beach trip. Uh, I don't care. Oh, sorry, Mona. This is basically just like, oh, let's prepare okay. her for the beach trip. And it's just that, and it's not interesting. Oh my god, how are you? Fuck you, Becky. Yeah, I'll go see- oh, shit! I was gonna save her for Faith, but whatever, I'll go see Gundead. Well, if Kawakami said don't request me, why the fuck is she still texting me? I have to go pick up our son from lockdown. Huh. Yeah. I don't want to read this because I'm tired. Um, he's probably in the bag, honestly. Akita has a thing of coffee and water in front of him. Just killing time, really. Hey. Don't hang up. Masa's still on the phone, right? Just stay quiet so I can hear what he's saying. Suda san, it's Masa. Iwai was asking about you. I did just like you told me, though. The hell are you looking at? Nothing in particular. Ah, that's nothing. Just some weird kid staring at me. Anyways, EY probably heard about that deal of yours, and now he's trying to squeeze some cash out of you. Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's... Yes. Sorry. Yes, I understand. Hmm. A deal? Sounds like there's some weird stuff going down. How's your cold? You're seriously naive, kid. You know I was acting, right? At any rate, I honestly wasn't expecting too much out of you. <laughs> That looks like you're gonna actually be of some use to me. I'll be counting on you, kid. Okay, gun dad. All right. Good work today. Order yourself something nice as a reward. Oh, oh, and bring me the receipt so I can pay you back for it. Oh, thanks, dad. Thanks, gun dad. Okay. 
just one more day. Just one more day to go. Tomorrow we hit the beach. Hey there. Sorry, but I need your help with the dishes. Help with the dishes. Is Fataba here too? That means we're not only helping out at the cafe, but we're also babysitting Fataba today too. Well, the faster we get started, the faster we'll finish. Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice, 100% natural. That reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Thanks. Fireworks, huh? Oh! Hello. <gasps> Yay! You finally found where I live and work. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Hey, babe. You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Hi! Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. Oh! No wonder Sai san recommended it so strongly to me. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. It's like, no, dude, I just want coffee, bro. Oh. <laughs> then she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. What'll it be? Wouldn't Sojido find it kind of suspicious that he knows about Pataba? Oh no, uh, he would think Sai I told him. Whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. I love you wherever you go. That's surprising. <sighs> oh! Oh, I don't know if I'm ready to hear the rest of this voice, y'all. I don't know if I'm ready. Oh. Oh, good point, Emma. Mm, I don't want to click next because I'm sad for baby. Did I bother you? My apologies. No. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship whoa. with some low life of a man. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Dude. Thanks <laughs> to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Babe! Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. That's what I thought. I don't... <laughs> I think he was, he just dumped that to see Futaba's reaction. Like, he is a very subtle manipulator. So, I don't think he was, I think he did go into foster care. And I did think he was passed around. Because that, you know, that happens. But I think he just blurted it out like that. Because Pataba's there. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? Oh, oh god, I just cut him off. Oh god. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Like, you're like two or three years older than her. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You are popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. So? <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. He has a terrible posture. Look at that bitch sit. 
Oh. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? Oh, but he uses his right hand. He uses his right hand. Baby, no. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. <laughs> okay. Like, are you at a cafe, dude? I agree. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's adorable! I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Gay! Gay! I know it's in the original, but gay! Does he actually believe fate brings people together? Does he actually- that's what I want to know. Does he actually believe fate brings people together? <laughs> well, I think I found my go-to cafe. Cute! But the way he says that, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, context for that. Coffee's delicious. He's, he's, he's having fun there. He says, you know, I'm, I'm jealous you get to have this every day. And then, um, knows that obviously that that's the cafe Akira lives above and works at. And then tells him, uh, we seem to share some sort of bond. You can confirm it. And then he says, thank you. Fate brings people together. This is my go-to cafe. So the go-to, so he mentions the coffee once. And then everything after that is his bond with Akira. So that's why it's his go-to cafe. Because he's, he's a big gay. He's a big gay. Oh, yeah, good point, Emma. Oh. All this, like, bad shit talking about a catch is making me sad. Well, no, it's, that's, I don't agree with that, D, because he doesn't know that they would have ever bonded in any way. It's like, oh, this dude was just shit talking to me. Okay. And then it's like, oh, we actually connect really well about stuff. So it's like, yeah, I take, I took the initiative to talk to him. And then, oh, there's so much more here. And that's frustrating. I want to light fireworks. Can we? I bought some. Did you go with Morgana? I went by myself. I just ran into Mona on the way back. Phew! I'll go get Sojiro. I was yeah, worried, Akira, so I'm I gay. To follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. Mona! Oh, sweetie. What would he have done if she did get in trouble? Would he have, like, run in to distract her or, like, comfort her? If she can Emma, do that, oh my she God. should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. Huh. Soji Ro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Huh, so he was following her, or kept an eye on her. Oh, hold on, Futaba. I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. We use the cigarette to light it! <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! You listen to... <laughs> Stop hurting kitty cat. Hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from it. Oh! Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? And so keep it away from the cat. He doesn't like it. Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! <laughs> no! no! <laughs> Go pick up the cat, Sojiro. Just hold him. Hold him like baby. Does she become some kind of toy? Hey, you better not have forgotten about that persona you left here! <laughs> Listen carefully, you must come today. Otherwise, you should very well lift that persona. <laughs> so you dropped your kid off here. Can you come fucking take it? All right, whatever, shut up. Yeah. 
All right, I have, to, I have to, I have to, I have to go get my baby. I have to go get our son. Our son. Uh, uh, uh. No. Uh, our son. What are you gonna do today? No, 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 no. no fuck off. Uh, fuck off. Fuck off. No, I have to get our son. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. I have to be very careful with how I respond to this. What? No, what? Fuck you. Fuck you. I gotta get our son. Fuck off. I abandoned my boy. Like, I've abandoned my boy. <laughs> fuck you, give me Arsen. Fuck you. Do you have business? Fuck off. I'll take care of him. Come back to me. Come back to me. You want to release it? Yeah, dude. Looks a little stronger. You want to let it out? Come here. Come home. Wow. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yay, our son! Come back here. Yay! Can I, like, put him back in? <laughs> Can I put him back in? Gonna light some incense? I'm just gonna put him back in. <laughs> Which incense are you gonna light? Put this Sorry, our son. So I just go back. <laughs> Listen, he's got to get stronger. Justine, you do want to register? You'd like to register? He's got to get stronger. Are you finished? What? It is time, inmate. Listen, I'm not gonna. Uh, he has to get much better than he, he is right now, and then we can hang out. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't got no Phantom Thieves where you're from, huh? Yeah, that's the power of Japan. The Phantom Thieves are awesome. They're like a manga come to life. But I mean, we can't rely on them for everything, right? Huh? Why not? Stop lecturing us. Well, I mean, he's not wrong. Alright, should I... I'm going to save Gun Dead for Faith. I did the first one, so that's enough. <laughs> Our son, freedom! I could have gave baby jail time for you. Wait, no. That's perfect. Oh my god. Perfect. Anything new? Or are you still talking about Akechi? <sighs> Akechi Kun's been getting a lot of haters. So many people left him for the Phantom Thieves. He must be hurting so much inside. I wish I could cheer up my dear, dearest Akechi Kun. My Akechi Kun, my ass. Your Google eyes don't really pair with your 5 o'clock shadow. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got some nose hairs you need to get under control. Oh my god, they're amazing. I love that, like, the gay dudes love a catchy. Come on. I was curious about you, so I read your fortune. I tried numerous times, but the Empress card keeps appearing. Last time I felt that you were having trouble with women, but I sense something different now. Anyway, please be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? Please take a seat. Yeah, I'll spend time with her. Yes. Okay, here we go. Taya looks mystified. I'll go along with her readings until she's satisfied. Maybe there's a way to make sure Chihaya has a good time. Oh, that's right. I like that this internal monologue is in first person, because it's just you get to see what his vocabulary is like and it just how he thinks or quote unquote talks. So even something so simple as, oh, that's right, is it's sweet. Yeah, she's warning you that Haru's gonna, that you're going to have a situation with Haru. And like, that's your quote unquote women troubles. Considering Chihaya, I feel like she'd be delighted to receive something that's the latest trend. Oh, I don't have anything like that. Oh. Oh, I don't have anything like that. I really should be going around picking up more gifts. Oh, I didn't think of that. I should be getting more gifts. I'd rather give this to her and risk getting like one note than not get any note, you know? Um, uh, is this for me? I don't quite understand your intentions here, but I'll take it though. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, good, one note. Yeah, it feels like I didn't really impress Jahaya much with my gift for her. 
but I feel like my bond will go stronger soon. See, there you go. Bye. Okay. It looks like we're gonna be done with that beach shit today. Just on time, because I wanted to, you know. Utaba will be in your care today. Stop at five o'clock. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. I'll kill him. No, don't worry. Summer beaches are filled with all sorts of idiots letting loose. I need you to stay by her side. I will, Mom. Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be all right? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Aw. Right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Aw. Have fun, but be careful, you two. It's fine, Dad. Don't worry. Eh, it's not so bad. So technically only 440. Watch me skip the fuck out of this. Watch me fast forward through this shit, because I don't care. I know, Kitty. I'll go to bed soon. I'll go to bed soon, Kitty. Don't worry. I hate beach episode stuff. Any Persona beach shit is boring. I don't care. Treasure. I don't want to do this. I'm gay. No. Just give up. Oh, we we crap! Must... I wanted to see. I wanted to see. OMG! It's the Golden Boy himself, <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? You? Oh no! What are you guys doing here? Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? I actually like them. Protégé. Oh, what's with the look? Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? Angel and Julian. You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Oh my god, they did dress them up! Uh... I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. Just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? I like them. Uh, we gotta go. Sorry. <laughs> Was it something I said? No. <laughs> What a tragedy. There's nothing Another I said. Starlet slips through our fingers. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my god! What? I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time on entered my gaze. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so, I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. Does he keep them as pets? I haven't or does he realize you can eat them? As vigorously as this since the first time on entered my gaze. Good for you. <laughs> Look at them! I, I hope he calls them like Pinchy, Pinchy, and um, Snippy. You did well to hold them off. Lobsters! And Pinchy and Snippy. No, fuck off! Fuck off! I don't want to fuck off! I hate the beach. I hate beach episodes. I hate it so much. We should probably start heading home. Agreed. Kutaba seemed fine in the crowd too. So it looks like she's overcome her last Pinchy exercise. Snippy. I mean, we're almost done, you guys. It's almost over. I just want to hear Kutaba talk about her mom and shit and her resolve, and then we're gonna fucking turn this dumb thing off. Hey, Futaba, we're going home. Stop standing around and help us. Stop staring into the sunset, that's weird. You 
you know? All this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. Shut up. I loved my mom. Hmm. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How Aww. she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cog... Shut up. The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. Yeah. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves. That they steal hearts. That I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. It seems like Mementos only started very recently when Igor and Yaldabaoth, when Yaldabaoth cheated on his bet with Igor. Because the, we, the uh, what is it? The Holy Grail is at the bottom of it, yeah? And that's connected with Yaldabaoth. So Yaldabaoth made Mementos. And that could only have happened at least this year, at the earliest. Because I don't remember when it said specifically Igor was taken, but it had to have been early in this year, if not probably almost directly before Akira came to Tokyo. Which is weird, because Goro had to have found a way to be using Mementos to find these people's shadows. So unless Mementos was made earlier than that, which would make sense, which would mean then Yaldabaoth made it months ago, which would mean that Goro only started the Berserk State shit recently, because if you notice that um, Sai says the mental shutdown started two years ago. I think she specifies the shutdowns. But if it is the Berserk State things, the Mementos has existed for two years, but Wakaba died two years ago, and she was doing her research, so you think she would know Mementos existed. And she didn't. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So, why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. Well, someone lost their ball. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. Shut up. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for I it. love how on is constantly trying to build Futaba up. One was Medjed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful, it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded, too. Indeed. You are our only hope. Obi-Wan Kenobi. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> yeah, your sister sucks. It made me sad. And it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves, 
I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. Yeah, I like that. She's like, I'm not with you because I give a shit about this stuff. I want to know what happened to mom. That's the it. reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Hey, y'all ever think about the fact that Wakaba knew how to kill someone? Or meant that they did a test on that? Like if you kill, yeah, like if you kill, you know, someone's shadow in the real world, you risk them breaking down and dying in reality. It means they did it before. And do y'all think that at that point, Akechi would have no way of knowing that? Since, you know, he hadn't done it before, all he could do was, you know, the Berserk State shit. Because mental shutdowns is not a special ability he has. Mental shutdown is something anyone can do. The thieves risked it with Kamoshida. He could just do the Berserk thing. That's special to him. So... Makaba knew how to kill someone's shadow and thus fuck them up. Hi, Blake! Blake, I'm probably gonna stop it a little bit. Um... Because I just want to get this fucking summer shit over with. Or you know, I may go on for a little longer because I'm feeling kind of rejuvenated. Hey, Blake, guess what we're talking about? We're talking about the fact that, um, you know, let's, let's let's listen to it over again. Let's just listen to it over again. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? So, Blake, do you think, do you think, um... The reason she knew that is because that they had killed someone's shadow in the metaverse and then watched as they mentally broke down in real life. And do you think that because Wakabu knew that, that means, you know, Akechi would have no way of knowing that? Because he didn't know about her research? And do you think that, you know, because Wakabu found out about that because they did it, and that Shido found out about that and used it on her, she obviously was not the first time, and a mental shutdown is not special to Akechi. Anyone could do a mental shutdown. He could only do the berserk states. So, do you think he told Akechi, Hey, go after this woman. Do this to this shadow. Test it out. And he did that. And then he was on the hook. Makabo was fucked up. Like, she was fucked up. The fact that she figured out, like, oh, the cognitive world is made through distorted, is made through desires. If the desire becomes distorted, then the distortion will affect reality. So to have someone's des desire distorted, they would have to go after people who are as bad as Kamoshida or Madarama or Kaneshiro. They would have to look for some fucked up people and pay attention to what happens in their palaces. Which, you know, I don't really mind experimenting on those assholes, they suck. But that means she was experimenting on people. And then the next act, natural result is, okay, well, what happens when you kill these shadows? Will that remove it from the person? Okay, so they kill someone's shadow, and it's like, oh, no, that actually breaks the person down mentally. Irreparably. Yeah. How about that? Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing- No, oh, God, fuck off, Makoto. I don't know for sure. Like, right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. Ooh, okay. And she didn't jump into the road. It was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? Yeah, 
they would have gained that knowledge because um, the Kirijo group knows about the other world. The calling it the metaverse, I think, is diser a disservice because it implies that it's a separate, s separate reality from what Persona 4 and Persona 3 established about it. Persona 3 and 4's worlds are sort of like pocket universes crammed into reality. So the Dark Hour exists, which is a, a liminal space of time crammed into... No, it's the Dark Hour. The crammed into the... crammed into nighttime, and it gets progressively worse towards the full moon. So it's it's just this... this the like, in-between nowhere state. But st still exists in reality, mirrors our reality. You can go there in your reality, and it takes place almost like it's a sheet layered over it. And then in 4, it's just the TV world, quote-unquote, which is pocket dimensions specific to people and what they're suppressing within themselves. So it's... the location may have changed, but the source of it is still... something eldritch and supernatural happening. So them calling this the metaverse, I'm like, okay, that's fine, but then that... I don't know. I remember being really frustrated with how they explained the alternate world in this, because... In 3, they explain how the Dark Hour happened. They tell you exactly how it happened. And that, um... It's not the only, like... Interstitial, liminal space that exists. Because the Kirijo group is, group is investigating other ones. If you take the fighting game for Persona 4 C as canon. Because that's how they found out about what was going on in Inaba. It's like, oh, there's some weird shit's happening here too. So. It's... I think it's too... that's a long, long tangent, so to basically it's say too long of a thing based on what Jackie said. Sorry, Jackie. <laughs> she, Wakaba probably, or Shido, someone, would have found about out about the Kirijo group's research into alternate interstitial realities and been like, hmm, okay, let's figure out what we can do here. But since you use the app to get in it, I think that's... hmm. That's what I think confuses me, because because they use something so specific to enter it, that suggests that no one else can get in it. Which, having it as an app, I feel does that a disservice, because then it's like, well, how did Wakaba get in there? And then the game just never explains it. I mean, I guess you're meant to assume since Goro got Loki probably when he was young, that actually is a good explanation. Goro had, Goro had to get Loki when he was pretty young. And so then he would have had access to the metaverse, probably not through an app, but he would have found access to it. And then if you go with the theory that Wakaba experimented on him, then that would be her access to it. But then, I don't know, because then it would suggest then that she only had him as research. Do you see what I mean? Like, this is shit that they never explain. The... Occam's razor would be like, oh, the catchy had access to it, so that's how they got access to it. Which, you know, makes sense, but then he would basically be the conduit to the metaverse for them. Which is pretty fucked up. It would have had to be a Goro who was at least older than 10 years old. At least older than 10. I'm not really sure when his mother dies. I think when he's like 8 or something. But, um, it has to be anywhere between the age of 10 and sh he's- and 10 and 14. Yeah, Blake, we were saying a couple hours ago, we really wish that- while I doubt that they'll ever do a game explaining his backstory, I think a, a manga would be perfect, because then you don't have to worry about bringing back all the Phantom Thieves for it, especially if it's his backstory. It would be his backstory and you could probably do some things like um, make it catch up to canon games so you could see him interacting with the Joker more based on Royals canon. It would just be his side of the events. Yeah, that's what I think too, Emma. That's the only thing that really makes sense. Like I said, Ocarim series are the easiest explanation is the correct one, but sorry, I'm getting off track now. But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. 
Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. I wish they would have translated Yudis and I as anything else. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. And eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our- Shut up. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and- What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. Infutaka. Shut up, shut up. Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's code name? Pharaoh. I'll curse you. What would you shut up? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great. Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the room was so close. She's the internet. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. Should we shut up? Yep, let's go home. Yes. The yeah, I know. Medjad seems to have been more effective than predicted. I know, right, Emma? Shh, it's fine. Shh, it's fine. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. Are they talking about Akechi? Are they talking about Akechi? Like, am I nuts, or... Let's look at this. There are effective ways to use them. So they're basically going to be set up as scape, scape, uh, scapegoats. Now will be the best time to dispose of necessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. The Phantom Thieves are not connected to them. Oh, principal, 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 principal. Thank you, thank you. I just realized where it was. I got worried about the boy because again, was guess what? I don't care about a capitalist or the principal. I only care about my boy. I only care about my boy. No, they're definitely about the principal because they they pin the blame on him. Hey. And then Okamura, they pin the blame on on the families too. So yeah, sorry. Taking my back. Comment retracted. Comment retracted. Comment retracted. I'm just worried about my boy because I don't give a shit about anyone else in this game. Give me keep totally honest with you. No, I don't care. Shut up. Let's tear that baby down. Coronavirus' popularity is still going strong. I know, I want to see my little boy too. Merchandise of them has been very- has been produced and sales have been very good to their- due to their appeal. Why don't we get the fucking money? But the popularity is still rising, this Phantom Thieves boom will continue for a while yet. They're calling us a Phantom Thief boom. I'm so proud of us. Nah, I'm not really that tired. It was just a yawn. We just talked about it, but... 
Alpha! <laughs> There's Yusuke in the background making a fucking sad castle. Here's the fire we took today. What? I'm in there too? Is this what it feels like? Is this what it's like to feel photogenic? You're not used to looking good in pictures. It certainly is a fine shot. I get you. Indeed, this picture has even captured all the architectural grandeur of my sand castle. I'll take your word for it, man. Got anything for me? Alright. I just I I I don't think he's gonna say anything different, but I just I just wanna see him. I just wanna see him. I just I just I, he's not gonna say anything different besides like, bro, I'm busy. I wanted to talk to you, but I'm busy. Oh, is this the God. This is a family of like or a couple that are about to get fucking divorced. And like I just I just wanna watch them get divorced, but they're gone. Phantom wafers. I know. Good night, Jackie. Oh, honey. Hey, Leah. Hey. Well then. Yes, go eat lunch. Shit. <laughs> she said shit, not sheesh. I wonder if there's a curse quota in this game, because they say quite a lot of curses. Which is pretty surprising. Like, more than I expected, honestly. Alright, we're gonna finish this. We're gonna see what the fuck happens tomorrow. And then I'm going to bed. Because then tomorrow we can all see the boy. Oh, no, I, I haven't even... Wait. I haven't done Hifumi at all. Like I haven't I haven't even started her. What's this about? Uh, isn't he a minor? What? Whoa! <laughs> I'd expect you to be a better liar. Huh? You decide I'm lying? I imagine him saying both of these things is completely deadpan. Of course we are. enough. Hmm. Yeah, message received, asshole. <laughs> He's the kind of guy all the girls at a bar would instantly turn down. Bruh. You're honestly the type of guy I'd want to grab drinks with after work. Too bad you're underage. It's too bad I'm gay, ma'am. A 
All right. Ye. Don't stop in any weird shops on your way home. It's like, well, I do need some more lube, so, you know. Oh, my, but, no, but, charm can't go up. I'm dipping air. Well, then. Bye, you can go. <laughs> that was our deal. Bye, Oya. What? Oh, the lube? Well, I mean, he's gonna see catch you again soon, so it's gotta stock up. Oh, hey, uh, I know this is out of the blue, but uh, What's like, up, babe? could we all meet up at LeBlanc tomorrow? Why? I mean, uh, August is almost over already. That worried tone. Could he still have summer vacation homework left to do? True. Was that Morgana? <laughs> oh, how did he know? <laughs> I actually called it. Anyway, I've already hit up Makoto and the others. I'll be counting on you to get me through this tomorrow. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Might as well get some sleep while we can. Good night, kitty. Mona. That black thing was me? Mona. That can't be true. I'm supposed to be human. I should be. If we get rid of the distortion in the depths of mementos, I'm sure I'm sure it'll all be fine. He's sleeping. Oh. Sorry, did I wake you up? Isn't there one where he has a bad dream and he's sleeping on your chest like a cat would? What's wrong? Oh, um, my sunburns were hurting and that woke me up. I was absorbing all the sunlight because I'm black. Don't you get it? Hey, you're birth black. Oh, you're birth black. It's all natural. <laughs> By the way. It's not like I'm bothered by this or anything. I should have asked if he's okay. But hypothetically speaking, okay? What would you do if I turned out to be some weird... thing? It wouldn't bother me. I'd be bothered by it! If what I saw from earlier is true, is it okay for me to stay with the Phantom Thieves? And even if I'm with no. the team, I'm useless at the moment. No. It's nothing. Well, I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat, too. And to be frank, this storage room isn't bad either. Oh. Then again, I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out. Oh, baby. Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. You can do that as a cat. Hmm. But rather than becoming some weird thing, Maybe staying as a cat isn't so bad either. Aww. I actually think he deserves to be a kitty. Because he will always be loved and pampered. And like, if he's meant to represent like humanity's hope or like the hope for humanity, I think there's no better animal that like captures that than a kitty cat. deal yeah that means I can stay here isn't that right so yeah what's what's sad about him is he's he's scared that he's useless and he's not actually human so we have that nightmare and then I was like well they replaced me with Futaba which they actually did but they're probably gonna get rid of me right they're not gonna need me anymore so that's why he's like I could still stay here right of course dude yeah it's your home not so don't forget what you just said okay this is so heartbreaking 
Of course. You're my kitty. Thanks, Mona. All right. Come on. Let's hurry up and get to sleep. Night. Good night. <laughs> he just falls back asleep. It'll be fine, right? Kitty. I just imagine Joker's like totally half asleep. It's like, yeah, okay, cat. I love you. Good night. And just pff, just passes out again. Oh, I'm done. As for me, I'm done for. Talk about a cliche oh. way to end your She's summer She's petting Mona. Oh. And he's just chilling on her lap. Oh my god, you guys look! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm dying. This is so cute! Oh! I can't believe Shut up. Well, everyone's free to spend their time as they choose. I guess some oh people god. just can't help themselves. And even though he feels like sad. That Futaba replaced him. He's still like just cuddling up on her lap. Oh. Mona! I'm gonna take a screenshot of that because I find it so fucking cute. I can't handle it. I'm sorry. Come on, I think he's learned his lesson. Leave the dude alone. Importantly, why don't you folks take a break? Boss! Oh, you're a lifesaver. I'll never i I'll never stop. I will never ever what? stop. I'm going to do it up to the, the third semester. Has aggressively applied kinesthesiology to the team's practices. By incorporating their lab's findings on human efficiency into the training regimen, they have developed a... Oh, that reminds me. Isn't there a female athlete from our own school who's made the news? Shut up. Yeah, her. The one everyone's saying is super cute. Oh, yeah, Yoshizawa, right? Wasn't she going to be in the summer meet? Or is that already over? Ah. Shut up. Makoto? Well, yeah, Shut up. she's a I see. There's Shut up. Yeah. Ain't there one more meet left this year in gymnastics though? Shit must be rough right now. But if she can nail that one, who cares what anybody at school says? Oh, that also reminds me. So I just so happened to bump into Mishima kun before summer vacation started. Unfortunately. And he seemed really mad. I asked him what was wrong, and he showed me some posts on an underground site about our school. It pretty much said the school's planning to abandon any honor student who isn't actively making Shujin look better. Whoa, wait a sec. I also just noticed that Mona moved to sit in between Ryuji and Akira, which means he probably jumped up on Ryuji's lap. And then, like, wiggled his way to sit down between them. There was no name, and it sounded like just another rumor at first. But could this <laughs> Blake. be about Yoshizawa-san? Shut up. Step Shut up. The Shut, up. Can't Shut up. They dump all their hopes onto their athletes, and if they don't cut the mustard, they're out like the rest of the trash, huh? Regardless of whether it's true or not, such behavior is extremely self-serving. Just like we thought this whole time. There's still tons of shit wrong with society. Yeah. We don't know what'll happen to Yoshizawa's spot on the team. But at the very least, we can keep up our efforts to prevent the worst case scenario. It just... Yeah, I've been doing that ever since I got her, and I'm not even joking. I've missed nothing substantial in their conversations. Next up, our spotlights on a topic everyone's talking about. Wait, where did he come from? Thieves incidents. The Phantom Thieves I guess he walked into the, the station. By silencing a globally notorious activist group. I'd, I would love if people made compilations of all the streams I've done and like the weirdest or the stupidest moments on it or like dumb things I've said, but I don't think that's going to be easy to do, nor do I think anyone else would do it. It would be easier if it was on Twitch, I guess, but no. Yeah, she says nothing. She just... Nothing, 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 nothing. I lose nothing by not listening to her speak. Their popularity goes beyond our own borders, with foreign media following them closely as well. Many are heralding them as dark heroes and gentlemen thieves for a new age. Whoa. This is getting pretty crazy. 
So the whole world oh my God, Emma. knows about us. Man, it's hot. Cross the puzzle. Cross the puzzle. Get out of my cross the puzzle. I don't know. I don't even remember how I first learned about mementos. He doesn't remember. He didn't have to fucking say this. Cause Mona didn't say anything to him. Like, it's, this feels way better than having some dumb cat guide us. Like, there's no fucking... And I feel... I feel kind of bad for, like, holding Ryuji fully to blame or accountable for the Okamoto arc. But then he says shit like this. Like, unprovoked, unprompted. Mona has said nothing to him. Like, normally he says stuff like this when he and Mona are bickering. But Mona has said nothing to him. And then he just fucking comes out and says this shit. I love you, Mona. So yeah, guess what? It is Ryuji's fault. Guess what? It's because Ryuji can't fucking keep his mouth shut. And people are like, well, Mona was a jerk too. Be like, yeah, provoked. Like they're both hypersensitive. I get that. No, it sounds exactly like Ryuji. I don't think he'd call them dumb. I think he would say like, oh, it feels like it's gonna be better than having a cat, a forgetful. I would think if he said better than having a forgetful cat guide us. Because he has lamented Mona's inability to remember or know things that they need to know. So instead of being, oh, a dumb cat, just be like a forgetful cat. Because in that conversation, they even said like, Mona, do you know how mementos is made? And he can say, oh, I don't really remember. So I think that would make sense. Yeah, that's why I think dumb is too harsh. They should have made it, like I said, forgetful. And then Mona, then that could tap into Mona's, like... That could tap into Mona's um, frustration and fear about his lack of his memories. And it would make more sense in the context of the conversation because they were just discussing how Mona doesn't remember. So yeah, dumb is way too harsh, but... Them saying forgetful would have been better, but for some reason that wasn't in the script. Kind of climber. Social? I mean, he did also call on a follower of Kamoshida's. Kamoshida's, excuse me. Which, you know. Necessary for dares. No, whatever. TLDR. Dumb should not have been the word used. It should have been forgetful. That would have been fine. And more in character. How do I put this? habit of filling the whole thing in now and I don't have to. Oh, thank you, Dee. A common test of courage is the entering of scary or intimidating places. In Japan, these locations often tend to be unlit graveyards and temples. The traditional courage testing part of the game, 100 Supernatural Tales, grew popular amongst samurai as a means of sharpening their nerve. All right. I see. Yeah, thereabouts. 
Oh wow, even I can figure that one out. Nice. Coomst? Oh, it's her. Alright, we're gonna leave her for tomorrow. Ooh, she's gonna fucking be I'm gonna leave her for tomorrow. Because my cat, my oldest cat, is actually seriously, like, glaring at me. I'm not even joking. She's, like, come over to me multiple times to just look at me. I know, kitty cat. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed, kitty cat. I'm going to bed. I know, kitty cat. It'll be cuddle time soon. I promise. That's why Mona is Mona is continuously in character. No, Mona continuously harassing you to go to sleep is absolutely in character for a cat. It's like go to bed. I need to cuddle for body heat. <sighs> now she's hissing at me. Oh, cat, please. I know. I know, old lady cat. All right, bye bye. Not you, the cat. Anyway, <gasps> he did it. He just did the. He just did the. He just did the push his fingers through his hair thing. Anyway, whatever. I'm going to bed. <laughs> This has been fun. The stream has gone on for nine fucking hours. Oh, we just did it again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. We have one half of the interminable summer arc over, and now we just have to go through the Okamura arc. It's almost over. It's almost over, you guys. It can't hurt us anymore. It can't hurt us anymore. Yes, good night. Or farewell, really, since it's not good night for you guys at all. Farewell. Thanks for spending time with my dumb ass for... ever. It feels like forever. Whatever, yeah. Fuck Okamura, he's got no rights. Fuck capitalists. Bernie Sanders is our best friend. The Okamura arc can't hurt us anymore. I'm rambling now. 